Mr. Fonz, listen up. There is some unbelievable action coming your way today on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Don't you miss it. Whoa. you refugee from the scrap heap. Just cool it. <laughs> oh! What's going on here, Cupcake? I thought we'd be back in 1957 by now. Oh, I'm sorry, Fonz. The time machine's acting up again. You mean we're gonna miss 1957? Only by a century. I told you. Hey, hold it, huh? Fonz is gonna disappoint all these lovely ladies because of a dumb Whoa. time machine. Hey, enjoy yourself, cool, but stop licking on the pictures. Huh? Oh. <laughs> All right, this looks like a job for the patented Fonzarelli turtle tap. <laughs> wow, Fonz. Oh, that's real cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beach. We're only a bus ride from Milwaukee. Oh, yeah? And somebody better start looking for a bus. I'll go with you, Fonz. Whoa. Yeah, Fonz? How many times have I got to tell you to go to the door like everybody else, please? Oh, sorry, Fonz. I'll get it right this time. That future chick is good looking, but she'll never learn. All right, come on, guys. This is Miami. We're about a million years too soon. You mean, no bus? Oh, no. The whole jungle's moving. No, it isn't, Ralph. It's not? According to my time band, we're standing on the back of a prehistoric brontosaurus! Oh, come on. Everybody knows brontosauruses are extinct. Tell that to him! Oh! Run for it! Bonds! Everybody knows brontosauruses are extinct. Real good, Rich. 
All right, just leave this to me, all right? <laughs> Say, enough already. Now, as I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted, you gotta face your opponent, man the dinosaur, eyeball the eyeball. See, there's nothing to worry about. Hey! I'm looking for a rabbit, she's a rabbit, kind of sure she's a rabbit. <laughs> It's gonna be a long walk back to 1957. Get it, Rich? It's a joke. Rich? Hey, where are you taking us? You guys know the way back to Milwaukee? <laughs> I didn't think so. How are we ever gonna find my time machine in this scoop? All right, first things first, Cupcake. Right now, we gotta find a trouble twin. <gasps> Richie and Ralph! That's right, and it's up to us to find them. Uh, pardon me, but I didn't invite a brontosaurus along. Hold it, hold it. Will you go gentle on the leather? Why don't you just stay right here uh, and uh, guard the goop, right? Till we get back. How are we gonna find Richie and Ralph? <laughs> All right, Mr. Cool, your turn. Got a job for you. Go to it. You hear anything cool? Why don't you try sniffing the trail? You know, like, use your nose. Huh? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Stranger look good to Bruta. Hey, nice work, Mr. Cool. You know, now just kick. Hey! Hey, you! Come back with that fonz! Uh, excuse them, my lady, but this is where I get off. Hey, when you got it, you got it. You can't keep us here. We're American citizens. And besides that, we've studied kung fu, karate, and... Uh, 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 and a year of cowardly. Not pick one of you. Pick him. Any, many, many, more, you king. King? Why didn't you say so? Let me be the king, Rock. I'd be a great king. I was once king of the prom. Wow, that was the April Fool's dance. What's the difference? I've got experience. Okay, you king. Oh, you won't regret it, Rock. King Ralph the First. I kind of like the sound of that. Don't worry, Rich. You'll be my first official pardon. I don't know what you got there, but uh, it sure is. Uh, we're talking big. And hungry. And I guess I'll have to feed him a knuckle sandwich. Wait a minute, Fonz. I'll just levitate him up and out of our way. Great, great. That's all I need now, right? A little more screw up 25th century magic. And it's all right, Cupcake. It's the result that counts. Hey! Randy! Randy! Hello, you! All right, talk to me. Talk to me. What is it, Cool? Yeah. It's a cave chick. Not for long. If that tyranno creep has anything to say about it. A hero's work is never done. It's all in a day's work. Hey, listen, sorry, I'd love to stay, but I got some red-headed friends who need rescuing. Uh, Mr. 
Mr. Cool, what is the matter? I did all the work. What's that? Hey, listen up. It sounds like drums, right? Without the guitar and bass section. Leave me to him, Mr. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a real rock session. <laughs> Fuzzy! Right, hands off the leather. Huh? That's more like it. No strangers allowed. You guys the only strangers here, and I am talking strange. <laughs> Watch this. Take us to your leader. Leader? Yeah, you know, uh, chairman of the board, head man, president. Your king. Oh, King! <laughs> Follow us! There, King! <laughs> Ralph Mouth is your king. <laughs> Hi, Fun! Cupcake! Welcome to Ralphland! Hey, look at you, Ralph! And I came to rescue you from this? But we have to get back to that time machine right now. Not me, Fonz. I kind of like being king. No, take king. See what I mean? They love me. And who can blame them? I can. Richie, what are you doing in that cage? Don't ask. Hey, uh, you do what you want, Ralph, all right? I'm taking Richie and splitting. Not say, no, take king. No, take friend of king. No, take nothing. Oh, yeah? Well, cupcakes say, watch this. Hang on, Rich. You'll be with us before. Oops. Oops, good trick. You teach rock? Hey, come here. Listen up for a minute. Man to rock now, huh? Tell me something. Why would you want someone like Ralph Mouth to be your king? Him just king for day. We feed king to fire god at sundown. Then we get new king. One of you. <laughs> Something's going on out there, Fonz. It's a parade of some kind. Hey, guys, my people are taking me on a tour of my kingdom, my forest, my mountains. This volcano. Take it easy around the curves, boys. Watch the speed. Creeping cosmos. What are we going to do, Fonz? Well, we can't let them throw Ralph into the volcano. Tempting as that thought might be. Oh, you want me to zap us out of here? Now, hold the cupcake. That's what got us in here in the first place, remember? Bark! Me! All right, Mr. Cool, why don't you give it a shot? Me, me, me! <laughs> well, that, that was really a good try, Cool. Yeah, Rich is right. Is it okay if I see what I could do now? What's a whistle gonna do, Fonzie? Hunky Stranger, go, Bruta! Hey, hey, Bruta baby! Can you get Hunky Stranger out of cage? Hey, 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 Hunky baby! You watch! Whoa, whoa, yikes! Not bad for a prehistoric chick. Could you just watch the pup next time? I could have done that with my little pinky. Right, Cupcake, but the cage probably would have fallen in on us. Come! We make cave music! Fonzie! It's okay, Cunningham. At least she's heading toward the volcano. Volcano? Rocky! So what do we do now? Oh, volcano! I guess that answers that. Hey, beautiful Bruda, I I'd love to see your cave, but maybe some other time, all right? Eesh. No! Now we go! Easy, cool, easy. Not in front of all these people. Of course, the volcano is right on top of us. Makes me think this is a shortcut. Walk this way, cool. Please watch. 
watch your step, cool. Hey, things could get a little hot. All right, now, please, let's go. We've got friends to rescue. This looks like the way out. Blondie! <laughs> All right, now be cool, cool. We're almost there. All we gotta do is cross this little rock bridge. Come on, cool. Nothing to it. him in the mitt. Oh. Hey, I'm real sorry, Cool, but that ain't gonna work either. But this hollow stalagmite could be just what we need. You like Fire God? Him hot guy. <laughs> Great, just what we need. Caveman with a sense of humor. All right, Cool. This is your fire god speaking. Actually, I'm full. We've had enough kings for one day. Fire god? Him never speak before. That's because I never had anything to say before. <coughs> but I'm talking now and you better listen. I say let my people go, or you will see the world's biggest cookout from real close up. Good old fine. They're leaving. Yeah, now it's our turn. Back to the time machine. Before those cavemen find out what hit them. You're our hero, Fonzie. Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, thanks, Fonzie. Looks like they're busy trying to make friends with their uh, fire guy, right? Which means we can make tracks back to the time machine. Oh, but the time machine's on the other side of the village, Vaughn. I could zap us up at the skies, Fonzie. Enough zapping for one day, Cupcake. Besides, I've already got an idea. Fonz, really great. They don't suspect a thing. Oh, really, really great. I get the picture, Rich. Just move your burn, okay? <laughs> Catch up, cool. We made it! All right, count heads. Everybody here? Mr. Cool's gone. Cosmic Comets, Fonz, look! He's gone the wrong way! Saw something? Didn't see something. Saw something? 
didn't see something. Rock was wrong. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're not gonna run, are we, fine? You got a better idea, Rich? I guess not. Wait for me! Are you sure about that, Fonz? Do my ears deceive me? Are you questioning the Fonz? Oh, what, what Ralph means, Fonz, is that if that's the way we have to go, it's a dead end. What are these Cape Cats going to learn? You guys stand aside. Yeah, OK, Fonz. Oh, wrong, attack! Whoa, Toro. but violence is never a pretty sight. Another dinosaur! Don't get your freckles in an uproar there, Ralph. It's our friend from the swamp. <laughs> He's not exactly a Harley, but he'll do in a pinch. All right, that's it. Now, uh, a little to the right. Ah, uh, now you got it. All right, now straight back and keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> Totally agree, and I couldn't have said it better. It could carry yourself, okay, pal? Ah, oh, we are known at last. Easy, easy. Fonzie, there's no time for that now. The countdown's already started. We take off in ten seconds, with or without you. Hey, you heard, Bruta baby. I got a split. Bruta, not let hunky baby go. Five seconds. Oh, you wonderful cave lady, you, you asked for it. The famous Fonzarelli immobilizer. Buddha baby, I hate the kiss and run, but I have got a time machine to catch. She'll ever come down from cloud nine? Sure she will. In a month. Nobody ever kissed me like that. Oh, Harold. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 Not again!
Hey, yours truly the Fonz here. Incredible, that's the only word to describe what's happening to me and the Happy Days gang today. So you stick around, you get my drift. Whoa. But I think I'll have this wacko time warper back on course to 1950, beautiful seven. Just a little tap here, a little rap. Uh -huh. <laughs> Controls are working themselves. Make it stop! <laughs> this time we're doing for sure. Wait a minute, guys. Look, we're heading for 57. One question. Which 57? 1757. 1857. 1957. We made it. Seven? Oh, no! I'm gonna be real late for dinner. At least in the future, we might find somebody who can fix the time machine. Ah! Hey, now your brain is on all pistons there, Cupcake. Hey! I wonder what the Earth looks like in uh, 2057. Let's have a look, Rich. <laughs> oh, no! It's impossible! What is it, Ralph? Uh, how bad can it be? You know, pretty bad, Fonz. Well, it looks like Cupcake screwed up magic not only blasted us into the future, <laughs> it blasted us into orbit. Galloping galaxy? What's that? Something tells me it isn't the Marines. in the movie, the flying saucers that ate the Bronx. They're gonna turn us into zombies. Let me out of here. All right, calm down, Ralph. Calm down. Thanks, Fonz. I needed that. And besides, if these aliens are smart enough to build a ship like that, they're smart enough to be friendly. Well, there goes that theory, Red. You will come with us. <clears throat> what do we do, Fonzie? All right, all right. I think the very good plan is to go with them. If you know what's good for you, you'll let us go. Is the Fonz here? Man does not compute. Uh, they must be aliens. Would someone please tell us what this is all about? You are to meet Electra 6000. Electra 6000? Yeah, sounds like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> you might be right, Font. Look! <laughs> you have done very well, Turkon 150. <laughs> 
very, very well. Like Electra 6000 has her eye on you, Font. And her mechanical mutt's got some ideas, too. Yikes! Adra, here. Uh, good, Phaedra. You found a toy. Hey, Electra. Enough is enough. Now, cool is not a toy. And I am not a mute. Let me give her a zap, Fonz. Just one little zap. Okay, now cool it. <laughs> Great. Now look what you've done. <laughs> oh! I get the feeling this isn't going to be good news. Turk on. You will take the intruders on a tour of our ship. A tour? Well, that's more like it. The first thing I'd like to see is the exit. You will leave this one here <laughs> for me. Hold it. Where are you taking my friends? They will be taken care of. <laughs> and so will you. Do me a favor, will you? Strip your gears and listen up. Uh, I like to keep my women and my machines separate, you know? Can you dig it? I mean, this is like trying to date a Buick. You are handsome for a human. Oh, yeah? Well, you remind me of a very beautiful jukebox I used to know. Look, uh, this is all a misunderstanding. We're just trying to find 1957. I am 1957. Sorak, 1957. Sorry. We're looking for Milwaukee, 1957. Never heard of him. What is this place? The injection chamber. Hey! What are you doing? Let us out! Okay. I demand to know what you have in mind for us. If you wish. Rich, no more demands, okay? We will be back. No hurry, guys. Relax. Take five. Have a quart of oil on me. Help! Easy, Ralph. Screaming won't help. But I bet I can turn things around. <laughs> Moon craters. You turn things around, all right, cupcake. You're gonna what? Destroy the Earth. It is our mission. Are you kidding? <laughs> Robots never kid. Then you must have blown a fuse if you get my drift. Exactly 24 hours after this lever is pulled, Earth will be no more. And you and I will rule this space together. Oh, yeah? Let me tell you something. No army of talking washing machines is going to rub out the Earth while the Fonz is still around. Can you dig it? Come on, cool. No human walks out on me. Stop him, Turkon! I wouldn't if I were you, sport. Hey, listen, I'm sorry, you hunk of junk, but you listen to me next time. All right, cool. Use your nose. Let's go find our friend. <laughs> Gotta find Cupcake and the guys very fast. Me, Rossi, me, me, Mama. You think you can track them down? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, do it your way. Sounds like Ralph. Uh, Ralph, I told you screaming won't help. Ouch! I was wrong. Hey, what are you doing in here? Oh, Fonz, they were gonna blast us into space. Without 
out a spaceship or even a life preserver. Here's news. That's not all that we're going to blast. Turkan and his thugs must be coming. Follow me! Not bad. We'll chat about this later there, Cupcake. Oh, no. We'll never get to the time machine through those guards, Fonz. For once, I think you're right, Ralph. But we can get to one of those souped-up star jets and get out of here. What? Escape? With Earth in danger? Hey. Would the Fonz let the Earth down? I got plans. I got plans. There are the spies. Stop them. And the first one is let's move. Up, up, and away. Close the hatch. Quickly. They're trapping us inside. Not for long, Cupcake. I think I can handle this. You did it, Bond. Naturally, move. Stop them! We must stop them! They could destroy our entire mission! They must not escape! I gotta hand it to you, Fonz. That was terrific flying. Ain't nothing to it rare to have this way with machinery, if you know what I mean. I sure do, Fonz. I sure... <laughs> Hey, what'd you hit there, Mr. Cool? Great galaxy, it's Earth! Oh, cool, you found a viewing screen. Earth's done ahead. There, a river! And the moon behind us. Whoa, and that's not all. It's those robots again! In star jets of their own! We'll never outrun them, never! Oh! <laughs> don't worry, Ralph. Fonz never lost a race in his life, and I do not intend to do that now. We are closing in on the aliens. They cannot outrun us now. Fonzie, they're catching up. Well, then it's time to show them that speed isn't everything. It isn't? What is? Think, Ralph. I can't think and panic at the same time, Fonz. Randy! Randy! Yeah, easy there, Mr. Cool. I see him. I see him. You want me to give them a taste of the 25th century, Fonzie? Not now, Cuppers. I'm going to give them a taste of the 20th century, specifically. Hey, Fonz, really, really? He's heading directly for us. What can he be thinking? Uh, Fonz? Are you aware that we're heading back to the moon? It's our only chance, Cunningham. Everybody, hang tight. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry, worry Fonzie. Fonzie. We will. We will. We have them now. Follow them. Two down, three to go. Shooting stars, Fonzie. There go two more. Very clever flying, alien. But you'll never get away from me that easily. We'll see about that hot shot. Ah! I can't fall out! What flying bonds? They did it! Shall we pursue them, Electra? No. Let them go. In 24 hours, they will be nothing but cosmic dust. <laughs> This is tough, Cupcake. You should try double clutching a 48 pickup. <laughs> hey. Boy, I can't wait to get back on Earth, even if it is 2057. Sorry, Ralph. That's going to have to wait. Don't tell me we're going back there! Correct the window, Ralph. I asked you not to tell me that. The Earth will be destroyed in 19 hours, along with those fools who thought they could escape. <laughs> there it is, Fonzie, the mothership. A 
put this on automatic pilot and take a look. Yeah, that's it, all right. Sure. Yikes! What's happening? Who's steering this thing? Cool. Did you do that? Sorry. <laughs> All right, what we got to do now is sneak up to these uh, mechano creepos and turn off that destruction ray. Us? Go out there? But we haven't got space helmets. Five space helmets coming up. You never cease to amaze me, Cupcake. Gee, I, I don't know, Fonz. These things uh, just look like goldfish bowls. Wow, Fonzie. We're the first Earth people to land on the moon. And you're the first Earth dog, Mr. Cool. Careful, Cool. The moon's gravity is only a fraction of what it is on Earth. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Attention, everybody. Attention. We need another plan here, you know, to get past those guards. All right. I've got a plan. But it calls for some gum. Okay. And some string. Okay. And the entire United States Air Force! Ralph! Cool's got a plan? Oh, yeah, this I gotta see. I'm back, and I work, work, and I work, and I work, 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 work. Watch out for the moon rock. It is one of the aliens. All right, cool, you did it. And you just gave me an idea that'll get us inside that ship. Attention! Earth will be destroyed in six hours. Prepare for the celebration. Six hours? That doesn't give us much time. All right, Cunningham, you and Mal fun time machine. I'll take Cupcake and Cool and save Earth. Yeah, I, I like the sound of that, Fonz. Hi, guys. Nice day for a lube job, huh? Oh! Now, if I remember right, the room we want should be just around this corner. Whoa. You are new here. Hey, that's right, chump. Just flew in from Pluto. I must get clearance. Cell 23 requesting clearance on new arrivals from Pluto. What are you doing, Fonzie? Just a minor modification like souping up a hot rod. I feel strange. Cell 23, what is wrong? Where are you going? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think he just went out for a spin around the block. Yeah, spin. Perhaps I should check. I feel strange. <laughs> All right, Mr. Cool. Now, you got exactly three seconds to get down here from there. All right, that's better. Now, let's get on with the job at hand, please. Hey, we're in luck, Cupcake. It looks like everybody's out to lunch. They ain't gonna be back at 2 o'clock. Who are you? Who? Us? Uh, well, we're, uh... Cleanup crew, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We got a report that there were some very dusty tubes lying around. Like, uh, this one here, for instance. There's something strangely familiar about you. Oh, yeah? Well, uh... Didn't we meet once at that uh, body shop on Beers? <laughs> so, you come back to save your precious Earth. You are so right. No fucker the bolts is gonna stop us. You know what I mean, wire lips? Cupcake! Right, Fonz. 
one destruction ray dismantled. No look now, Cupcake, but I think you've pulled the wrong lever. Check on. Neutralize them. Hey, nobody neutralizes the bonds without my permission. I can help, Bonds. Let me use my powers. I think I'll handle this. Let me at least give you a suit of armor. Cupcake. A foot of armor ain't gonna help. Moon craters. <laughs> Say, you guys did a good job putting the door back on. Stand back. Uh, it's okay. We're, uh, USO entertainers. Good, Rich. Entertainers? Uh, you know, a little tap dancing. And a little magic. They're escaping. Lucky thing, I always carry a smoke bomb with me. You've got a lot of class, Ralph. Cupcake, we know what water does to leather and to robots. Prepare to be neutralized, human. Prepare for your Saturday bath, Turkin. No! Water bath, water Turkin! You are powerful, human. Well, I, I have my moment. Careful, Fonzie. Together we could rule the universe. Do something quick. Easy, Cup. This calls for a more subtle approach. It's coming. All right, all right, just cool it. Will you cool? Whoa! You are our prisoner. Hey, let me think something, right, man or robot? The Fonz is nobody's prisoner. Wow! I couldn't have said it better myself, puppers. Now let's find Richie and Ralph. These star jet engines, they could get us back there. Then I can get us back to 1957. Yeah, we've all heard that before, Cupcake. So how come we keep running into dinosaurs, wizards, pirates, now alien robots? Well, because I haven't found a shortcut yet. Now, now, Cup is out. I want you to concentrate and let's shoot for any year with a malt shop. You got it, Fonzie. Fonzie, Fonzie, Fonzie!
Hey, this is the Fonz. Listen up. There is some unbelievable action coming your way today on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Don't you miss it. Whoa. say transmission? Fonz, Fonz, fix this thing and take us home, please! Stand over there, Ralph. The screwdriver is mightier than the machine. A little adjustment here and a little adjustment there. That ought to do it. All right, fine. <laughs> Fantastic. This kind of work makes me very thirsty. Calm yourself there, Cupcake. Just put us down next to a lake, that's all. Right, Fonz. The Earth's covered with water. How could I miss? Oh, boy! Water, water, water! <coughs> well, for one thing, you could land in the middle of a desert. The Arabian Desert. You genies? I could certainly use one just now. Hey, a damsel in distress, I presume. Yes, ever since my evil Uncle Abdul the Cruel took over my kingdom. <laughs> I am Princess Charisma. Yeah, and I'm Martha Fonzarelli at your service. Hey, what about us? Oh, yeah, they're at your service, too. What Richie means, Fonzie, is we've got to find water. I can supply all the water you need. All right, Your Worship. You're my kind of princess. If you can help me defeat my uncle and his powerful genie. Powerful genie? Uh, on second thought, maybe we can take care of the water ourselves. Forget the dousing rod, Cool. There's no water in this desert. <laughs> Ralph, look! An oasis! Yay! No water, huh? Last one in's a rubber duck! <laughs> Will you cool it in the sandbox? 
think you guys are swimming in a mirage when we should be getting the princess back on her rightful throne? <laughs> yeah, Fonzie's right. The sooner we do that, the sooner we get out of this sand trap. Maybe we better hide the time machine first. Leave that to me. Cupcake, the next time you want to help, Yes, Richie. Keep your hands in your pockets. Hello? Anybody home? The gates are locked. I'll take care of them. Your pockets, Cupcake. We don't need another sandstorm, right? But we could use a ladder. One ladder coming up. Uh-oh. Oh, moon craters. All I got was a rope. Well... A half a rope ladder is better than none. Excellent lassoing, Fon. Don't go away, I will be right back. Hey, Randy, wait for me! Very, very cool. Hey. You command, Abdul. Now, to the bazaar. Yes, master. Soon see about that, my dear. Guards, seize her! Stand back, everybody! I'll handle this! Not now, Cupcake. Hey, come on, your royal ship. Things could get a little rough. See what I mean? Run for it, Rich! Wait a minute, Ralph. We gotta stand up and be counted. You're right, Rich. So count me out! Whoa! Hey, bucko! You can't capture the princess. That's... American. Now, Fox, now. Cupcake? All right, relax, Rich. I'll take care of this one, all right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks, Fox. I needed that. Patience, Abdul. I just might have to... Now, Fonz, now? You know, get to work. Huh. Whoa! Now, Cupcake, now! I'll get us out of here. <laughs> Cosmic calamities! Very good, Cupcake. Very, very good. You got us out of one mess and right into another. Sorry, Fonz. Sometimes my fingers are all thumbs. Well, Fonz, look on the bright side. At least we got into the palace. And here you shall stay as my guests until Charisma tells me where the treasure is. 
And she had better tell me soon. Chief Barnes, that Abdul sure knows how to put on the pressure. So nothing will stand between you and the treasure, Master. <laughs> no, Genie, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Princess. Your friends can't help you now. Oh, yeah. We'll just see about that. Come on. I fizzle. <laughs> and we have a ransom to discuss. A king's ransom. Don't worry. I'll get you out. Somehow. Hey, perk up your ears. No princess has given up no national treasure on my account, dig it? But it seems only fair, Fonz. I, I mean, we, we may be giving up everything for her. I know that Finn is in, Fonz. But this is ridiculous. All right, there's only one way to treat hardware like this. Show it who's boss. Galloping Galaxy! Oh, Fonz, way to go. Wow, Fonz. Hey, come on. You got to get the princess before Abdul gets the treasure. Nice going, cool. But stop hanging around, will you? We've got work to do. Where do you think he went? My infallible intuition tells me he went that way. Uh oh. Infallible intuition. <laughs> well, usually, I guess we better go back the other way, huh? Too late now. You there, strangers? And I've got an infallible intuition of my own. Find a place to hide. Lead me to your father's secret treasure cave, princess. Or your friends will become permanent guests in my dungeon. Don't worry yourself, Deb, your beautifulness. Fonzie! Wait! All right, cool. All right. Hey. Yay! Laundry! Well, buckle my swash if it isn't that the Unculo. Guards, seize him! Hey, you don't touch without permission. <laughs> uh, you've interfered with my plans once too often. <laughs> nice work, cool. <laughs> All right, grab the lamp. <laughs> Come back here, you! <laughs> Genie is evil, no matter who rubs the lamp. What? Oh, no! Now I have you. Run, Fonzie. Hey, those Fonz don't run from nobody. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Quick, through there. Run! My princess. Straight down is not exactly what I had in mind. This time, there's no escape. What? That's what you think. When there's a Fonzarelli. There's a way. Quick, grab them, you fool. Hey, cool, will you get up here? Oh. All right, you hot rod hall runner. Let's motivate.
Even you can make that choice, Rich. But first... Oh, Cupcake, now this is pathetic. If the guys back home find out about this, I'll be laughed out of Milwaukee. What's the matter? You want to hide, don't you? But speaking of hide, let's get out of here before we lose ours. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can do it. I can do it. I thank you in the name of my people for rescuing me. Abdul cannot open the treasure cave alone. He needs me with him. And he'll do anything to get hold of you. And the treasure, right? You understand, Abdul, perfect. Trust me, it ain't harm when he's breathing down the back of my neck. All right, fasten your seatbelts, everybody. Huh? Yeah, it's time to see what this baby can do. <laughs> yeah, but first we gotta find Cupcake and the guys. Hey, Cupcake, gotta get us out of these clothes. Not yet, Richie. Look! Uh-oh. Just act natural, Rich. I'll handle this. Natural? Oh, craters! The disguising ray is wearing off! Be careful out here tonight. Some prisoners have escaped. Oh, thanks, soldier. I, I hear they're dangerous, desperate men. Ralph! You might need special protection. <laughs> I get off in an hour. Uh, 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 um, and maybe some other time. Hey, wait a minute! It's the escaped prisoners! Grab them! Wait, I can explain. It's a masquerade party. A traveling circus. Air raid! Oh. Hey, hey, great flying! Well, I would have been here sooner, but I got caught in traffic. Hold on tight, everybody! Oh, Abdul and his genie are right behind us. And he's gaining! Congrats, Cupcake. It looks like you finally pulled one off. <laughs> Perhaps I spoke too soon. Bunzi! Say goodbye to your friends, Princess, for the last time. He's getting away! We'll never catch him now! <laughs> your friends will soon be far behind us, Princess. The treasure is as good as mine. <laughs> No, it is not, Uncle. I will never help you find it. Yes, you will, my dear. Or your friends will suffer. Show her, Genie. Yes, Master. <laughs> a mere cloud will not stop Fonzie. No, but a stone wall will. <gasps> they will all be hurt. Or worse, Princess, unless you tell me where the treasure is hidden. <laughs> Fonzie, they're getting away with Princess Charisma. We're stranded on a used flying carpet in the middle of some desert, and you're worried about a princess? Save the crying towels for later, you two. Fonzie's always prepared. Then quick, follow that flying carpet. To hear is to obey. Hey, there's a cloud up ahead. But not for long. I'll just zap it with my 25th century powers. I think you've got that a little backwards there, Cuppers. It looks more like the cloud zapped us. Oh, moon craters! All right, I gotta keep an eye peeled for the princess. Anybody else want to pilot this thing for a while? Not me, Fonz. I think I hear my mother calling me. Oh, uh, 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 Mr. Cool. Looks like you're my only volunteer. Are you sure you can handle this? <laughs> All right, cool, you got the job. Just drive real carefully, huh? <laughs> oh! Maybe you better take over again, Fonz. On the other hand, ah! maybe you better hold on for dear life. Up, cool. Pull up, boy. Whoa. <laughs> nice work, Mr. Cool. I, I think you spoke too soon, Rich. Whoa! <laughs> oh, 
Mr. Cool, I've just revoked your pilot's license. Fonz! Cupcake! Somebody do something! Sweet! Oh, no! Everybody duck! Yikes! Well, at least we're gaining altitude. Leaping laser beams, I'm not sure that's a blessing. <laughs> oh, no! We're right back where we started from. There's that black cloud again. This is your last chance, Princess. Where is the treasure? All right, I will tell you, if you promise not to harm them. Agree. It is in a hidden cave in the Hoboob Highlands. Quickly, Genie, to the Highlands. Yes, Master. But what about my friends? They will have to take care of themselves. But you promised. You should know better than to trust me, Princess. <laughs> All right, Mr. Cool, the joy ride is over to the back of the car. Right, Rocky? Yes! Hey, Fonz! How do you explain these falling rocks? I don't intend to explain them, Cunningham. Merely avoid them. Careful with that thing. You can hurt somebody. Bonds, there goes Mr. Cool. I'll save him. <laughs> nice work there, Cupcake. Just one thing. What's that, Bonzi? Next time, try to make your magic a little more permanent, huh? This looks more like my department. <laughs> now, let's find Princess Charisma. Now, get us inside. Open sesame. All right, everybody, let's move out. <laughs> Not so fast there, Cupcake. Open says me. Says me! At last, the treasure is mine. Hey, maybe you better think that one over again, Abby. It's nicer to share. The only thing I want to share with you is my genie. You robbed the master? Have it your way, Abdrool. Cupcake, I think that was very bad timing. I can do it, Fonz! Watch! <laughs> hey, ouch! It's for you! Hey, nice going, Ralph. Well, Ginny, it looks like it's just you and me now. But not for long. <laughs> Your move, Rich. Got it, Fonz! Hey, like I always say, teamwork always pays off. Thanks for the water, Princess. We couldn't spin off without it. And without the genie, Abdul the Cruel is Abdul the Camel Driver. What can my people do to repay you? Uh, well, Your Royalness, there is one thing you could do, like move that mirage. Oh, we will never get out of here.
Hey, yours truly defines here. Incredible. That's the only word to describe what's happening to me and the Happy Days gang today. So you stick around. You get my drift. Something. Wherever we are, there better be a fuse out there. Oh, we'll be stuck here forever. Forever? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, nice catch there, Mr. Cool. Hey, oh, well. Oh, <laughs> this is really eerie, Fonz. Relax, Cunningham. There's nothing out there in the dark that ain't there in the light, huh? Yeah, but we don't know what's there in the light, either. Galloping galaxies, if light's all you need. Hey, congrats, cuppers. Good work. I really did it, didn't I? Like I always told you, eventually. How about that? You can always do what you set your mind to. Oh, moon craters. Hey, what kind of room is this? Those are the strangest ceiling beams I've ever seen. Hey, is anybody out there in the vicinity? I can say this, but I think this wacko time machine has just popped us inside a whale. A whale? All right, all right, relax, guys. We're trapped inside a whale, and you say relax? All right, cool it, Ralph. Let's hear what Rich has to say. Thanks, Bond. Have you guys seen Pinocchio? Pinocchio! Movies! He's talking about movies! Point, Cunningham, let us get to the point. I'm getting to it, Fonz. See, Pinocchio, Geppetto, and the cat, and the talking fish, they all got out of a whale by building a fire. I get it. The smoke got the whale to sneeze them out. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking one of Ralph's smoke bombs might do the same trick. Good idea, Rich. Well, you've done it again there, Rich. Ship? Oh, no! Help! Help! Somebody help! Quiet, Ralph. You want him to hear us? You're right, Rich. Help! Help! Somebody help! Lucy! Help! Hello there, Cupcake. Are you all right? Now I am. So, uh, where do you suppose we are there, Cuppers? We're anchored just off Pleasure Island. Is that you? And according to this map, the treasure lies here. 
there when X marks the spot. Aye, and we'll be rich men tomorrow, Captain. That we will, Mad Dog, that we will. Oh, we landed on a pirate ship. Not just any pirate ship, Bonds. According to my time band, this is Blackbeard's pirate ship. I get shot at me and my buddy Cunningham, from Milwaukee. Milwaukee? Is that far from London? Only about 200 years. What are you doing on a pirate ship? Waiting to be rescued, I fear. Oh, well, fear no longer, Lucy. Help has arrived. Oh. Mr. Cole! What was that? Sounded like a thud, Blackbeard. If there be spies on board, they'll regret it. Bad dog, Dick, come with me. And we needed the skies. Oh, nice try there, Mr. Cool. I think they'd see right through that in a minute. I know something they can't see through. I think we're still off the mark there a little bit, huh, Cupcake? It came from out here, mateys. Scour the cake. Hey, maybe this will do the trick. Outside of a mech. You check off that way, Jake. Whoever we find walks the plank. Oh, no. This is an egg. This is an egg. Shh. You want them to find me? Lafayette wants a cracker. I haven't got a cracker. Will you be quiet for a, a quarter? No. A, a sour bowl? No. Lafayette wants a cracker. How about some string? A, a rabbit's foot. Chewing gum. How about a, 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 pe a petrified frog? So, we find a spy, eh? Speaking of petrified... Please! Please, I'd make a great pirate! Pieces of eight! Yo, ho, ho! Just give me a chance, will ya? Oh, I wonder how long they'll leave me here. <laughs> I'm really sorry I asked. See, what, what happened then? Richie? Rich! Rich! I'm in the brig! My uncle sailed off to find the treasure, but he never came back. So I took my copy of the map and went looking for him. And found Blackbeard instead. He took my map and has kept me prisoner here. Well, don't you worry, Lucy. I'll see that you find your uncle and get your treasure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, nothing. Really. Richie and Ralph must be here somewhere. All right, Mr. Cool, you check over that way, okay? Aye, aye, Randy! Whoops! Yo, Randy! Phew! Richie! Ralph! Where are you? You'll have to call louder than that to reach the brick lass. <laughs> Oh, yeah? You know, I never met a real pirate face to face before. And yet not likely to again, mate, once I'm finished with you. Oh, yeah? Says who? Says Blackbeard. Fuzzy! Easy, Cup, it's easy. I can handle this. I've got to do something. What magic is this? Oh, just a little gift from the 25th century, pal. Randy! I would, I would. 
boy. If somebody could hold the ship still. Thank you, Mr. Cool. The ship is, is spinning around me. No, the ship is stopped, Bozo Beard. You're the only one that's spinning now. Ball! It's Blackbeard. Oh, it's Blackbeard. That's Richie's voice. Where am I? Miss Primrose has been telling me how you've been treating her. And I would just like to say... Grab the rope, Richie. Grab the rope, Richie. Help has arrived. But it looks like you're doing just fine on your own there, Red. That's the fun. You'll like him. Okay, now, here's the plan. You three, sit tight. Me and Mr. Cool will help find Ralph. Don't be wrong, Fuzzy! I mean, now, where do you suppose he'd be? Uh, tell you for a cracker. What? Uh, Lafayette knows where he is. Yo-ho-ho, oh, yo-ho-ho. Oh, oh. Well, how about you tell us there, yo-ho? Lafayette wants a cracker. Oh, I don't got no cracker, but how about a knuckle sim? <laughs> You know, if beauty is only skin deep, you're in big trouble. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm telling jokes to a skeleton. Hey, Ralph, up here. I'll have you out in a second. I'm saying! I'm sunk! It's time to walk the plank. First you, then your friends when we find them again, and we will find them. <laughs> All right, Swabby, jump! But after I jump, how do I get back up? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You stay in the water and you shake hands with Davy Jones, the demon of the deep. Sounds like a fun guy. Y you sure you don't need someone around, you know, to scrub the decks, polish swords? I do windows. Jump! Why didn't I learn to swim when I had the chance? And where's Fonzie? what we said, mighty. Jump! Don't rush me. I'll jump. I'll jump. Now! Whatever you say, Blackbeard. That should take care of that. Mm. But something's missing, Captain. Now, what will that be, Mad Dog? A splash. Huh? All right! Boy, you guys sure came along at the right time. Hey, we'd love to stick around here, Blackbeard, but the treasure calls. Yo, ho, ho. Bah! Hey, we overheard Blackbeard saying the treasure was buried somewhere on this island. And I can remember some of the map. So how can we go wrong, huh, miss? you <laughs> How can we miss? We've lost the time machine. We're running from pirates. Cheer up, Ralph. This island looks like a great place to settle down. Rich, there's not a drive-in around for centuries. Just roll, Ralph. Cosmic calamities are we dead ahead? Real bad choice of words, Cupcake. Come on, Ralph. We gotta roll away from that thing. Geez, Rich, I'm already rolling as fast as I can. Yeah, maybe a little too fast there, Ralph. I think maybe we should try something else. Ooh. Cooler with the life preservers there, huh, cool? Hey, abandoned ship isn't exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> right, Fonz. Maybe we should try something more immediate. Like, jump! Whoa! Then again... Forget it, Ralph. Maybe I'll just forget it. I'll take care of that hunk of rock. Nice try, Cupcake. But it looks like that hunk of rock is gonna take care of us. Galloping galaxies, I gooped. Hey, forget it, cuppers. All right, you guys bail while Mr. Cool and I pry us out of here. That looks like a lot of work. It is a lot of work, Ralph. Why don't you just do this? Because if we did, the next time the tide came up, the water would do... That! G good point, Rich. 
Niveau there, Mr. Cool. We're going to be on the next wave or under it. What? All right, cool yourself there, Cool. This will be a snap. There, that's the last bucket of water. Nice work, guys. Too bad we're out of water or I'd take a turn. <laughs> Your, Your turn, turn Ralph. Ralph. All right, Mr. Cool, take this rope, tie us up to one of them palm trees. Right, Rungy, run on a rotary. Hey, good work, Mr. Cool. Mr. Cool. Neptune's moves. Where is he? Hey! Okay, Lucy. What do you remember from the map? Well, there was something about Skull Mountain. Skull Mountain? What could that refer to? Yikes! I think it's this way. <laughs> strangers, strangers, come to me island. What, what happened? Hello, stranger. No. Was it something I said? It's about time you caught up there, Ralph. Oh, it was horrible, Fonz, horrible. Look. Cosmic calamities. You're right. You see him? Them, Ralph. I see them. Huh? It's Blackbeard! With my map. Then we'll have to work fast. Don't worry, Fonzie. I'll buy us some extra time. Everybody duck. I did it! I bet they're all the way to Spain by now, or Alaska. Or up there, like ahead of us. This way, men, to Skull Mountain. Oh, oh, graders. Hey, it's not that bad, Cupcake. We can still catch him. And they can lead us right through the treasure. All right, Randy. Ouch! I think it's too dangerous for Lucy to go along, Fawn. Uh? Oh, Richie's right. And we should stay here to protect her. Spoken like a true coward, Ralph. Thanks, Rich. Yeah, we'll travel faster alone anyway, right, guys? That's right, Fozzie. Ouch! Oh, oh! Right, Fozzie! Could we, uh, get going here? Treasure's as good as yours, Lucy. Right, we've got everything under control. What was that? I don't know, but it's coming from over there. In here! Hurry, hurry! I know that voice. So do I. It's that creep a wild man who attacked me. It's Uncle Horatio! For your sake, Rich, I hope it doesn't run in the family. Sir, I'm Richie Cunningham, and this is Ralph Mount. And we're looking for the treasure chest. The treasure chest? <laughs> I, I can lead you to the treasure chest. Follow me! I know a shortcut! I, I, I really think I'd prefer the scenic route. It's right up here! I know! There! <laughs> There's where the treasure chest is buried! Wow! X really does mark the spot! No! Horatio marked the spot, so I wouldn't forget it! <laughs> Terrible memory! You want to dig it up? Richie Cunningham would do anything for Lucy Primrose. Now I'll have my uncle and the treasure. I think this is it. It is a treasure chest, just like in Treasure Island. Treasure Island? It's a book. They made the movie into a book? Now, we'll just see what's inside. That's what you think, mate. I'll be taking that treasure chest now. <laughs> Wait just a minute, bucko. I know the laws, and this is ours. Pirates obey only the law of the sea. I guess that's the way the gold, the blue, and crumbles, Rich. 
And now to collect me booty. Not so fast there, Blackbeard. I think that belongs to the little lady. Ah, little lady! So, we meet again, I. Yeah, and let me tell you something. This is getting real boring. Yeah, boring! It's time we settle this once and for all, then. Watch out, Barnes. Oh, I've got to help him. Auntie! Hey, uh, cupcake. Please, please, not this time. Magic! It's witchcraft! Fonzie? Fonzie? Fonzie! Leaping lasers! What did I do? <laughs> we were anyone else who would stop Blackbeard? <laughs> I'll give it a try, bucko. <laughs> well, you can't blame a guy for trying. Any other heroes among you? <laughs> Not me. Ask anyone. He's telling the truth. He's a coward and a rat. Thanks, Cupcake. I'll never forget you for that. And now the treasure is mine. <laughs> Wrong again, Bully Beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Fonz. All right, Fonz, go to it. How did he get in there? Cupcake's powers goofed up right this time. Teach him a lesson, Fonz. If there be lessons to teach, Blackbeard will be doing the teaching. Hey, look, Fatbeard, I don't want to have to hurt you, you know? Oh, wow, me, Hurt me? Oh, that's a good one. Arr, arr. <laughs> <laughs> if the treasure isn't in the chest, where is it? The treasure, you say? I found it long ago and hid it up in Skull Mountain. So why didn't you tell us that? Aye. Well, you said you were looking for the treasure. Yes. <laughs> so the treasure's up there, right? And with you out of the way, it'll be all mine. Hey, you want it? You got it. Yeah, it's all yours there, Greenbeard. <laughs> Way to go, Fonz. I think we best be off, Jake. <laughs> e <laughs> Richie, my hero. Me? Your hero? It was so brave how you stood up to Blackbeard for me. Well, Fonzie did a lot of the work, too. Oh, oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You know, yeah. The pirates will be fine on the island until my uncle and I send a ship to pick them up. And take them to prison! That solves that problem. But it doesn't get our time machine back. And it's all my fault. I'm throwing these smoke bombs away for good. This time it worked out right. I guess this means goodbye, Richie. Ah, goodbye, Richie. Hey, wait a minute. You're Blackbeard's parrot. Ah, that depends. <whistles> Lucy got a cracker. Ah. I shall miss you, Richie. <whistles> Got a parrot. And you too, Mr. Cool. Oh, wow. Hey, easy there, Mr. Cool, easy. You gotta be very nice with the ladies. All right, we'll have to get this time machine back on a track in just a sec there, Cupcake. Well, where did you find the fuse, Fozzie? Hey, the fuse found us. A gold balloon. Excellent, Fon. Excellent. Hey, now let's see if we can find 1957, shall we? Yo, ho, ho, and away! <laughs> kind of funny, Fon. How oh, this time I got the girl. Yeah, right you are, Richie, eh? Yeah? Think him over here. Don't let it happen again, all right? Sure thing, Fon.
Okay, all right. This is the Fonz. Listen up. There is some unbelievable action coming your way today on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Don't you miss it. Whoa. Rich, but I prefer Milwaukee. Girls, banana splits, drive-in movie. Rich, what are you doing? Slowing us down. I just want to take a look as long as we're passing by anyway. <laughs> See that, Ralph? Huh? Mr. Cool wants to take a look too. Hey, what have we got here? And <laughs> hey, let me help you with that. Hey, it looks like you need a smaller hat. Or a bigger head. Why are we slowing down? To take a look at wild cattle and sheriff rustlers, Fozzie. Somebody want to explain that to me? I mean, like, real quick. Uh, it, it was my idea, Fonz. To get a look at history in the making. So I, I just pulled this lever. Slow us down. Richie! Well, look on the bright side. What bright side, Cunningham? At least we know the lever works, huh? <laughs> we might as well see where we landed this time. Let me check it out, Fonz. All right, what will you use the door, Cupcake? Next time, I promise. Neptune's moons! Is there an echo in here, Mal? Let's take a look at these monsters, all right? Be careful, Fonz. They look vicious. Cool it, Cupcake. I can hit We're talking horses here. You know horses? You were afraid of horses, Cupcake? Is that what they are? I've never seen one. Never seen a horse? Don't forget, I'm from the 25th century, Ralph. Well, don't worry, Cupcake. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Looks like we're in a stable. But where? And when? Mother Lode Stables established 1840 Uno. Wow, just like in the movies. Shooting stars. So this is what the Old West looked like. Well, as long as we're here, let's uh, take a look around. But, but what if we run into Jesse James, or Billy the Kid, or the Dalton Gang, or Geronimo? The Mother Load Saloon. Oh, it sounds like the whole town is in there. Also sounds like it's a little rough. You want to let me check this out first, huh? Get it, 
quiet this time, fool. <laughs> that Mr. Cool will do anything for a laugh. Hey, look, guys, a real wanted poster. Oh, my gosh. Look at that picture. Big Jake? <gasps> but it looks exactly like... Bobsy! Howdy, Barton. <laughs> so, like, what's going on? You okay, Mr. Cool? Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what's gotten into them. Go on, Rich. Show them. Yeah, show me, show me. Show me what? I think this probably had something to do with it, Fonz. All right, Big Jake. Big, who is this Big Jake? And where did he get my face? I don't know where you got those clothes, Big Jake, but Diamond Sal would know you anywhere. And Fonzie told me he'd never been here before. Oh, uh, excuse me, Miss Diamond Sal, but there must be some mistake. And you're making it if you interrupt us again. You give us some music. <laughs> yeah, you. Piano's over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen, Diamond Sal, I don't know who this Big Jake is, but, uh... Hey, he's playing our song. How's about a dance? Ah. <laughs> uh, here Big Jake's come to town. <laughs> With his dog. <laughs> well, if it isn't Sheriff Toby Todd. Wow, a real Western sheriff. What brings you here today? I come to arrest him. Randy! <laughs> arrest? Did you fall on the floor or something? I am not Big Jake. Relax, Bon. I think I know how to handle it. But he's not Big Jake. Brilliant defense, Rich. Really excellent. Come on, Jake. You can tell me all about how you ain't you at the jailhouse. Fancy! Don't worry yourself, Cupcake. I'll have this cleared up in no time. I can't let them lock Fancy up. Not that screw-up magic again. Ah, <laughs> oh, she's done it again. Cosmic Comets. I did do it again. What happened to them? We're over here. And we're not happy. <laughs> oh, well, it could have been worse. No, it couldn't. Where'd you zap our clothes, Cupcake? <laughs> we want to get out here. I sure hate to be in your shoes, Big Jake. Looks like your bank robbing and claim jumping are finally catching up with you. Let me clue you in, Sheriff. You got the wrong guy. That's what they all say, Jake. But this whole Arizona territory knows you when they see you. And they're not happy with what they see, either. Hey, Bonds, you gotta get out of there. Hey, no, Rich. We're gonna settle this nice and legal -like. We know I'm not Big Jake. Yeah, but that vigilante committee sure doesn't. Let us help you, Bonds. No way. That'll only make things worse. Please. Stand back. Oh, yeah. I know how to handle this. That crowd will tear Big Jake to pieces if we don't spring him from that cell. She doesn't know when to give up, does she? Jake, but I thought, I mean, I... That's incredible. You can say that again. That's in... But don't. <whistles> Let me guess. You're Big J. But who are you, and why were you kissing my gal? The bank's been robbed. Big Jake robbed the bank. Big Jake, we gotta go. 
Let me give you some advice, stranger. Never let me see your face in Mother Load again. Whoa. I don't think I like Big Jake. I've got to do something. Uh, you better get out of here, too. Richie's right, Fonz. He must have broken out again. With you out of jail and the bank robbed, they'll never believe you now. Good point, good point, but I got a plan to clear my name. Or at least my face. Let's go. My jail, he's ruined it. I'll get that outlaw now if it's the last thing I do. Okay now, Ralph, this is the newspaper office. We'll do it just like the Fonz said. Remember, we're just three ordinary, everyday prospectors. A big gold strike, you say? Yep, the biggest ever. Out at the old bottomless mine. That mine played out long ago. Nothing there but a big hole in the ground now. That's what we thought. And then we found this. The petrified frog? Oops, sorry. There you go. Solid gold. Ralph, your mustache. Oh, thanks, Rich. Yeah, it looks like gold. <laughs> Any claim jumpers could make a fortune by jumping that mine. That's what we want you to print. Ouch! Oh, he just means, uh, he thought you might be interested. Now we gotta go back and dig up a fortune. Come on, Mr. Cool. Right, Richie! Strange-looking prospectors. It worked, Bond. Lucky for all of us that I always carry a can of gold paint with me, huh? Correct. Now, if Big Jake will just take the bait, I'll clear my name, we'll all go home. I get it. When he comes jump the claim, we'll capture him. Correct the Mundo Cupcake. We'll duck in this uh, mining car here while you two wait for him to show. Count on us, Fonz. When we see him, we'll tap twice on the car, and you'll jump out and grab him. Oh, you got it. I don't like the sound of this, Rich. Okay, you. Hand over the gold. I don't like the sound of that, either. Word travels fast in Motherload, friends. Yeah, so let's have your gold. Whatever you say, Big Jake. Anything. Get him, Fonz. Fonz! Ralph, you tap too hard. He'll be lost in the bottom of mine. Now about that gold. Think of something, Rich. I am thinking, Ralph. I'm thinking we're goners. What would you say if we told you there isn't any gold, Big Jake? I'd say say your prayers. <laughs> but there isn't. Really? Yeah, what's that? This? Uh, uh... Uh, Looks like it might be gold dust to me. Hand it over. <laughs> Bonzi, Richie and Ralph are in trouble. We're not exactly having a picnic in here, you know. <clears throat> How deep do you think Bottomless is? I think we're talking pretty deep here, Cupcake. Cosmic calamities. Put a lid on your fear, Cupcake. A little adjustment here, a little adjustment there, and... Uh... For us. So long, partners. <laughs> He's getting away with those bags of gold dust. Don't worry about that. What about Fonzie? Hey, the Fonz is fine, Cunningham. In fact, the Fonz is terrific. He saved us from a bottomless fate. Fonz, there really was gold dust, and Big Jake just took it. <laughs> what gold dust? I filled those all with sand and made sure to put some holes in his sacks so we could track Big Jake just in case Ralph of course goofed up. How'd you know I'd goof up, Fonz? Experience, Ralph. Experience. So let's get on the trail. Rush! Rush! Okay, Mr. Cool, lead on. Rush! <laughs> 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 Uh, maybe you better not sniff the trail, cool, huh? Just follow it. Well, Rungy, what I wear? Uh, something tells me we're on our own. Why do you say that, Fonz? Regard for yourself. 
Oh, right, there it is. Big Jake's hideout. We found it. <laughs> that sand idea was terrific, huh? <laughs> now to find out what his plans are. Come on. Sand? Why, it's nothing but sand. If I ever catch that sidewinder again, I'll... Take it easy, Big Jake. There's always the stagecoach tomorrow noon. Oh, that's right, Sal. Ten thousand in silver being shipped to Frisco. Then it all could be on. Yeah. <laughs> so that's their plan. <laughs> what was that? Probably just the wind. Better not have been that fun, fella, Sal. Relax, Big Jake. He's miles away by now. Then it's all said, eh? The stagecoach silver shipment tomorrow at noon. And Creepo Jake is going to be in for a big surprise. All we need is a stagecoach. Come on, Fonz. Where are we going to find a stagecoach way out here? Use your eyes, Cunningham. This? This is our stagecoach? I've seen model airplanes with fewer parts. Well, I think it's a terrific stagecoach. All it needs is a little zapping. <laughs> Hey, hey, fix yourself up there a little, huh, Mr. Cool? Uh, thanks, Ronnie. Why, I bet I can have this old stagecoach rolling faster than you can say. <laughs> Monk Raiders. That's okay, Cupcake. It's a lot closer than you usually get. Right. We're just lucky you didn't turn it into a circus. <laughs> <laughs> get things done. Comforting, Rich. Hold it! Hold it right there! So, we meet again, huh, tremendous Jake? Confidence, Cunningham. But Mr. Cool is driving. Mr. Cool? Everybody relax. I'll take care of this. <laughs> you took care of it all right, Cupcake. Well, that wasn't quite what I had in mind, Fox. Get back here, you low-down apartment. Oh, craters, we're heading right for Motherload. The sheriff catches Fonzie there. We're all in for it. Big Jake has gone too far this time, men. We gotta stop him for good. Now if we can just track him down. That's Big Jake's dog. Jake! Cosmic Calamity, Spots! It's the Sheriff! 
Hey, easy, easy. One emergency at a time. Runaway stagecoaches are hard on the hair. Buns, I think you better think of something fast. Come on, Jake. Give yourself up. Now, just a minute here, Sheriff. If I'm Big Jake, then who is that? Big Jake? Another Big Jake? What? Why, you told me, Jake! I'll, uh, I'll just leave you boys to settle this alone. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Are you asking for a showdown, Big Jake? Hi! I'll be right here with Bill's on. Oh, my gosh. A showdown at high noon. <laughs> Only five minutes to high noon, Fonzie. I'm ready, with Mr. Cool's help, of course. Hey! So let's go. <laughs> yeah, I know, Cool, I know. It's just one of those days. There's still four minutes till high noon, Fonz. Well, what do you say we get this over with, huh? That's more like it. You're right on time, stranger. I like to be prompt for all my showdowns, huh? And since you picked the time and the place, I'll pick the weapon. And I pick lassoes. Lassoes? Lassoes? Hmm. You're stranger than I thought, stranger. But I'll take you up on that. Hey, take your best shot, Dumbo. You're asking for it. <laughs> What's going on here? Back inside, Sal. This here's a showdown between the stranger and me. With lassoes? I hope you know what you're doing, Big Jake. Special Fonzarelli twist. Almost perfect, Mr. Cool. What happened? There you go, Sheriff. That's your crook. Amazing. How do I get him down? We're talking a snap. Maybe you're the man for me after all, Big Fonzie. I've been wanting to do this ever since we met. Hey, put me down. Oh, if that's what you want. Oof, I'll get you for that. How did you do that? Oh, it's just this trick I learned somewhere. And this time you didn't goof up there, couple. It's amazing what you can do when you really put your mind to it. <laughs> what an adventure. Outlaws, claim jumping, a runaway stagecoach. Yeah, I'll certainly never forget it. <laughs> it looks like Mr. Cool won't either. Way to go, Cool, way to go. Yeah, that's some fancy twirl in there, partner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's back to the ranch for Mr. Cool. And back to Milwaukee for us. 1957, here we come. This time for sure. I hope.
yours truly to Fonz here. Incredible, that's the only word to describe what's happening to me and the Happy Days gang today. So you stick around, you get my drift. See 1957 again. Oh, come on, Ralph. Think positive. Okay, I'm positive we'll never see 1957 again. <laughs> Cosmic Comets, I found the problem. Hey, we got enough problems already, Cupcake. Huh? What we need here is a solution. Right. <laughs> well, that's sort of what I meant, Fonzie. Huh? My studio should have a good <laughs> this button I found could be just the solution we need. Do you really think that could get us back on course? Well, this is the only button on board I haven't pushed yet. And something's gotta work! Oh, Moon Craters! <laughs> hey, stay cool, cool. Oh. Much better, much better. Leaping lasers! I really did it this time, didn't I? Look at it this way, Cupcake. Uh, couldn't get any worse. Yeah, well, I, I think you spoke too soon there, Cunningham. Bonzie! Bye-bye. He's gone! Cosmic calamities! Cosmic calamities! We've got to stop and then find him. But who knows where we'll wind up? Who cares, Ralph? Fonzie's out there somewhere. Fonzie! Fonzie! Fonzie? Be careful, Mr. Cool. Mr. Cool! Grandfather, <laughs> 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 what was that? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it looks like a dog, son toy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> How will we get down there? It's a long drop. Come on, Richie. That's a snap for my 25th century powers. Just watch. I have a bad feeling about this, Rich. Oh, Uh, you haven't seen a dog and a Fonzie around here, have you? A Fonzie? He's a friend that we lost here in, uh... Let me see. In ancient China. And this is the Great Wall! Oh no, we've done it this time! My name is Sun Toy, and you should not be caught in this area. It is under the control of Ming Fu. Ming Fu? Who's Ming Fu? He controls the land from here to Kaolai and does not look kindly on strangers. Uh, something tells me we fit in that category. Ming Fu has a palace on that hill from which he can watch us at all times. He sees everything and knows everything. Neptune's moons! Maybe he knows where Fonzie is! It is all mine, 
all the land, all the wealth, and I want more and more. All right, now wait a minute. Where am I? You are in my palace, the palace of Ming Fu. But how did you get here? Trust me, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Uh, trust me. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, all right. My friends and me, we were sailing along on his time machine. With me so far? Mm. When uh, Cupcake goofed up again and zapped me right here. Zapped, do you hear? What incredible powers, incredible. You must accept my hospitality until you find your friends and this uh, a time machine you speak of. Hey, Ming, I really appreciate that. You must stay away from Ming Fu at all costs. He is an evil man. Well, we have to go somewhere. It sounds like thunder. Oh, no! He's a patrol from the palace of Ming Fu. <laughs> you must not be found here. Uh, we can hide in your cart. Come on. <laughs> What do we have here? Only my grandfather's junk cart. It is how we survive. You must know that this is all the property of Ming Fu by his own laws. But this is all we have. Huh? Uh-oh. Let me get down. That's not our problem. Take it up with Ming Fu if you want to complain. <laughs> Grandfather, what do we do now? What can we do, Sun Toy? Nothing. Rich, Cupcake, they're taking us to Ming Fu. Al, look at it this way, Ralph. They don't know we're in here. Rich, when they unload the car, I think they're going to guess we're not Chinese lamps. Ooh, craters. Give me a break. This is quite a layout you got here, Ming Fu. It is my wish to make you comfortable until you find your friends and the wondrous machine you speak of. Whoa! Oh, a thousand pardons, friend. That was not intended for you, I promise. Yeah, you cross your heart? Summon Ming Fu! We have treasures for him! Oh no, we're in for it now! Ooh! What is it? Duck! Some peasants from Kao Lai were stealing your treasures, my lord. Treasures? This is junk. You are wasting my time. Dispose of it at once. Ouch! Uh-oh. <laughs> As you wish, my lord. But more important matters demand my attention. Something called a time machine that a stranger has told me about. Suffering Saturn, he knows about the time machine. Which means he must have found Fonzie. Then we better get to the palace quick. Oh no, not your magic again. Well, it's a step in the right direction. And now to return to my guest. Who did that? Whoever it was I will pay dearly. No, no. Ah. Phew. I wonder where everybody is now. Ramsey! Wouldn't it be a drag if they were back in Milwaukee? Ramsey! Ramsey! Oh boy! You should see it, Ramsey! <laughs> Mr. Cool, I'm very glad to see you. Hey. I can dig it. But where is the rest of the gang? Got me, Randy. So, once I have this time machine in my hands, I will no longer need Fonzie, for his powers will be mine. <laughs> Shooting stars, Ming Fu's gonna do away with Fonzie. Yeah. Well, you're not doing wonders for my shoulders either, Cupcake. But how will you make him take you to this time machine of his? I won't, but my Cobra will, and it will be my gift to Fonzie. 
cosmic calamities. Uh, what's going on up there, Cupcake? Nothing my 25th century powers can't take care of. What's happening? Don't ask, Richie. No! Can't you ever get it right, Cupcake? I don't think so, Ralph. My fingers seem to have a mind of their own. Yeah, are you hungry, you wonderful mm. dog? Yeah, yeah, all right. Hungry, hungry, hungry. All right, here you go. Dig in. <laughs> hey, hey, cool it with those paws, will you? This is China. Got to use chopsticks. What? <laughs> Yeah, I understand. Chopsticks are tricky, huh? Yeah, rough sticks are rough. Well, maybe we can find a fork around here somewhere. Yeah, right, Ruffy. Oh, Ta-da! What's your What do you think? Oh, <laughs> nice dog dog. Oh, yeah, I should have warned you about that bed, Mr. Cool. <laughs> Will you get yourself up? We got company. Here, pull yourself together behind the screen, huh? Well, what do we got here? A small token of my hopes for our friendship. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You are now in my power, and you will do whatever I tell you. Or you will lead me to your friends and to your time machine. Do you understand? Yes, master. Only one thing. Yes? Keep your hands off the leather. Now, let us go! For the powers of your machine, or as you say, or of China, all the world will be mine. <laughs> Summon my regiment. What the hell? What's going on here? You fool! You awakened him. Hey, something tells me everything's not on the up and up here, right, Ming Fu? Uh, remember my gift to you? Hey, let's keep a lid on that for a while, all right? Gods! Seize him! Nobody seizes the fine. Stop him! Stop him! I command it! Well, what have we here? Well, that should about do it. No! He came through here! Follow me! He went this way! Quick now! What is that? <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. It is a stranger! I'd love to stay in chat, but I got a date with 1957. If I'm gonna travel, I better travel late. Now, which way out? Ah, oh, we meet again. And for the last time, Ming Fui. Uh, do not be so certain, my friend. Hey, that trick won't work again, Ming. It just won't work. Come, Fonzie, follow me. Whatever you say, master. Exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> so we know Fonzie's here. And in danger. But how do we find him? Richie Ralph Cupcake. Fonzie! Fonzie! Hey, you're all right! Of course I'm all right. I've been waiting for you. Come inside and refresh yourself. Oh, the time machine is almost mine, and with it, limitless power. <laughs> so where's the refreshments, Fonz? You are the refreshments, Val. What feels like? Jumping Jupiter! Why would Fonz do this to us? He wouldn't, but I would! <laughs> you gotta tell us where the time machine is. And quickly! 
If we tell, he'll take the time machine and we'll never see Milwaukee again. But if we don't tell him, we won't see anything again. <laughs> Moon craters! Moon craters! Quickly! Where is the time machine? Don't tell him, guys. He'll only use it for his own evil ends. Right, Cupcake. We'll stand on our principles. But if, but if we stand on our principles, we won't have a leg to stand on. It's on the Great Wall. It's on the Great Wall. Ralph. What can I tell you? I'm weak. The Great Wall. It's as good as mine. <laughs> now let us out of here. Sorry, Ralph. Ming Fu will have to okay that. We're doomed! Not while I still have my powers. We're not! Ah! Ah! Creeping Cosmos! I fizzled! Well, <laughs> at least it'll be over quicker this way. Hey! Hey! It's Mr. Cool! What's, what's going on here? <laughs> Fonz, he's himself again. Help! Quick, we're in trouble, Fonz! Oh, Fonz, you're all right! Help us! All right, hold tight. I'm on my way. Hey, Reggie! Wait for me! Get ready to grab on. Will you get up here, Mr. Cool? Stop playing around. Fonz, Ming Fu has sent his patrol out after the time machine. All right, don't get your freckles in an uproar. We just have to stop him, right? It's that simple, huh? For the Fonz, it is. Lucky for us, the wall is all downhill from the palace. And there's Ming Fu's patrol. All right, all right, all right. Share the road, gentlemen. Coming through here, coming through. Where did they come from? Well, just make sure they can't follow us. Cupcake, no! Everybody, duck. <laughs> All right, come out of there. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be with you in a sec there. Hey, yo, cool. <laughs> cool, I think you forgot something. Uh, thank you very much. Yay! Okay, now. Uh, you guys were saying something? I say, out of our way! Oh, yeah? And I say, you're all wet. All right, quick now, everybody, to the Great Wall. Cosmic calamities! It's gone! But I know we left it there. All right, one question. How did you manage to misplace something that big? What is it, Mr. Cool? It looks like the time machine fell off the wall and was pulled down that way. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Oh. You failed? You let those kids overcome the entire patrol? Oh, sorry, my lord. I need that machine and the powers it contains. And if you and your men cannot get it for me, I will get it for myself. Yeah, that's it. Keep sniffing out the trail and find that time machine. I think he's on to something. Well, let's just say you're close, Rich. I think he's more into something, you know, like an ocean. Look out there! It's Sun Toy and her grandfather! Hello, friends. <laughs> Your machine fell from the Great Wall. And my business is collecting junk. Yeah, well, that's an easy mistake to make. 
Can you show us where it is? Of course. Please to follow me. All right, everybody, this way. You too, Mr. Cole. <laughs> okay, uh, where's the time machine? That is your machine, Richie. Galloping galaxies! It's all in pieces! <laughs> Grandfather took it apart to sell the pieces one by one. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. Well, don't worry about a thing here, there, son toy. I fixed hot rods in worse shape than this. Hot rods? Who knows? Might even work better after a complete overhaul like this. We're trapped in ancient China. Our time machine looks like a jigsaw puzzle, and you're looking for a bright side. Uh, sorry, Ralph. That's okay, Rich. I'm just a little on edge. <laughs> Wrench. Wrench. Ow! Screwdriver. Screwdriver. <laughs> Mallet. Uh oh. Thanks, Ray. Right. <laughs> Where are they? Where are the strangers? Ah! I'll find them without your help, then. Ming Fu. And he's not happy. Wherever you are, I will get you and your machine. This will throw him off our trail. So, there you are. That did not seem to work as you planned. No, but do me a favor and don't tell Fonzie, okay? They'll not get away from me this time. You did it, Fonz, and it looks as good as ever. Better than ever, Rich, with one little exception. The temporal stabilizer is gone. <laughs> I did sell one piece. I remember now, to Zhang Li, the kite maker. Fonzie! Fonzie! Ming Fu is coming! Hey, that's okay, Cupcake. So here you are! Because we were just going. Thanks for holding the jacket there, Ming. Yeah! Thanks, Ming! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> After them! After them! He's not here, Fonz. But we've got to get that part for the time machine. Sleeping Rift off, there it is! He's using it for a weight on his kite's tail. My temporal stabilizer? No, mine! And there'll be no escaping from me this time! Out of my way! Hey! <laughs> Mr. Cool! I'm afraid I hate Bronzy! All right, now hold it, Ming. This has gone on long enough, huh? How about we settle this ourselves? You know, like man to Ming? Are you dare to challenge a Ming Fu? Well, Ming Fu to you too, if you know what I mean. Ah! Oh, help! Oh, somebody help! Up you want, up you got. Mr. Cool, are you all right? Fonzie, behind you. All right, stand your ground. No, friend. We want to thank you. Thank him? We have been under the control of Ming Fu too long. Well, I guess you won't mind if Ming goes on a little well-deserved vacation. No! Yay! Yay! We all thank you for your help, Fonzie. And we have prepared a special celebration with something my grandfather invented. I call it fireworks. Cosmic comets. It's beautiful. Yeah, it looks like Mr. Cool is getting a bang out of him, too. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs>
right, this is the Fonz. Listen up. There is some unbelievable action coming your way today on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Don't you miss it. Whoa. We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. It's doggy name, Mr. Cool and the Good Group. One flaky time machine and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! <laughs> I don't know, Cupcake, please. No more problems. No, Fonzie. No problems at all. I think our next stop is Milwaukee for sure. Milwaukee? All right. I don't believe it. Can you celebrate a little quieter, Mr. Cool? I think I preferred the trumpet, Rich. I mean, everybody, the window now. Yeah, we're ready to run the wow. Yeah, let's give Milwaukee a real 50s welcome. Right. Hey, come on, cool. Hey, we're all excited about going home. I wonder what we're passing over right now. Cavemen? Vikings? Cowboys and Indians? Vampires. Well, according to my calculations, 1957 is only five minutes away. <laughs> hey, Cupcake, you're a little off. We're heading in for a landing already. The sooner the better, Fonz. I can smell those cheeseburgers at Arnold's already. Yikes! Bark! Bark, bark! Bark! Ain't a bark, bark! Hey, what's up, Cool? What's up, Cool? What is it? I don't see anything. This ain't no time for charades. Cool, we're heading home. Yeah! Milwaukee, we're home! Yikes! What's going on here? Oh, I don't know, Fonz. If this is Milwaukee, it's no neighborhood I've ever seen before. Hey, Richie's right, Cupcake. This hunk of junk's done it to us again. You sure this is Milwaukee? I'm not even sure this is Earth. Well, according to my time band, that's the Castle von Wolfenstein, and this is... Ooh, I didn't like the sound of that door. Then you're really gonna hate where we are, Ralph. Transylvania! Transylvania? Ralph! You'll be okay. <laughs> it's just that a lifetime of midnight horror movies just caught up with him. There's only one thing worse than Transylvania at sunset. Well, if the sunset's bothering you... <laughs> and that's Transylvania at night? <laughs> oh, moon craters! All right, all right, now, everybody cool it. We got no problem here. We'll just hop back into this little time machine and take our chances on another time trip. That's all. Well, uh... I don't think that's going to be as easy as it sounds, Fonz. It's gone. Oh, Cosmic no! Cosmic calamities! Any trace of it at all, Cool? Uh -uh. Good evening! Uh-oh! I will see you 
Cool, are you digging your claws into my leather? Uh-huh. Do I like that? Uh-huh. Then what are we gonna do about it? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I am Count Wolfgang von Wolfenstein. Bark! Bark by the Wolfenstein! A real count? Hey, tell me a count, Ship. You see anything like a big, you know, thing of a jig around here anywhere like that? Uh... You are missing something. Things come and go so quickly here in Transylvania. And that's what we should do. Go quickly! Easy, Mal, easy. We ain't going nowhere without that time machine, right? You must all stay with me tonight and look for your machine in the morning's climb. Galloping galaxies, a night in a castle. If we live that long, my coach will take you there. Oh, that's very nice of you there, Count Wolfstein. I'm not going anywhere near that castle. As you wish, my friend. You might find a room in the village if you think you would be more comfortable. Well, just don't stand there, cool. Get the door for the lady. Thanks, Mr. Cool. What are you hanging around out there for? Uh, Fonz, I better stay with Ralph. Somebody's got to protect him from himself. Spoken like a true friend, Rich. Red, you just be very careful, all right? We'll meet you back here in the morning. I hope you know what you're doing, Ralph. Believe me, Rich, you'll thank me for this one day. I, uh... <clears throat> I, uh, I think you said the village was that way. Then what are we waiting for? Hello? Anybody home? Are these vampires or werewolves? Oh, ne neither one, ma'am. You see, we have some friends up at the castle, and, uh... Vampires! Maybe she thought I was selling something. Castle von Wolfenstein is filled with vampires. I can't say no more. Vampires? vampires? One more thing. Stay away from the castle. Oh, no. Count Wolfenstein really is a vampire. We're all doomed. If that's true, Fonzie and Cupcake are in real trouble. Hey, yo, take it easy up there. I feel like a milkshake. How much farther to the castle? Why don't you ask the Count or his driver, Cupcake? Excuse me, Count Wolfenstein, driver? Shooting stars, there's no driver and no Count, only a... a bat. You mean to tell me there's a bat driving us to the castle? Come on, you must be seeing things, Cupcake. Oh, I hope I'm not catching that Martian flu again. Well, here we are, Cuppers, huh? See, maybe what you need is just a good night's rest. <gasps> Creeping Cosmos, who could rest here? You can't judge a castle by its moat. Let's check it out. That drawbridge is a little slow on a draw, huh? <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, cool. You certainly get action. Now, come on, let's go see what we check in. Cool, step it up. Running, Randy! You got good reflexes there, Mr. Cool. <coughs> Obviously, it's the housekeeper's day off. Well, who are you? I am Igor. <laughs> Count Wolfenstein asked me to show you to your rooms. <laughs> this way, this way. Follow Igor. <laughs> Fancy? No, we don't got much choice. Let's just follow Igor. <laughs> Igor. 
You are quite right, Fonzie. You have no choice at all. <laughs> But, Rich, why do we have to go through the graveyard? Because it's the fastest way to the castle, Ralph. And if we hurry, we can save our friends. But if we wait till sunrise, we can save ourselves. Ralph, just stay close, and we'll be at the castle before you know it. I just have a bad feeling about this, Rich. Rich, it's that wolf! Uh, 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 maybe, maybe he's just somebody's pet. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so, Rich. He hasn't got any dog tags. Then let's go. Faster, Ralph! Faster! I'm running as fast as I can. Tell him to go slower. Thanks, Ralph. That was a close one. No! No! Where are we going, Rich? I don't know, Ralph. This is a new one on me. Now, just get a good night's sleep, Cupcake. We'll be right next door if you need us, all right? Thank you, Fonzie. Good night. Archie, and you're wearing your own? <laughs> Good night to you, too, Mr. Cool. Well, you got the clowning, Cool. Let's just hit the hay. That's better. Suffering Saturn, this isn't much of a room. And what's this? <gasps> a coffin! Leaping liftoff! We meet again, Cupcake. What? What do you want? You, Cupcake. I want you to reign with me over this world of darkness. I'm warning you. Stand back or I'll zap. Bah, what could you do to me? <laughs> Just watch. Moon craters. Ah, oh, the night air. How it invigorates me! Cosmic calamities! Trust me, Cupcake. All this can be yours. All of what? The night, my love. The night! Well, uh, gee, thanks. It's very nice, but it's very dark. You do not approve? No, no, it's terrific if you're a bat. That can be arranged! I'm losing my patience, Cupcake. The time has come for you to become my bride. This is what I want. <laughs> and I always get what I want. <laughs> Cosmic calamity. Are you ever going to finish brushing your teeth so we could turn in? I think you're overdoing it there a bit, Cool. <laughs> Are you about done? Huh? 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 That's good, because tomorrow we got to find that time machine so we can get out of here. What's the hurry, Fonzie? I'm getting to like it here. Oh, come on, Cupcake. How many times I got to tell you that? You have told me what to do for the last time, Arthur Fonzarelli. Cupcake, have you gone batty? Does 
this answer your question, Fonzie? Ah, uh, one of them there, Count Wolf. And that answers the other. The mirror. I seem to remember vampires don't cast a reflection. Very observant, but too late. <laughs> Your friend is already in my power. Show them, Cupcake. As you wish, Master. Oh, Cupcake, no. I have no choice. Yikes! <laughs> What? What is this? Sometimes the magic works. Sometimes it doesn't. Eh, yeah, mostly it don't. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You got two seconds to zap my leather back there, Cupcake. What? Cosmic calamities! What have I done? This tunnel has got to end somewhere. Unless it's Milwaukee 1957, I don't think I want to know, Rich. Toys for Igor! What's he talking about, Rich? I, uh... I think he's talking about us, Ralph. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Richie, help! No! Igor's equipment! Oh, gee, I'm, I'm sorry, Igor, but, but it wasn't really my fault. Rich, help me! Pull a switch! Push a button! Call the Marines! Do something! Ralph, are you okay? Huh? What happened? Igor knows, Igor knows, but Igor's not telling. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Rich, fast! But what happened to the wolf? Igor will show you. Please, Rich, let's go! <sighs> Holy moly! There's the wolf! Igor's machine works! <sighs> Ralph! Ralph, come on, snap out of it! Ralph, it's me! Remember? Richie? Huh? Your pal? <laughs> we'll talk more about it later. Fonzie! <laughs> where are you? Fonzie, I don't know what came over me. Sweet cupcake, everything's gonna be just fine. It appears that I will have to take matters into my own hands. Careful, careful there, doggo mine. <laughs> oh, Fonzie! Hey, don't worry, huh? Come on, the Fonz can handle a vampire. I hope the Fonz can handle a vampire. <laughs> My best friend, a werewolf. Where can I hide? I guess this will have to do. <laughs> Richie went that way. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> There will be no escape for you this time, Fonzi. Well, we'll just have to skip our bat there, Count. <laughs> Fonzi? Richie! I got bad news, Fonz. And I'm not sure how to break this to you. Yeah, we know, Rich. The Count is a vampire. Worse, Fonz. <laughs> Ralph is a werewolf. Cosmic calamities! So, I see your friend has found Igor's laboratory. Ralph, come on now, Ralph. Snap out of it here. It's yours. It's your friends. A werewolf's only friend is the full moon. <laughs> Boy, you know, Ralph is going to be so embarrassed when we remind him about this. The full moon, eh? Well, I can do something about that. Be careful, Cupcake. Yes, you can, Cupcake. Just think positive. Take that! Neptune's moon! I did it! Where am I? I remember! I remember! 
All right, the odds are a little more in our favor now, Count Face. But not for long, Fonzie. Not for long. <laughs> what do you suppose he meant by that, Fonz? I suppose we don't stick around here and find out. All right, let's get out of here and find that time machine. Let's go. I still don't understand what's happening. The last thing I remember is... <laughs> Hey, what is it, puppy? You look like you just saw a, uh... Yikes! A werewolf! Ralph's on the loose again! Suffering Saturn! A dead end! Three against three now, my foolish friends! Time for a recount now. There's no place to run, Fonzie. This place is filled with secret doors, but not here. Yeah. Hey, Richie was right. Follow that redhead. Now they have stumbled on a real dead end. <laughs> See? Oh, no. This is where it all started. And this is where it will all end. <laughs> now, just hold it for a minute. You've stretched my patience far enough here. It's just you and me. As you wish. Fonzie, he's cheating. What would you expect from a Billy? <laughs> Get him, Master. Get him. <laughs> oh, co come on, Ralph. Remember Milwaukee, huh? Arnold's cheeseburgers. Janet Blanchard. Oh, 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 oh. Aha! At least there's hope. Oh, come on, County. You can do better than that. Master, why did you do that to Igor? <laughs> Excellent shot, Fonz. All right, give me a sec here, Rich. Give me a sec. I'll have Ralph back to normal. It's me! It's me again! Ooh, a pet for Igor! A pet for Igor! Hello, pet! Like you have tricked me once too often, mortal. It is time this night was over. You know, you got a point there, old cape wonder. It's time this night was over. Cool. Pull the rope. One trip I sure won't forget. Yeah, I don't think Ralph and Mr. Cool are gonna forget either. <laughs> I don't know where I got these fleas.
It's the Fonz. Listen up. There is some unbelievable action coming your way today on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Don't you miss it. Whoa. We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine, and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine, and they're like traveling through time. My, my, they do not think where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. To starboard, ah, to starboard. We'll be safe if we can just reach the port of Salem. <laughs> You'll never see port again, Captain. <laughs> it's, it's the witch of Salem. We'll crash for sure. Abandon ship, abandon ship. All right, what do you think, Cuppers? What do you think? Is this finally gonna be 1957? As sure as my name is Cupcake Fonzie, just you wait! This doesn't look like 1957 to me. <laughs> Are you sure as your name is Cupcake, you said? I think Mud Pie is more like it. <laughs> you get it? Cupcake? Mud Pie? Oh, sometimes I crack me up. Yeah, and sometimes I'd like to do it for you, Ralph. <laughs> you want me to try and zap us out of this mud, Fonzie? I could do it. I know I could. Yeah, well, it looks like we ain't got no choice here. Trust me. Isn't that what Benedict Arnold said? Yeah, bark, bark. All right, all right, everybody, just brace yourself. What happened? Jumping Jupiter, I did it! I got us out of the mud! And into a haystack. But that's still real good, Cupcake. Hey, where's Mr. Cool? Randy! Oh, there you are. You got yourself a little turned around, huh, fella? Uh-huh. Yeah, you gotta pay attention. Yeah, all right. Witchcraft! It's witchcraft! Font! It's a girl! Yeah, and what a girl. Arthur Fanzarelli, at your service, damsel. And Ralph. And Richie. Alas! What's so special about her? You're... you're witches! Oh, no, 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 no. You got that all wrong. We are not witches. We're just passing through in our time machine. See? Time machine? Yeah, that's right. Wonderful Mr. Cool, you want to show her? Right, Randy! We're not witches? Yeah, you bet your sweet broomstick we're not. But who are you? And where are we? My name is Elizabeth Proctor, and you're in Salem, Massachusetts. Leaping lasers! It's not only Salem, it's also 1692, the year of the witch trials. Witches? So that's what all this witchcraft is about. Witch of Salem has ruined all but one shipping business in Salem. And who knows what will happen next. <laughs> Oh, no! It's Judge Morris. They'll think you're witches for sure. You must hide quickly. Hey, Miss Proctor's right, guys. 
that stuck into the barn. Well, I'm not hiding. Why, with just one little zap of my 25th century powers, I could... Yeah, you could mess it up for all of us. So come on now, please join us. Oh, Mo Graders! Elizabeth Proctor, the witch of Salem, sunk another ship last night, and we're looking for her. Why, look here, Judge Morris. There's never anything out of the ordinary at the Proctor farm. <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary, huh? <laughs> Mr. Ghoul, hurry! Psst, hurry! Mr. Ghoul, uh -oh. this way. There is someone in your barn, Elizabeth Proctor. No, no, there isn't, Judge Morris. Please, everybody, quiet. Right, Bungie. Will you please, Mr. Ghoul? Oh, no, stay. It's making me... What was that? I, I'm, I'm sure it's nothing. <laughs> Did you do something about this cupcake? Do you really want me to try? No. 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 <laughs> Where's it gonna stop? There. Did you see? Witchcraft. I know what I saw. Oh, great. That's just great. We're in deep trouble now. There they are. Get them. Stop the witches. We need a plan! We need a plan! Run! Good plan, Ridge! Hey, wait for me! They must not get away! We'll get them, Judge Morris! Blackburn, follow me! This is all a mistake, please! If there's been a mistake, Elizabeth, the mistake is yours! What do we do now, Ridge? Operation Leapfrog, Ralph! You got it! Okay, pal. Your turn. <laughs> One down, two to go. All right, I gotta warn you, these fingers are registered with the police department. What are you talking about? Well, the man asked. It is the devil's work. They are witches. <laughs> nice work, Fonzie. Oh, <coughs> respect for you. Yeah, keep trying there, Mr. Cool. You'll get the knack of it. <coughs> right. Fonzie, help! They're taking me to witches' prison. Wait, wait for me. If we cannot capture your witch friends, Elizabeth Proctor, we'll take you for consorting with them. <laughs> We're saved! But Elizabeth's not. We've got to help her. All right, Cuppers, now you're the only one who can help us now. Concentrate, please, okay? Sure thing, Fonzie. Fonz, if Cupcake is the only one who can help us now... <laughs> We're really sunk. Moon craters! I feel just awful, Fonz. I mean, if we hadn't shown up, Elizabeth wouldn't be in Witch's prison now. Yeah, don't sweat your freckles off there, Cunningham. We'll get her out. Unless we get caught, too. Ralph's right. We look pretty conspicuous. What we need is a disguise. Just wait a minute. Wait. Like... <laughs> Is this what you call inconspicuous? Uh, this isn't exactly how it was supposed to work, Fonzie. <laughs> we're doomed! Even I believe we're witches! You know, Ralph's right, Cuppers. You better do something and pronto. I think they need our help, Solomon. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me lately? <laughs> All right, all right, Mr. Cool. Come on, snap out of it. Oh, Rex, Randy. Yeah, it's sure. That's what friends are for. <laughs> my friends, my friends, this way. Follow me. What do we do? We follow her. I was afraid he'd say that. All right, I got a feeling that she knows something. I just hope it's not Judge Morris she knows. Come inside. Do not be afraid of Lechuba. Oh, right! Uh, oh, 
Bartholome, my cat, come, come inside. I am an importer of many things from many lands, and I have learned much in my travels. Yeah, anything about the witches of Salem? <sighs> there are no witches. Witchcraft is dead. Ah, this guy doesn't look like he's doing too well either. But what about all the ships that have sunk? Look, not to witches, but to the J.M. Shipping Company. The J.M. Shipping Company? <laughs> Next thing we'll be thinking Lichaba is the witch of Salem and imagining things. No! Like that room moving all by itself. Yes! Witches! The J.M. Shipping Company is the only one that hasn't lost a single ship. Well, that don't sound right. Right. Everybody run for your lives! Ah! Run! Ralph, what's wrong? Hey, you got to excuse us there, Litchie, but, but thanks for the tip. Huh? We'll check it out right away. It's okay now, Fonz. I'm calm. Oh, isn't that great, Mal? Because I want you and Rich to check out this J&M shipping matter while Cuppers and I find Elizabeth. Reggie! Yeah, all right, you'll come with me, Mr. Cool. Mm. That's right. <laughs> to the witch's prison! <laughs> Elizabeth! Elizabeth, are you in there? Fonzie? Is that you? I hero. Hey. What do we look like? Pepperoni pizzas? Ah, pepperoni women! And you must all leave quickly. Judge Morris has his men under orders to find you at any cost. Any cost, huh? Hey, it's nice to know they recognize value when they see it. Hey. Fancy! You won't be getting away this time. <laughs> No part of witches or wizards. Well, if that's your attitude, then we'll just split. Run for it, cuppers. They've tricked us. <laughs> yes! At least we've got you. <laughs> Was right. J.M. Shipping is the only company left in business here at the docks. With a witch loose around here, I'm not surprised. Hello? Anybody there? Rich, what are you doing? You want the witch to know we're here? Don't be silly, Ralph. Come on, we gotta find the owner, like Fon said. Ooh, I don't like this at all. We're moving. Moving? Come on, it's just your imagination, Ralph. Just look for your... Oh, my gosh! We're at sea! Oh, no! Find some oars! Call the captain! Call the Coast Guard! What do you think, Fonzie? The coast looks clear. Let's move. Please, go away. Save yourself. Relax yourself, Elizabeth. I'm going to save all of us. Not if we have anything to say about it. Try and get out of this. <laughs> Whoa. Cosmic calamities. Right. So you decided to pay us a visit after all. I'm sure we can find you accommodations until your trial. Oh, a trial? Are you crazed? On what charges, may I ask? Charges? Why, witchcraft, of course. <laughs> Oh, Fonzie, this is all my fault. Hey, easy, Cupcake, easy. I'm not blaming anybody. If I was, you'd be right, but I'm not, so it's okay. And besides, we're going to get a fair trial and prove that we're not witches. Give me a break. Galloping Galaxy, that's right! You apparently do not know how the witch trials work, friends. 
maybe you could enlighten us, huh? The trial is quite simple, really. They simply dunk you underwater. <laughs> and if you survive, you're a witch. <laughs> That's not exactly my idea of a fair trial. Suffering sad and mine either. We better get out of here. And I know just how to do it. What is she going to do? Oh, with Cupcake, there's no telling, right, Cool? Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, right, Rosie. She. I'll make that wall into a gate to freedom. Well, you're on the right track, Cuppers, but that is a toll gate. Mole crater. Hey. I pray, boo, lady. If you say it's not witchcraft, I believe you, but it's certainly unusual. The witches! They're escaping! They must be stopped! <laughs> Quickly! Blackburn! The key is jammed! There's no time for comedy now, Mr. Cool. They're on to us. You sure this is J.M. shipping, Elizabeth? Positive, but where could their boat be? And Ralph and Richie! Hey! Backbark! See anything, Mr. Cool? <laughs> Hello again, friends. Hey, Liddy, have you seen our two red-headed friends? No, I was concerned about them and came looking. They are gone. But Salome can find them. <laughs> I can't! <laughs> Solo make and find anyone or anything. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Cool wants to have a go at it, too. All right, you two, when I say go. All right, I'm ready, Rosie. All right, on your mark. And Mr. Cool, be respectful. Go, find Ralph and Rich. Hey, not if the Fonz has anything to say about this. Cool, let's go. <laughs> cool, now. I'm in, Reggie. <laughs> Thank you. I just hope we can get there fast enough to save them. Don't you worry about that, Fonzie. I can help you there. Whoa! Cupcake, no! <laughs> Cupcake, this is too fast. Whoa! Fasten your seatbelt, cool. I thought I knew what I was doing. They'll crash, too! Now, how do you stop this thing? Don't make it me! It's Fonzie! We're gonna be saved! Isn't he coming awfully fast, Rich? I gotta do something fast. If I can't stop Cupcake's magic, maybe I can just, like, redirect it. Oh, no! Fonzie? Fonzie! Cunningham, how did you get in this mess? He did it! He's wonderful! He's mine. But where's Lichaba? I don't know, but cosmic calamities! Look! <laughs> oh, it's the Witch of Salem! She'll make them crash! It's the Witch! She's gonna make us crash for sure! <laughs> Will you have a little faith in Fonzie, Ralph? Ralph! We're ready when we go to Rosie! Yeah, of course I will, of course I will. The question is, what? <laughs> this is the worst news I've heard all day. I've got some worse news for you, witch. <gasps> the judge's men! Not again! All right, now, when I give the signal, you gotta swing, you got it? Put the witches out there! You haven't got a lot of choice, Ralph. All right, now, swing! <laughs> now I have you! Have him first, okay? You're a real pal, Ralph. You hold on tight now, cool. <laughs> I said hold on tight. Rory, Rocky! It's all right. <laughs> 
fancy meeting you here. She's getting away. Let her. Let her. You two okay? We're fine, Fonz. But it looks like Mr. Cool found a friend. <laughs> This could take all day. Fine. Look at this. Hey, Mr. Cool schools out, huh? Hey, look, everybody. Footprints. And not exactly the kind I'd expect a witch to leave. As long as she leaves, what's the difference? Well, she sure left her mark behind. Now, where do you suppose Cupcake and Elizabeth went off to? I don't think they went off, Rich. I think they were taken. Taken! But I think I know how to put a stop to all this nonsense once and for all. And I claim that she is the Witch of Salem. She is responsible for sinking our ship. Oh, that's a lie, and you know it! And if ever I get my hands free, you'll see some real witchcraft! Hold tight, Cup, his help is on the way. That is one of her wizard friends. Hey, you're correct, Amundo, you judgeship. Fonzie! Yeah, we all wizards, so it'd be wise not to mess with us, huh? Show him, Ralph. You sure about this, Fonz? Are you questioning me, Ralph? Just do the trick. Whatever you say. Ta-da! They're turning on me, Fonz. And now we're taking Elizabeth Proctor and split. Stop them! All right, you guys, get ready to run. This is one time Ralph's smoke bombs will come in handy. Such witchcraft! Grab that wizard! Nobody's grabbing anybody. Burn! Let us go! Any more takers? No? Well, then I'll be going. Don't let them get away! Stop them! You must stop them! Hey! You are wonderful, Fonzie! Witches! Wizards! Stop them! All right, now, let's get back to that time machine before they realize what hit them. Witches! Wizards! Faster, Rich! Faster! We gotta get the time machine uncovered! <laughs> you gotta come with us, Elizabeth. You're in danger here. But this is my home, Fonzie. I cannot leave. Fonzie, they're coming! You go without me! No chance. We'll have to settle this now. We've all seen your witchcraft. Admit it! You're the witch of Salem! I'm not, and they're not! And who is? I... I think she is! <laughs> the witch of Rivers! It's her again! Yeah, but not for long. <laughs> He's captured the witch! But witches don't capture witches. You know, you're right. But we do catch dishonest judges. <gasps> Judge Morris? He was the witch of Salem? But why? Well, it all clicked when I saw those man-sized footprints the witch made. Which got me to thinking that maybe J.M. Shipping stood for Judge Morris. You kids think you're so smart. I get it. He was faking the witchcraft scare to get rid of his shipping competition. And there are no witches. Little Bar told you that all along. Ah, I never doubted it for a minute. Yeah, rest, rest, rest. I thought you might like this broom as a souvenir of your trip to Salem. Um, and Salem, bow wow. Hey, that's all right, Mr. Cool. Take it, take it. Like Little Bar says, there's no such thing as witchcraft. Right, Randy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was very good, Cupcake, but I think you better bring him down now. I'd love to, Fonzie, but, well, I didn't do it. Then who did? Now, that's a real good question.
Hey, yours truly defines here. Incredible. That's the only word to describe what's happening to me and the Happy Days gang today. So you stick around. You get my drift. Sorry we couldn't do the same thing for that barge over there, you know what I mean? <laughs> Egypt has many royal barges. But only one Cleopatra. Whoa. Yeah, barge crash! <laughs> wow, that's what? <laughs> yeah, uh, cool, cool. Uh, I couldn't have said it better myself, Cleo. The Cleopatra? As in Queen of the Nile? Not yet, my friends. I was on my way to be crowned when something happened to my barge. That's the understatement of the year, your queenliness. Would you like to come to the ceremony with me as my guests? Oh, wow, that's terrific. Great galaxy. Yeah, Cleo, you got yourself a date. Your last date, Cleopatra. A runaway barge isn't the only way to clear the throne for King Ra the First, is it, my faithful car? <laughs> wow, this is some party. Where are the dancing girls? It's not that kind of party, Ralph. Just our luck. <laughs> hey, Bow Wow! <laughs> No! Let the ceremony begin! <laughs> this is Ra, our high priest. He may be a high priest to you. Ra! But he looks like trouble to me. 
What is the meaning of this intrusion? The meaning, Ray, Ra, is that we're sticking around for the show. Can you dig it? Right, Ronzi. Thank you. There may be no show, intruder. Behold. <gasps> Denial. <gasps> it's it's what happened here? It's... The, gone. the river warns us that the gods no longer smile on Cleopatra. This is terrible. Hey, don't listen to him, Cleo. How could anybody not smile on you? Oh, thank you, Fonzie. Hey, besides, I'll bet there's more to this missing river than meets the eye. The gods are telling us that Cleopatra must forfeit her crown, and I must rule Egypt. Oh, yeah, bucko? You in what army? This army! He's got us there, Rich. Arrest those foreign spies. Well, Ree, whatever. If we're going to get physical about it. Oh, physical! Yeah, put him up. Come on, come on, bring him, bring him through. Uh oh. Take them to the work gang at the stone quarry while I decide their fate. Huh? Oh, right. Yikes! Don't worry, Fonzie. I got us into this mess. And I'm going to zap us out. Hey, not bad, Cupcake. But not exactly my idea of the perfect escape, either. You're all my captives now. Captives! And no captive has ever left this quarry alive. Uh. Hey, there's always a first time near row. Not for you, stranger. Our new captive needs a lesson, Hoth. Teach him one. With pleasure, Ra. Be careful, Fonzie. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? Rich, the only person his size is King Kong. I'm warning you, Hoth. No one warns Hoth of anything. <laughs> they have it your way, buddy boy. Sure. <laughs> Ice going, Fon. You showed him. Flipping lift off. Now it looks like they're gonna show us. Surround them. Maybe my powers will get us out. Please, cool it, Cupcake. We're not that desperate. We're not? Hey, Mal, has the famous Fonzarelli toe tap ever let you down before? takes care of them, Fonz, but what about us? We're trapped. The leather, Ralph, the leather. Sorry, Fonz, I don't know what came over me. Oh. <laughs> Galloping galaxy, it looks like an ancient elevator. All aboard, and that includes you too, Mr. Cool, come on. Right, Ronzi. Uh, all right, all right, all right, come on. This is no time for jokes. Right. Now, we gotta find a way out of here. Yo, Mr. Cool. Right, Randy. All right, we gotta do some tracking. Right, Randy. <laughs> your nose, your nose. Be careful with all that dust, Mr. Cool. Gesundheit, cool. I'll take it from here, right? Everybody, follow the fines. Fonzie? Now, come on, you three. Cleo's in trouble. We're talking serious jeopardy here. Go ahead, Fonz. We'll catch up later. Suffering Saturn, Ralph. Are you afraid of heights? No, 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 Cupcake, but I'm petrified of depths. That's okay, Ralph. I'll just sap us across. Whoa! Next time, Cupcake, keep your zaps to yourself. I don't get it. We've been following this tunnel for miles, Mr. Cool. Who knows? We could even be under the city by now. Are they ready? Yeah. Oh, boy. The foreign spies have escaped from the stone quarry. 
If we are foolish enough to return for the temple... My little friend, where could he be? <laughs> By the eye of Horus, how could a flying foreign dog escape me? <coughs> no sign of the foreigners, Ra. They must have found a way out of the temple. <laughs> oh, sunshine at last. Hey, Mr. Cool, too, where have you been, pal? Yeah, 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 all right, all right. I'm sorry I asked, Cool. Now, come on. We gotta find Cleo. Right, Fonzie. We made it. We finally escaped from Ra's rock quarry. I'm not sure two million square miles of sand dunes is a big improvement, Rich. And there's still no sign of Fonzie. Neptune's moons, what's that? It looks like... They're building a pyramid. Civilization, follow me. Whoa! Do we have a choice? Whoa! Sand in my shoes, sand in my pocket, sand in my petrified frog. Cheer up, Ralph. I'll have you cleaned up faster than you can say. Moon craters. Whoops. Sorry, Ralph. I hear voices. Who goes there? It's a guard. They're everywhere. Quick, this way. We'll be safe in here for sure. Oh, that palace is locked up tighter than an overheated engine block. Which means old Rob Face must not want anybody in there with Cleo. Right, Fonzie. I know, Cool, I'm thinking. Which means that we got to get in there right away. Right, Fonzie. Right. <laughs> Yo, cool, this is no time to drop out of the picture. We got a clear patch of the rescue and a missing river to find. Right, Randy, I'm right about it, and I'm funny, but whoa. Hey, we found her on the first try, Mr. Cool. What do you say about that? Yeah, whoa, 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 I wasn't serious about what you said. Fonzie, you should not have come here. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Once you're in safety and we're out of here, Cleo. But Ra's guys are everywhere. Yeah, well, so I see. And so is Ra himself. My guards will see that you remain here until after my coronation. And as for your friends, they are in good hands. Or should I say, claws. Terrible time warps. This pyramid gives me the creeps. Relax, Cupcake, relax. Think of it as a small detour. <laughs> Think of it as a giant prison. We're trapped. Oh, I'm too young to spend the rest of my life in the pyramid. I've got girls to meet, sodas to slurp. Cheer up, Ralph. Things could always be worse. I'll get us out of here. <laughs> yeah, Rich, I see what you mean. Right spot in this, Rich. I dare you. Now Ra has gone too far. This is no way to treat a queen of the Nile. Hey, I know what you mean, Cleo. I know what you mean. This is no way to treat a Fonzarelli either. Ah, back, back, rush! Yeah, don't worry, Cleo. Getting out of here will be a snap. <laughs> oh. There's something fishy about this disappearing river. We gotta get to the highest spot in the neighborhood and have a look around, you know? The top of the Great Pyramid is the highest place by far. But it is in the desert, far beyond the city walls. Well, that's even better. Hey, yo, cool. Oh, yeah, Randy! 
Let's go find ourselves a pyramid. The palace gates are just ahead. All right, cool the run. So arise, guards. Oh, we'll never get out. They'll recognize me. Hey, maybe that's going to work for us, Cleo. And here's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! What's going on? <laughs> What's the trouble in here? Oh, there's no trouble, officer. Whoa! We just have to borrow your uniform for a while. <laughs> Hey, nice going there, cool. Thanks, boy. All right, now let's get on with the plan. Hold! Where are you taking Cleopatra? Ra expects us. He does? Sure, he expects us to stay locked in your room. He. <laughs> Quickly, Mr. Cool, call gives the alarm. All right, time out here, time out. All right, Cool, this better be good. All right, one. Here's a bow wow, Just do it. <laughs> now, let's find that pyramid. All right, horsies, let's go. <laughs> Bridge. We've been through a lot together. And no matter how this turns out, I want you to know one thing. What's that, Ralph? It's all your fault! Hold it, hold it. I hear Ralph and Richie. Your friends sound like they're in trouble. You're right, Cleo, but you get used to it after a while. <laughs> all right, cool. Just lead us to them. We're being buried alive! All right, just look on the bright side, Ralph. At least we're not being kept after school by the principal, right? Yeah, yeah, calm yourself, cool, calm yourself. The Fonz has the situation well in hand. Hey, it's about time you guys showed up. Boy, they sure don't build pyramids like they used to. <laughs> oh, thanks, Fonz. You saved us again. I mean, how many times oh, have Red, we got... Red, we'll pass out the medals later. I'm glad to see you, too. Right now, we got to find ourselves a missing river. There is the Nile. And that is where it should be. Well, maybe that's where it still is, Your Worshipfulness. But we'll have to go there ourselves to be sure. Leave the driving to me! You're driving all right, Cupcake. You're driving me crazy. We have you surrounded, strangers. I goofed up. What can I say? Well, you can start with I'm sorry. Return Cleopatra to me and surrender. Ha! Ralph Mouth doesn't know the meaning of surrender. <laughs> Unless it means give up. He understands that real well. Ra is right, my friends. You must not endanger yourselves further. I will give myself up. Now, just one second, Cleo. You can't quit now. We're talking history here. And if somebody doesn't do something soon, we're not even going to rate a footnote. This is your last chance, stranger. Then I'm taking it. <laughs> Everybody, stay close. Right, 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 right. Follow the leader was never like this. Great galaxy, things are getting sticky. Not half as sticky as they're gonna get. Moon craters. We better wrap this up right away. 
You cannot escape us that easily. And you cannot escape Fonzie at all. Yeah, that's right. Cool, come on, let's get a move on, huh? Keep them busy, my faithful pet. I have one more surprise for Cleopatra and her meddling friends. <laughs> nice work, cool. Hans, it's a mummy. This is not a good time for introductions, Ralph. You're right, Rich. It's time for panic. It's my secret weapon, Cleopatra, and your doom. There are my enemies. Eliminate them! But we could use a chip off the old block. We must capture them! Looks like our decoy chariot fooled them. All right, now, let's look for that missing river. Right, <laughs> So this is what happened to the Nile River. Ah, Rob built the dam to stop the water long enough to steal your throne, Cleo. Then he'd become... King Ra the First! Ruler of all Egypt! I discovered your deception and doubled back! We know your secret, bucko! And my mummy will see that you take it with you to your graves! Thanks, but a lift back to Cairo will be far enough. Whoa! Fingers don't fail me now! <laughs> Terrible time warps! <laughs> You can say that again. <laughs> Not you, her. Barney! We'll never escape now. Never say never, Clee. Yeah! <laughs> Soon, all of Egypt will be within my reach. <laughs> Maybe not as soon as you think, Raw Fish. Your walking first aid kit is already in my reach. <laughs> now that's what I call an empty threat. <laughs> I like that. All right, it looks like just you and me now, Ra. Not quite, Fonzie. You have forgotten Carl and Cleopatra. Fonzie? And you've forgotten where you're standing. I am King Ra the First! I command the Nile to obey me! Thanks to you, the Nile has been restored. Ra has been punished and I am Queen of Egypt. How can I reward you? How about giving me your autograph, Cleopatra? It ought to be worth a fortune back in 1957. But who'd believe you, Ralph? <laughs> Whoever believes you. Good point, Rich. Perhaps something more personal would do. <laughs> no, Fonzie. It is I who should be rewarding you. Trust me, Cleo. You deserve it. All right, Mr. Cool. You too. Oh! 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 Leaping lasers, Cool! Look out! Ah, shoot! Now that's what I call getting carried away. Whoa! Hey, cool! Wait for me!
Hey, yours truly defines here. Incredible. That's the only word to describe what's happening to me and the Happy Days gang today. So you stick around. Forget my drift. Or what? Pull the lever already. Right, Fonzie. I can smell the burgers and fries already. <laughs> oh, not again. All right, Cupcake. Uh, this may be 1957, but trust me, this is not Milwaukee. Not unless they invented man-eating plants while we were gone. We're 3,000 miles from home, stranded in a jungle, surrounded by man-eating plants, and who knows what else, and all you can say is, I guess I goofed? <laughs> Thank <you. laughs> Don't mention it. That's what friends are for, cool. Look on the bright side, Ralph. Yeah, Rich? What's that? This is closer than she's ever gotten us before. Right. Just get back in the time machine, and with a few simple adjustments, I'll have you... Lost in time again. No thanks. I'd rather walk. Come on, Ralph, huh? You gotta admit, Cupcake Mouth does have a point here. Ellis, look! It's one of them flying saucers! Yeah, you've been in the jungle too long, Rafferty. It must be some new kind of airplane. Otherwise, there'd be little green men coming out instead of kids. Uh, well, maybe they're trying to horn in on our smuggling operation. Nah, nah, nobody knows about the lost city but us. And speaking of the lost city, it looks like we're being followed. <laughs> but not for long. Fonz, look! That girl's in trouble. Everybody cross your fingers, except Cupcake. Your fingers have done enough already. <laughs> Hold on, any lady, we're going for a ride. I am Luna. You have saved my life. It's nothing I wouldn't do for any beautiful person of the female persuasion. 
Hey, cool. Huh? Come on, let's get a move on down there. Huh? <laughs> hey, everybody, this is Luna. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Luna, meet Cupcake, Richie, Ralph, and... Hey, Mr. Cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, you kids. Huh? Are you trying to muscle in on our territory? Oh. Oh, no, sir. Our territory is in Milwaukee. And I wouldn't call Fonzie a kid. He takes it kind of personally. Well, let's see how personally he takes this. Oh, yeah? Now, back off. Anybody passes out knuckle sandwiches around here, it's going to be me. Dig it? Yeah, bucko. We saw what you tried to do to Luna. You tell him, Ridge. <laughs> Because I sure won't. Listen, let's teach this city boy the law of the jungle. All right, hold it a millisecond. You guys sure that two against one is fair? We're sure. <laughs> hey, that's all right with me. Whoa! Well, I just thought you might want to call in reinforcements. Uh, You'll pay for you this. That. Yeah, and you better watch your step. No! Okay, let's, let's go. Get out of here. Yeah, great work, Bonds. Oh, I hope we've seen the last of them. This will finish them off for sure. Whoa! Oh no, they're coming back. Everybody, duck! Suffering Saturn. Sorry, Mr. Cool. Well, I guess we took care of them, right, Luna? 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 She's gone! Yeah, those two tough guys must have scared her off. <laughs> it looks like Mr. Cool's volunteering to track it down, though. Yeah, 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 yeah! Rest. Well, it looks like Cool's done it again. It sure does. But what? Well, we're not gonna find out standing here. Right? Follow me. Ralph! Help! The giant octopus has got me! All right, hold on, Ralph. I'll save you. Oh, thanks, Rich. I was a goner for sure. Ralph, that's no octopus. It's not? It's a pair of backpacks. They must belong to those two traders. And they're full of gold and jewels. Lucky we found them. What do you mean, we? Hey, nice work, Mr. Cool. You found a secret entrance. Oh. In a hidden city. Covered with gold and jewels. Ain't no one of those two characters were worried about their territory. They found a leftover piece of the ancient Inca <laughs> civilization. Yeah, look at this. Mr. Cool has found a whole city filled with beautiful ladies. Maybe they shouldn't hear us. Maybe they already have, stranger. I'm Queen Matatil, and strangers are forbidden in my valley. Yeah, well, not so fast there, your grandness, right? We're new in town. But not for long. Warriors, arrest them! All right, uh, careful, girls. Now, no tickling, and uh, certainly no fingerprints on my leather. I'll take care of them, Fonzie. All right, hey, hold it, Cupcake. There's a better way to handle this. Father, wait! See what I mean? This is the man who saved my life. He is still a stranger. But uh, perhaps we can make an exception. Phew. Yeah. For the moment. Well, that's really nice of you, Your Royalness. Now, if we could just find Richie and Ralph. I'm rich, rich. You're also very boring, Ralph. I can afford to be boring. I'm rich. Uh, Ralph, I, I hate to change the subject, but we have some good news and some bad news. The good news is, we're surrounded by beautiful women. Beautiful women? The bad news is, they're bigger than we are. And they're not smiling. Next time, Rich, will you just stick to the good news? We've captured the thieves, my queen. We found them with these. Wait! I can explain everything! He did it! Wow! The strangers have deceived you, Luna. But, Mother... Throw them out to the parada. You can't do that to us! No, but Cupcake can. Oh! Road Craters! No, parada. But you were real close. Rafferty, is everything...
everybody busy at the river, looks like we'll have the rest of the town to ourselves. Aye, come on, Ellis. We'll start with that gold idol. It'll bring us a fortune on the black market downriver. <laughs> Fox, do something quick. Right. I'm getting seasick. Ooh. Ralph, we're not even in the water yet. I know, Rich. I thought I'd start early to avoid the rush. All right, come on. Don't get your freckles in and up for you, too. We can still get out of here if we all swing together. So just follow my lead. Here we go. Swing. Swing. Now you catch it on. It's great. Swing. Oh, Everybody, run for it. Cool. We're talking escape here, not hide and seek. Mr. Cool, there's no time to be scared. Hurry, we must capture them. Hurry, oh, hurry, 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 Hey, it worked. They really thought we were a totem pole. Well, let's get out of here before it becomes a permanent condition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but just stay close, everybody, huh? I'll get us out of here if it's the last thing I do. Tell them not to talk like that, Rich. It makes me real nervous. It's missing. Catch oh, the strangers! Catch the strangers! We've got to get out of this valley and back to the time machine. Quick, down here. It looks like a shortcut. <laughs> a little too short, mouth. Catch oh, the strangers! Like we're boxed in. Things look desperate. Do something, Bonds. I'll get us out of this. Ah, uh, no, you won't, Cupcake. Cunningham said desperate, not hopeless. Oh, you guys, come on, squeeze through here. I'll hold them off the pass. <laughs> Correction, while Mr. Cool and I head him off with the pass. All right, get going, come on. We'll meet you back at the time machine. Okay, Fonzie. Okay, Fonz, you're the boss. <laughs> I'm worried about Fonzie and Mr. Cool. The Fonz can take care of himself, Cupcake. That's right, but who's gonna take care of me? Hey, this dugout canoe ought to get us out of here. Hey, Ellis, it's those kids again. The ones with the newfangled aeroplane. Hmm. Untie us, Ralph, we'll get going. Nobody's going anywhere unless we say so. And we're not saying so, unless you fly us out of here in that weird airplane of yours. Airplane? You must mean the time machine. We wouldn't help you if our lives depended on it. They do. We'll help! We'll help! Ralph! Then I'll help! Sorry, Rich, but I'm into self-preservation. Come on, let's get started! W what about them? What about them? <laughs> we only need one pilot. They're on their own. Cupcake, we don't have any paddles. Don't worry, Richie. We'll just float down the river. Do you think we should have told them about the waterfall? No, they'll find out about it soon enough. <laughs> Unless the piranha get them first. Cupcake! We're headed for a waterfall. Relax, Richie. I'll get us out of this. Oh, moon craters! The others have escaped. Do not let this one get away. Randy! Yeah, I understand, Mr. Cool. But look, we have been in worse jams than this before. The Earth? Uh-huh. Cries. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nobody seizes the fonts, all right? Come on, Mr. Cool. Riff. All right. We gotta rise above the problem here and find Cupcake and the guys. Woohoo! After them! They've eluded us again! <laughs> oh, cool. Come on, quit hanging around. We gotta get out of here. Right, right. Looks like we lost them, huh? Yeah. Help! We're about to lose Richie and Cupcake, too. Fonzie, save us! All right, keep your dimples on there, Cupcake. We're coming. You gotta find a way to rescue them and quick. Hmm. Good thinking there, Mr. Cool. <laughs> Except you forgot about the piranha. Piranha? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a good try, Mr. Cool. That was a good try. But I think I got a better way. I think I'm getting the hang of this jungle life. Bark, bark, Randy! Cosmic calamities! 
chance to do anything permanent, you know? And we, uh, we better find Mr. Cool and new outfit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, gosh. Don't worry, Cool. I'll take care of you. Cuppers. Now, we gotta find a time machine before those Amazons find us. Come on, everybody, let's go. Now, let's see. The doodad's connected to the Zircon. The Zircon's connected to the Frim Fram. I thought you said you knew how to fly this thing. I do, I do. But this is such a, a primitive model. Uh, I, I ought to check the operator's manual. Well, all right, then. You better be nice to me. Us time machine pilots are real temperamental. You're gonna feel real fragile if you don't read that book right side up. Oh. Ready for liftoff! Fasten seatbelts, batten down the hatches. Hoist the missile mask and lower the jib! Leaping laser beams. I hope we get there in time. Ralph learned everything about the time machine by watching me. And we shouldn't have anything to worry about. All right, you two, come on, cool it. We've got a very serious problem here. I mean, we had a very serious problem here, Fonz. It's gone. Creep and Cosmos, we're trapped in the Amazon Valley forever. It will seem like longer than that, my dear, unless you tell us where you've hidden our treasures. Now, wait one minute. We haven't hidden your treasures. They're in my stolen time machine. Then you admit taking them. No, we don't admit taking them, you queeniness. You will tell me everything you know, or you will tell my royal panthers. Take them to the panther pit. We're not going anywhere without that time machine. Moon craters! You can say that again. <laughs> Moon craters! You know, these Amazon ladies really come up with some imaginative ways to complicate our lives that all start with P, you know? Piranhas, panthers. I'd say terminate our lives, Fonz. That's more like... Reap and Kronos! Those panthers look like somebody just announced feeding time! Exactly! And unless you tell us where our golden jewels are, you will be the feed. But, but we've already told you. They're probably 20 years in the future by now. I don't know, Richie. That time machine can be pretty unpredictable at times. I mean, speaking of unpredictable... The time machine! We're saved! We're saved! Hold <laughs> oh, still, Mr. Cool. I'll save you. Whoa! Uh, some pilot you are. Let's take care of him, Ellis. All right, hold. You're not taking care of anybody until I take care of you. You get my drift? He means business, Rafferty. Let's get out of here. Outstanding, Fonz. Outstanding. All right, thanks, guys. Let's save the backslapping for later. Right now, we got to catch a couple of crooks. Stop him! Do not let the others escape! Sorry, ladies. We'll get together some other time. Keep your lips in fourth gear, though. Ready! Vote for me! Arrow! Rich, when did I go wrong? A long time ago, Ralph. Come on, guys. We've got to catch up with Fonzie. He might need our help. Not this kind of help, Cupcake. Neptune's moons! I'd better try again. <laughs> yeah. 
Hurry, Ellis! That Fonzie character is right behind us! <laughs> and the Amazons must be right behind him! We gotta get to the bridge! Hold your ground! The Fonz has a word for you. And the word is... Stop! Whoa! Now that's more like it. Oh, he's got us this time, Rafferty. Bad timing, Cupcake. Real bad timing. Sorry, Fonzie. I owe you one. One? Cupcake, you picked a heck of a time to start counting. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. It looks like the ride isn't over yet. Well, that takes care of them. <laughs> 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 We landed in sand. Not just sand, Ralph. Quick sand. Cosmic calamities make that really quick sand. What are we gonna do? Aha! <laughs> well, that takes care of Mr. Cool, but what about us? I'll just use my 25th century powers. Oh, moon craters! I can't get my hands out. Oh, well. Hey, what's going on down there? Sorry, guys. I guess my powers don't work so well in quicksand. Cupcake, your powers don't work well, period. Don't let you let us sweat at getting an uproar there, Cunningham. The situation is well in hand. We're in luck. They'll be so busy with that quicksand, they won't even notice we're gone. Yeah, until the Amazons show up. <laughs> The next time we go time traveling, Rich, remind me to wear elevator shoes. All right, let's hold it down in there. The Fonz is trying to concentrate. What we need now is a little more weight on this end. Right, Fonzie. And I know just how to get it. <laughs> hey, nice landing there, Mr. Cool. Mm -hmm. According to my calculations, you're exactly the weight we need. shall not escape us this time. Shift your eyeballs, your high and mightiness. There are the real thieves. They've spotted us. Make a break for it. Those are the men who ambushed me in the forest. They're getting away. All right, nobody panic. This will be a snap for me. Get me out of here. Oh, let us go, please. Now we will punish the criminals. I don't know about you, Queenie, but I've had all the punishment I can stand for one day. Fonzie's right, Mother. Thieves will never find our Hidden Valley again. Let the river carry them away. It shall be done. Thanks for your good advice, Fonzie. The leather, Queen Miss. Watch the leather. Thank you for returning our treasure and catching the thieves. My warriors will be happy to guide you down river to safety. Well, see, now, that's very nice of you, Your Royalness. Home. Rich, we're finally going home. Gee, I'm sure gonna miss you guys. And we're gonna miss you, Cupcake. Now, if you guys will just help me unload my 15 crates of souvenirs. Okay, Ralph. But you have to carry the Chinese junk yourself. I guess I'm gonna miss doing that. Hey, Sister Brother. <laughs> Cosmic calamities! An earthquake! My souvenirs! Ban the lifeboats! Batten down the hatches! Abandon ship! It's too late for that, Ralph! We're gonna crash! Unless I pull this lever! Start the time machine? Don't do it, Cupcake! I'll give you anything. A stuffed iguana, a souvenir prehistoric whoopee cushion. Anything! Do you have anything to do with this, Mr. Cool? Mm hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I thought. Sorry, guys, but there's nothing to do now but pull the lever. Now, wait one minute, Fonz. Ralph and I have something to say about that. And I'm very interested to hear Cunningham. Moon craters!
Fonz, listen up. There is some unbelievable action coming your way today on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Don't you miss it. Whoa. We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine and they're like traveling through time. My, my, they do not think where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Everybody, strap yourselves in. Come on, Ralph. This is my seat. But I don't want to crash alone, Rich. I'm funny that way. Whoa! But you two cut it out. We got ourselves a serious situation here. Yikes! What is it, Cupcake? Aliens from the future? According to these readings, Fonz, we're somewhere in the Middle Ages. Middle Ages? But explosions like that? Impossible. Oh, no. I don't like the sound of this, Fonz. Yeah, I know what you mean there, Cunningham. And I don't like the look of that. Suffering Saturn! What is it? Well, it looks like a dragon, don't it? And it's heading right for us. Abandon ship! Abandon ship! <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Thanks, Fonz. No! Women and cowards first! That couldn't be a dragon. Dragons never really existed. All right, Mr. Cool. Go fetch. All right, Ramsey. Ah, uh, maybe it is a dragon. He's gonna crush the time machine. We'll be stranded. <laughs> well, at least we're not flat, Ralph. The leather bound. The leather. Ooh, sorry, Spence. Fonzie, look! The dragon's after those two men. I cannot hold him off any longer, my lord. Yeah, we gotta help him. Leave it to me, Fonzie. Now, holy cup, is there in enough trouble already, don't you think? Sorry. Once my fingers get started, there's no stopping them. Merlin, how did you do that? I didn't, Your Majesty. This is definitely a cupcake yeah. special. Right. Yikes! Wow! Don't blame me. He started it. <laughs> what do we do now, Fonzie? Well, we teach this dragon a lesson before he singes the jack. Yahoo! Right on, Fonzie! Yay! All right, Fonz, stay with him, Fonz! All right, Fonz, way to go! What bravery! You do it, Fonz! Hang on! All right, I guess I have to teach you to pick on somebody your own size. Looks like a square knot to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, beat it. Post haste. That was really swell, Fonz. Most admirable indeed. You've saved our lives, and Merlin and I are most grateful. Merlin? Wasn't he the court wizard for... King Arthur, yes. Well, if your friend's a real wizard, maybe he can wave his wand over this mess. Oh, whoa, looks like the time machine needs a little body work. Well, I can handle it, but I need my tool. Huh? I am Rocky. 
Hey, Maybe I can help. Oh, oh, no. A tree? Cosmic calamities! A uh, cuppers. I think this Merlin character might be a distant relative of yours. Just our luck. Shanghai and now trapped by a fruitcake wizard. Where's Mr. Cool? He was inside the time machine. Cool, cool, where are you? Are you okay? It's okay, cool. Mm. Yeah, it's been one of those days all around. Right, Ronzi. Yeah. I'm afraid I did not know my own power on that spell. You mean you can't change it back? I'm truly sorry. Well, you cannot stay here in the forest. Right, with that dragon running loose. We have much more serious problems than dragons, my friends. More, more serious, serious than, than dragons? dragons? That dragon was acting on the orders of the Dark Knight, my sworn enemy who is determined to steal Camelot, my kingdom, from me. The Dark Knight? Is he a big guy with dark armor and a dark horse? That's right. How did you know? Because I think that's him. These forests are my property, and you are trespassing. Fonzie, it's the Dark Knight. I don't care if it's the prom night. You know what a net like this does to my hair. Cool. Careful, Fonzie. Don't worry, Cuppies. I can handle this guy in or out of his tin suit. These woods are mine, as Camelot itself soon will be. What's he talking about? He's challenged me to a joust tomorrow for Camelot. But if you don't show up, you can't win. <laughs> Merlin, race to the castle. Stop them, and I do not care how! Please don't let him catch us, Merlin. Torture doesn't sit well with me. I'm afraid my enemy has become your enemy also. I'm gonna give that dark knight a taste of the 25th century. He'll never forget. <laughs> That's cupcake for you. Wooden wheels. And she turned them into flats. Bone graders! Get me, King Arthur! No! Fonzie, they got King Arthur. Yeah, but look at the bright side, Rich. They didn't get us. Come on, Merlin. Isn't there anything you can do? Well, I can try. Good. King Arthur, it seems your friends have run out just like your luck. <laughs> the Dark Knight has never lost a joust, and with the king his prisoner, Camelot too will be his. Well, we'll just see about that, huh, Merle? Wow! Well put there, Rich. So this is Camelot. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Although that sound is certainly familiar. Easy, easy, ladies. There's enough to go around. Give me time. That's amazing. It doesn't matter where we go, the Fonz has the same effect on women. Hey, let's hang around a while, Rich. Maybe some of them will get tired of the crowd and go for us instead. Come with me, Cupcake. Perhaps I can find King Alpha. Find him? How? Come, I'll show you. I know it's here somewhere, if I can just find it. What are you looking for? This! Cosmic crystals! A real crystal ball! Does it work? Does it work? Watch! What are we gonna do about King Arthur, Fonz? What are we gonna do about our time machine? First things first, Malf, and King Arthur is definitely numero uno. <laughs> The cool. What are you doing in that bucket? I don't know. <laughs> well, then get out of there, comprende vous? Comprende vous? Get them understand. Oh, right, Fonzie. 
How does that mutt get himself into these things? <gasps> Bonzie, it's the dark night. Right, and he can lead us to King Arthur. One of us should follow him. Uh, Bonzie, me, uh, 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 me, me. Uh, it's got to be somebody inconspicuous. <laughs> somebody who's like a good tracker. <laughs> oh, of course, Mr. Cool, but you got to be cool about it. You got that? Yeah, what? Right. All right. Look, you try, cool. Maybe Merlin and Cuppers are having better luck. Let's find them. Have you found King Arthur yet, Merlin? Uh, no, but he's in here somewhere. There he is. But where is he? Can you focus it better? Wherever he is, the reception is awful. Oh, he's gone completely. Well, King Arthur, how do you like spending time in your own dungeon? <laughs> I demand that you let me out. Not until after the joust, when Camelot will be mine. Meanwhile, who would ever think to look for you here? <laughs> who indeed? How will we ever find King Arthur in time? Maybe that old crystal ball needs a zap of the 25th century. Maybe my wand could help. Oh, my. Leaping lasers! This is the place, all right. Look at this. Cuppers is at it again. Oh. It was my fault, too. I'm afraid. Duck! I'm hit! I don't believe it! Feathers! I'm a bird! I'm a bird! Do you know how much money I can make with a talking hawk? Ralph! Do not worry, Richie. The magic is not permanent. You'll change back. When? Soon? That's hard to say. Why doesn't that reassure me? All right, you two. Hold on a second. Richie, you can guide us to wherever the Dark Knight hangs out in the forest. Of course! What, why? Me? You think I could? All right, Red, keep your wings up. You're, you're really sure I can do this? Certainly, just flat. Okay. Here goes! Yay! Galloping galaxy! Everybody duck! Hey, he's flying! At a bird, Cunningham, at a bird! Hey, look at me! Woohoo! All right, Rich, Rich, stop kidding around. Check out the forest. We're right behind you. You got it, Fonz! Don't worry, Merlin. King Arthur is as good as back. Good luck. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, I think I'm getting the hang of this bird stuff. What luck! They're the Dark Knight's men now. Okay, I'm just gonna go in for a closer look. Hey! A hawk! Just try and catch me. Good catch. Oi! Got him! <laughs> Uh, are you sure they came this way, Cupcake? There's something about this that doesn't feel right. <laughs> and that's it. It's the dragon! And he is not happy. And neither am I with your meddling in my affairs. So now you can settle things with my dragon! <laughs> it's a landslide! We're boxed in! And I think the dragon knows it. Mr. Cool, stay cool. Yeah. Okay.
Now that's cool. Hey. Mm. <laughs> but <funny. Yeah. laughs> What do we do now, Fonzie? I got a plan. When I say duck, duck. You can count on me. Okay, duck. Now run for it. Everybody, quick. We're free! Man, thanks for your help there, Dragon. Now let's find Richie. So Camelot is almost ours, eh? Mine. But you will all share in my new wealth. <laughs> when King Arthur doesn't show up for the joust in the morning, Camelot is mine by default. <laughs> <laughs> so where is King Arthur? In the last place anyone would ever look for him, his own dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where he is. Now all I gotta do is get out of this cage and... Uh-oh. Well, well, well. What have we here, a spy? Uh, I think I should warn you that, uh, uh... That what? That you're surrounded. Fonzie! How did you escape my dragon? Fonz, I know where King Arthur is. Stop them! I'll get us out of here, Fonzie! Right. That is, if we can catch an iceberg heading toward Camelot. Oh, moon traders! I did it again! Why, my, my, there must be something I can do. Abracadabra! Oh, yeah, this is going to take some concentration. We will uh, give the king five more minutes. If he does not appear by then, uh, Camelot is yours. As you wish, my lord. The time is short. I must get them back here. Merlin! Ooh, now I know what a popsicle feels like. It is no time to lose. The joust is beginning, and there's no sign of King Arthur. All right, Ralph, Cupcake, you go at Rich and find a king. Mr. Cool, you and me handle this dark nighty. Bark, bark? You got it, Fonz. Come on. Good work, Merle. Slow, but good. In two minutes, the match goes to the dark night by default. All right, we got to get some speed on here, Cool. Give me that helmet. What? Hey, so I'm a ways a ton, Cool. You got to give me a hand. Right, Fonzie. Well, that's not going to work. <laughs> All right, a little higher there, Mr. Cool. I'm a little higher. We got it. Okay, All right, now, lower me down real easy. Oh. Cool, easy. <laughs> hey, nice work. <laughs> the Dark Knight says the king's in his own dungeon. Okay, but where's that? Hey, look at this. It looks like our math teacher. <laughs> Yo! King Arthur! Rich? Cupcake? Oh, come on, you guys. Where'd you go? Richie? Hey! What are you doing here? We've come to rescue you. But now, who's going to rescue us? All right, Mr. Cool, I got everything, right? All right, Fuzzy. All right, wish me luck. Good luck, Fuzzy! Uh-oh. Is up. I claim Camelot for mine. Not so fast there, Dark Knighty. King Arthur? No. The king has sort of appointed me to do the jousting today. He figured anybody could beat this Dark Knight. And he didn't want to be bothered. Can you dig it? That is not fair. Look who's talking fair. You're just afraid to joust me, right? I've never lost a joust in my life. Let the game begin. <laughs> Let the joust begin. Rosie, you're Yeah, whoa, whoa, I almost forgot my lance there. Hey, thanks, Cool. Yeah. Yeah. On your box, get set, joust! <laughs> cool, what are you doing up there? I don't know, Ron. Well, hold on, pal, there's no stopping now. Yeah. All right, get ready, Cool, because here goes nothing. <laughs> Hey, look at that. He's chicken out. Uh, Fonzie! 
Yeah, what? Over here! Oh, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. I'll get you this time, friend. Mitch? Cupcake? You down there? Ralph! Boy, are we glad to see you. What are you doing in that cell? Just get us out, okay? Sure thing, Rich. I thought you guys left me for good. Ralph, the door! We're locked in again. Don't worry, Rich. I'll just get the key again and... You threw him across the room, Ralph. We can't reach him from here. Oh. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> All right, here we go again. <laughs> Yeah, and this guy ain't kidding around, huh, cool? Right, Randy! Woof! The Dark Knight never misses. I wish you'd let me try my powers. No way, Cupcake. Remember Antarctica? My toes are still frozen. I wonder how Fonzie's doing. The Dark Knight has never lost a joust. Ever? At once? Not even maybe in grade school? Never. Cosmic calamities! I've toyed with you long enough. Then let's stop jousting and get on with the jousting. Well spoken. I think I'm getting the hang of this now, you know? Hey. Oh, I hope so. This'll be a snap. Ponzi, Camelot is saved. It's the Dark Knight. Stand back, everybody. I've held off long enough. Trust her, King Arthur. When she says stand back, it's the smartest thing to do. <laughs> do your worst, little one. That may not be your worst, Cupcake, but it's right up there. Oh, graders. Not so fast there. Yeah. They're behind that ball. I saw it all in my crystal ball. But you'll never get them out now. <laughs> Just watch. <laughs> nice catch, Mr. Cool. A perfect interception. Be careful with that one, Mr. Cool. Hey, 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 Stan! Stan! Rushing in my missile! Put that down. Now the odds are a little more in my favor. All right, will you please listen up here? You can't just go taking kingdoms that don't belong to you. You know what I mean? And who says so? The fine says so. Guards, grab them. Mr. Cool, my wand. Shoot boxes. Now that's magic. Yeah, now that's more like it. Now for a little music to joust by. I like it. I really like it. What evil, horrible sounds are these? It's called rock and roll, old knight know nothing. No! No! And maybe you better split. Well, your kingship, it looks like Camelot is yours again. How can I ever repay you? Well, uh, hey, you got any more quarters for the old jukebox? I'll change it back this time. I get the feeling it's gonna be a long trip back to Milwaukee, Rich. Well, this time for certain. He'll get it. He will. Listen, one thing's for sure, we got all the time in the world. <laughs> you can say that again.
yours truly finds here incredible. That's the only word to describe what's happening to me and the Happy Days gang today. So you stick around to get my trip. Now, where's Ralph? Hey! Right here, Fonz. All right, everybody, just stay cool. Whoa, you got a wow of an electrical storm going out there. Don't worry, Fonzie. It'll all be okay as long as the lightning doesn't hit the time machine. Cosmic calamities! It's a power blackout. All right, nobody panic. Not panic? But there's not even energy to work my joy buzzer or light my electric nose. That's really a shame, Ralph. Thanks, Rich. I knew you'd understand. All right, the battery definitely needs a recharge. That's easy. It's a solar battery, so all we need is the sun. I may not be able to find 1957, but how can I miss the sun? <laughs> if there's a way, you'll miss it. You missed the sun, all right. We've landed at night. All right, all right, so we're a few hours off. It's better than being stuck in that time storm, right? Thanks, Fonzie. Hey, don't you mention it. Now, what year are we talking here, Cupcake? Let's see. Great galaxy, we're in 3057, 1,100 years in the future. 1,100 years in the future? Wow. Think of all the blind dates I've missed. Ralph. All right, what do you say we get some camping gear? Sleep under the stars tonight. Okay, yeah, that sounds, sounds like, like fun. fun. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, Randy, come on, let's rush. All right, cool. You grab the gear, you pick the spot. Hey, Spongy. All right. Now that's what I call action. All right, all right, easy, easy, Mr. Cool, Mr. Cool. Let go of the leather. That's it. Now tell me what the problem is. What? Uh, I, th I think we know what the problem is, Fonz. Yeah, what is it, Cunningham? I, I mean, it's only a guess, but I think it's them. Ah! 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 Run for it, Fonz! All right, the Fonz don't run from anybody, Ralph. Yes! Yeah, on the other hand, 
What, uh, 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 what are these? Uh, let, uh, uh, let's take off, Mr. Cool. <laughs> All right, maybe this will teach you guys to pick on somebody your own shape. <laughs> your own shape. You will regret that, human. Something tells me he means that, Fonz. Stand back, everybody. I can handle this. Oh, no, we're doomed. All right, time out, cup. It's like, uh, hold it. What did I tell you? Mr. Cool, get up here. Get the humans! On the double, Mr. Cool. <laughs> he taunts us, but not for long. What's he trying to do? I can't watch. Hey, it's all right. He knows what he's doing. I hope he knows what he's doing. <laughs> oh, that pooch will never learn. You guys don't mind if I borrow my friend here for a minute, do you? Ramsey! Yay! You did it, son! The sun! The sun! Quickly! We must get to the cave! Relax, Mr. Cool. They're leaving. Leaving? And they're taking the time machine with them. We'll be stranded here. Hey, bring that back. You guys stay here. Stop them, Ponzi. All right, you creeps. Open up and hand over that time machine. I'm talking to you, stinkos. They never come out in the sunlight. Well, hello there. And who do we have here? My name is Ilona. <laughs> and he ain't kidding. <laughs> Take it easy, cool. <laughs> What's she got that I haven't got? That's a tough question, Cupcake. Right, Rich. Like, what hasn't she got? You come from 1957? Indeed we do. Me and my friends here. This is Richie. And this is Ralph. And the most wonderful pooch this side of the Pecos, Mr. Cool. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah. Hello. And welcome to you all. And I'm Cupcake. We came in my time machine. Is that what the Crowlax took inside? Crowlax? Yeah, well, whoever they are, we gotta get that time machine back. Please, wait. You must know what you are getting into. Come with me. This is where you live? Cosmic Comets, it's beautiful. No gate? Aren't you afraid of those Crowlax? Oh, there's a gate there. Ouch! Hey! It is clear now. You may enter. Thanks, Ilona. Ooh, hey! Who are these strangers? Not strangers, Controller. Friends. The Crolax have stolen their vehicle. Please allow them inside. I sure hope there ain't more like him at home. Oh, right. I think I'd rather take my chances with the Crolax. You may enter on one condition. You must each wear a bracelet to signify union with the city. We all wear them. Oh, yeah? How come he don't? He is the controller. That's good enough for me, Fonz. I think they're kind of pretty. This way. I think I'll just keep mine in my pocket. You know, I got a rep and everything. Yeah, me too. I got a rep. What are you doing, Mr. Cool? Here, I'll keep it for you, all right? Aw, uh, thanks, Ronzi. Well, that's all right. That's what friends are for. Come on. Let's see where everybody got to. This is the history chamber. And these discs contain the history of our world and the world of the Crolax. Hmm. It is not working. Let me have a crack at it there, Iona. Ilona. Right. And I have a way with machines, you know? That's, that's wonderful. Fonzie, look! Wait, the lasers! We're done for! <laughs> Do not be afraid. It is only a movie. Yeah, that's what they said about Frankenstein. <laughs> At the end of the Great War, civilization became divided into those who lived above the ground and the evil ones who carved cities under the earth. 
The darkness and strange gases from the Earth turned them into Crolax. Crolax cannot survive in the sunlight. <laughs> Yikes! Mr. Cool, Mr. Cool, now look what you've done. You really did it this time. Let's see if we can fix this up again. All right, Mr. Cole, what is it this time? <laughs> Cupcake. Rich, where are you going? Ralph, what's going on here? Yikes! So, you did not wear the bracelets after all. What? You mean these? Uh-huh, something tells me there's something strange going on around here. <laughs> but you'll never find out. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll see about that. Hey! All right, what's this? Just something to ensure you don't disrupt things in the city. <laughs> oh, no! They come! They come! More workers for us from the city! All right, we gotta get out of here, cool. Oh, I got this bad feeling that Cupcake and the guys are in real trouble. Yeah! What do we do, Ronnie? Hey, what's this? Huh? Might be a trap door, right? Yeah, yeah, trap right door! All right, you want to check it out? Yeah. Mr. Cool, take it away. <laughs> hey, that's the trap door, all right. That old controller picked the wrong place to try and trap us, huh? Good work, Cool. <laughs> I see him, I see him. Yeah, Cool. All right, follow the fines. <laughs> Richie Ralphs, come on, stop. <laughs> you don't know where you're doing. You don't know where you're going. Rich! Close the doors. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, you cowards. Open up and face me, man, the Krolak. What happened to us? Where are we? The Krolak's got Richie and Ralph. Oh, no, it has happened again. People disappear and never return. The Krolaks have some strange power over us. They haven't seen power till they've met me, you know what I mean? You gotta help me find a way in there. In there? Yeah. In the world of the Krolaks? Rich, where are we? How'd we get here? I don't know, Ralph. Well, what do we do? Pull! Pull! I think we pull, Ralph. You are new? Right. Richie Cunningham. Very pleased to meet you. After you've been here five days, you will turn into one of them, a Krolak. Ask him how long he's been here, Rich. <laughs> About five days, Ralph. These old library maps might be able to tell us something. Ah, they look like gumballs. Watch. Hey, instant maps. Now, that's cool. That's cool. This is one of the oldest. If there was ever any other way in, this map would show it. Here's the city, and here's the entrance to the world of the Krolax. Yeah, yeah. All right, now, what's this over here? It, it looks like a tunnel. I did hear of one once, but no one knew where it was. Well, we do now, and that's where we're going. And it will be your doom, my friends. <laughs> what do you want, Controller? Why do you bother me? I have some information for you about three new workers. New workers? Tell me more. I must return to the city, friends. If my absence is noted, the controller will be suspicious. All right, we'll be okay, Iona. Thanks a lot. That's Ilona. Good luck. I gotta remember that chick's name. All right, everybody, stick close. This place gives me the creeps, Fonzie. Ditto, ditto, you know? I hate to think about Malf and Cunningham trapped down there. And I hate to think of us trapped down here! Whoop! Yikes! Ah! Feet, do your stuff. Run for it. <laughs> ah! Welcome to the world of the Krolax. <laughs> what do you think, Fonzie? Well, in a word, Cup is own Kratos. <laughs> All right, calm down, Cupcake. We will think of something. Leave this bunch to me, Fonzie. I'll give them a zap they'll never forget. All right, just be careful, all right? Just be careful. Like always. Yikes. Now 
you are ours. I did it! I stopped them! Yeah, yeah, you did. You also stopped us. So right now we got no way out of here. Now, all right, just follow me and we'll have Rich and Ralph back in no time. We will get you yet, human! Yeah, well, don't count you humans before they're hatched. Rich, we gotta get out of here before we turn into Krolax. Right, and I got just the plan. Anything, anything. It all depends on you, Ralph. Anything but that, Rich. I'm undependable. I crack under pressure. Pull! Pull! Pull, humans! All right, right. Yes, sir. One of your smoke bombs could confuse the Prolax and hide our escape. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Get ready to run, Rich. What was that? A dud smoke bomb? Worse. It was my petrified frog. And it broke. <laughs> Get a grip on yourself, Ralph. You got any glue on you, Rich? Will you toss the smoke bomb quick? What are you doing, humans? Now run! I can't see! We're safe! <laughs> We're sunk! Come back here, human! Rich, wait up! Wait up for me! Our time machine! Our time machine! What do we do now, Rich? Run! Running is good. I'll buy running. Galloping Galaxy, this is incredible. Now all we gotta do is find a trouble to meet. They came this way. Quickly, you fools. Cupcake, cool, this way. If you say so, Fonzie. I say so. Cool, come on, get a move on. This way. There's a guy. Come on, Cool. Stop clowning around and get up here. <laughs> cool, you're ripping the zip. <laughs> All right, let's split. I think we lost them. I'll never forgive them for what they made me do to my frog. <laughs> oh, no! More Krolax! Come on, Ralph. We gotta run! <laughs> Cunningham, don't you ever do that again. I'm sorry, Fonz. Can you get us out of here, Fonz? Have you seen the time machine? It's over that way. Come on, I'll show you. There it is. Along with the Krolak Patrol. You want me to zap him, Fonz? Oh, no, 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 please, please. We have enough zapping for one day, all right? I want them to hear. I want them. Bring me those four humans. Oh, and the rat. Don't forget the rat. And the dog. Oh, it's right. You really did it this time, Cool. Everybody, look for an exit sign. But what about the time machine? One thing at a time, Cuppers. Let's save us first. After the humans. After that. Where do we go now, Fonz? How should I know? Uh, oh, excuse me. Could you direct us to the exit? That way. Thank you so much. Humans! The humans are escaping! <laughs> One to the surface is a Krolak. It won't open. It won't open. All right, now everybody lend a hand and push. Push your little hearts out. They're coming. It's open. Sunlight. No. Close the doors. Looks like you saved us, cool old pal. <laughs> Fonzie, friends, you're safe. You're right, but the Krolaks still have our time machine. We're gonna have to do something about that. Can't we do it tomorrow, Fonz? I've had enough excitement for one day. You think today was exciting, my friend? Wait until tonight. <laughs> to the city!
You told me the field would be down. And it will be, as soon as you promise me to take only the strangers and Ilona. You have the word of the crawler. Then welcome to the city. <laughs> the city is ours. I'll get it, Rich. With any luck, it's the dinner I ordered. Ah! Oh, thanks! Who was it, Ralph? Trust me, Rich. You don't want to know. But I can't stop you from guessing. Fonzie! There's a Krolak in our room! Really, Fonzie? A Krolak? I know, Mal. Two of them are just getting away with Cupcake and Ilona. Oh, no! We gotta save them! You mean go after the Krolax? It's only fair, Ralph. They saved us. Fair is one thing, Rich. Stupid is another. Come on! Not again! If I ever get my hands free, you're gonna get such a zap! <laughs> Somebody help! They're just up ahead. Hurry! So what have we here? Weak human females? Weak human females? You've obviously never heard of women's lib. Okay, pal, the game's over. You want to push somebody around? How about trying it with us? Him. Try it with him. Spoken like a true coward, Ralph. Thanks, Rich. Ah! Now we'll have them all! Grab them! Fonzie! The Krolax! Run! My hands are free! I can zap like I've never zapped before! Fonzie, watch out! I see the Krolax, Cunningham. No! I mean watch out for Cupcake! Look! Don't worry, guys! I know exactly what I'm doing! I don't believe it! She shrunk the time machine! Is that how it was supposed to work? Not exactly. Are you all right? I'm real sorry, Fonzie. Hey, don't worry about a thing, Cuppers. Now it's pocket size. So we can take it out with us. Good work, Cupcake. They couldn't get along without me, you know. They must start a steam! Bring me the one called Fonzie! Sorry, big fella, but I'm not up for grabs. Now's our chance. Head for the surface. We're free! We made it! Nice! The controller! You escaped again. Well, you won't escape from me. I really don't advise that controller, you see. I don't like people threatening me, that's one. And I especially don't like people touching my leather. You will not escape from the controller. I don't believe it. Me neither. The controller was a robot. Fonzie, you have saved my people from the Krolax. Not to mention from that controller creep. Those Krolax are still down there, you know? But the entrance is sealed up and they won't be bothering you again. Now, if we can just get our time machine back to size, we can try for 1957. Yo! Don't worry, Ralph. It'll just zap back to size by itself. Probably when we least expect it. You better do something quick about this, Cuppers, or you're going to get a Fonzie really zap when you most expect it. Jumping Jupiter!
Okay, all right. This is the Fonz. Listen up. There is some unbelievable action coming your way today on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Don't you miss it. Whoa. We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine, and a future chick named a cupcake. <laughs> oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine, and they're like traveling through time. My, my! They do not think where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody! All right, you heard the little lady, Mr. Cool. Buckle up for safety. Right, Rudy. Buckle up for safety. 1957 at last. We'll celebrate with a couple of quadruple decker hamburgers and tutti frutti shakes. Huh? Right, Rich. But what are you gonna have? All right, you two. Cool it with your food fantasies. <laughs> you know, I have to admit. That just the thought of an Arnold burger makes my mouth water like a fall. Huh? Right, Rocky. Ta-da! Hey, for me? Yeah. I'm touched, Mr. Cool. You shouldn't have. <laughs> <coughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Hug, The smoke activated the automatic fire alarm. And the automatic fire extinguishers! <laughs> Hang on, everybody! We're going in for an emergency landing! Yikes! Quick, outside with that thing! Be careful, Mr. Cool! The instrument show we've touched down is... Seawater! <laughs> hey, that's all right, handsome. No harm done. Cosmic calamities, maybe not to us, but the time machine's so it'll be useless until it dries out. You mean we're stuck here? Well, it sure looks that way, Ralph. By the way, Rich, uh, where is here? The best way to find that out, Mal, is to go out and take a look around. Oh, I was afraid somebody was gonna say that. Hey, come on, everybody, follow the find. Eee. Oh. Yeah, Red Rosie! <laughs> A tropical island! Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Don't count your suntans before they hatch, Ralph. According to my time band, we're in ancient Greece. That might explain those ancient Greek soldiers chasing that girl. Stop! Stop where you are! You can't get away! Get away! Leave me alone! That girl's in trouble. Exactamente, Mouth. Lucky for her girls in trouble on my specialty. Right, Randy! But, Fonzie, they've got you outnumbered. Hey, you get used to it after a while, coppers. I'll handle this. Oh, woo, Raiders. Eat it, Joes. Oh, very pretty cupcake. But not exactly my idea of sending in the Marines. But it was a real good try. Help me. Relax, pretty lady. The Fonz is here now. You know, I'm in charge. We'll see about that, stranger. Right now. <laughs> Little lady. Ooh, so I. Thank you for saving me. I am called Lumina. Yeah, and I'm called Fonzie, and you can call me anytime. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> you're cool, you're great. Listen, I'm always glad to lend a hand, you know, or a finger snap. Uh, right, Mr. Cool? All right, Rosie. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why were those soldiers chasing you? They work for Umbra, a very powerful sorceress who's trying to conquer our islands. This charm is the only thing strong enough to offer protection from her magic. Well, we've got a little 25th century magic of our own. A uh, later, Cupcake. Much, much later. She will stop at nothing to possess this charm. This Umbra doesn't exactly sound like my kind of people. Not unless you like being turned into stone. Turned into turned stone? My soldiers have captured the town and enslaved its people, milady. Soon all Greece will bow before the power of Umbra. Your men have done well, Callus, but they have let Lumina escape them. I must have that charm. Bring it to me at once, along with that strange-looking ship on the beach. I will see to it myself. Do so quickly, or the fate of that bird will be yours as well. Charm or no charm, Fonz, let's get out of here before the rest of the army shows up. It's too late for that now, strangers. The rest of the army is here. I am General Callus, and you have something I want. We'll give you whatever you want. Secret documents, enemy plans, my Captain Cosmo's secret decoder ring, anything. Out of my way, Pipsqueak. I'm after the girl. Whoa! Wait one minute, bucko. You can't treat him like that. You can't? Oh, yeah? Who's gonna stop me? Uh, he is. Say goodbye, stranger. Ah! All right. Goodbye, stranger. Ah! Have a nice trip. Some army. Looks like all the soldiers want to be sailors. <laughs> Platoon, attack! Attack! Ah! Don't worry. I'll get us out of here. We weren't worried, Cupcake. Until now. Yeah, yeah, you got us out of there, Cuppers. But did you have to land us here? Cosmic calamities. Oh, Lumina, we meet again. My charm will protect me from your powers, Umbra. Perhaps, my dear. But for now, I'm more interested in your friends. Especially the one who defeated Callus. Oh, you rang your evilness? <laughs> I could use a man like you. Over my dead time warp! Oh, moon feathers! Your strange ship has a feeling of magic about it. Explain it to me, and I will reward you handsomely. Hey, sorry, lady, that's classified information. But I will tell you one thing. Yes? Keep your very ugly hands off my leather. Hey! You tell her, Fonz! Perhaps this will change your attitude. <laughs> Never mind. I'll tell her. It's a fully automatic 25th century time machine loaded with extras, push button, everything. And please, don't turn me into stone. <laughs> Ralph! How could you? It, it was easy, Rich. I'm weak. Time machine. Hmm. This could be useful in my conquest. Tell me how it works. All right, your powerfulness. But first, you gotta turn Mr. Cool into something besides a pigeon roost. Agreed. Bonds, <laughs> you're not gonna tell her, are you? Hey, keep your freckles in place, Cunningham. The Fonz always has a plan. I have done my part. Now tell me about this time machine. Hey, all right, you asked for it. Now, the key to the time machine is in Ralph Mouth's pocket. Huh? But, Fonz, you know there's no key. Cool it, Cupcake. Just show her, Ralph. Sorry, Fonz, but there's nothing in here but some secondhand bubble gum, a petrified frog, and, and a smoke bomb. That's it, Ralph. Now, show the lady how it works, Ralph. Sure, it's easy. All you do is pull the string. Like this. Whoa! Then you drop it like this and, and run for your lives! Oh, what magic is this? I cannot see! That's right. Everybody, run for it! Randy! Randy! This way, guys! Follow the bonds! Start! They're getting away! After them! Whew! I think we lost them. Now all we have to do is find Fonzie and the others. I've got a better idea.
Let's just hide on this ship and let them find us. Bleeping laser beams! It looks like somebody already did! Welcome aboard, strangers. This is Umbra's galley. Galley? As in floating kitchen? Oh, boy! No. Galley as in slave. Slave? Prisoner? But I'm allergic to being a prisoner. But I'm allergic to slavery in any form. Ralph. Here's a note from my mother. Ralph. And my doctor. Ralph. Ah, we have openings for three new oarsmen. And you will fill them. Not if I can help it. Apparently, Cupcake, you can't help it. Stroke! 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 Faster! Hey! It looks like Umbra's taking Cupcake and the guys for a little ride. And she's got your time machine, too. But I'll have us out of here faster than you can say dual cooperate. Oh, Bonds, you're so resourceful. You can't lock us up in here. We're American citizens. Ah, you foreigners all look alike to me. Besides, you're just bait to get your friends to this island. Oh, yeah? What happens then, bucko? Umbra herself will deal with you when the time comes. <laughs> Gee, I sure hope the time comes sooner for us than it did for him. Relax, Ralph. I'll whip up our own private exit. That's a doorway, all right, but not for us. Right, Rich, but it sure works okay for the tide. And it's rising fast. Neptune's moves. I'll get it right this time. Cosmic calamities, the seawater is shorting me out. Now, there must be a bright side to this somewhere. If there is, Rich, it had better be a humdinger. Uh-huh, and this is Umbra's Island, all right. I mean, where else would she park a stolen time machine? There are so many buildings. How will we find your friends? Leave that to Mr. Cool, right, boy? All right, Wally. Hey. Oh! Hello, oh. It looks like Mr. Cool has found them. Either that or a year's supply of Scooby Snacks. Come on! All right, all right, all right. Take it easy, Cool. Looks like you're barking up the wrong person. <laughs> they are only statues. Huh? Hey, but we're talking real lifelike here. You too will look lifelike when I add you to my sculpture garden. Back off there, your wickedness. Gardening isn't exactly the top of my chart, if you get my drip. You could be useful to me, Fonzie. I will give you one chance to save yourself. Bring me Luminous Necklace, and I will let you and your friends go free. Hey, sorry, lady. Necklace snapping's not my line of work. Yes, get my medicine, too! You shall pay for your insolence for all eternity. Yes. Cool it, cool. Nobody runs unless I give the word. All right, here's the word. Run! <laughs> Give me that necklace, or else. Or what, no more Mr. Nice Guy? Who are you trying to kid your evilness? Hey, how are you? You mustn't endanger yourself further, Fonzie. Umbra may have my necklace. No, hold on there, Lumina. If that magic charm is protecting the world from Umbra, then we gotta protect it from her. <laughs> now we shall see who needs protection. Here, Fonzie, save yourself. Huh? A thoughtful gesture, Lumina. And here is your reward. <laughs> One down and two to go. Which of you wants to be next? Tim. No, my little friend. No? Perhaps the charm will not work for you as it did for the girl. Let us find out. 
Hey, easy with your fireworks there, your fiendishness. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? You'll have your turn soon enough, you... you... Fonzie. Say it with respect. Come back with that necklace. Hey, don't worry, Lumina. I'll be back to rescue you. I hope. Shh, please, enough with this hide and seek cool. Hey, we got friends to find and a girl to rescue. Right, Rosie. Let's do it. Callus, hey. call out the guards. They've escaped into the palace. But not for long, milady. Follow me, men. You know, Cupcake, this is all your fault. Terrible time warps. Guys, what can I say? Well, you can start with I'm sorry and improvise from there. Relax, Rich. Do the only logical thing under the circumstances. Huh? Panic! Get us out of here! Out of here! Hey? Out of here! Hold your ground, cool. That's Ralph. I'd recognize the panic in that voice anywhere. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> hey, remind me to have your ears lube when we get home. Let's try down there. Fonzie! Mr. Cool! Hey, nice to see you, Red. Now to get you out of here. <laughs> and us. This is no time for scuba diving, Mr. Cool. Come on. Yo, save the totem pole impressions for later. We gotta get out of here. Right, right Fonzie! Fonzie's right. Before we run into Umbra and her henchmen again, we better get off Atlantis before it's too late. Atlantis? Atlantis. We're sunk! Oh, we will be if we don't get off this doomed island. Right, Fonz. But first, we gotta sneak past Umbra. Leave that to me. Sneak is my middle name. No kidding. Everybody, just a little further and we'll be... Face to face with your doom. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, we, we didn't mean to disturb you. Just, just go back to whatever you were doing. I was waiting for you. Callus, seize them. With pleasure, my lady. Nobody seizes the fun. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I'll take it from here, Fonzie. Not a good move, Cupcake. Right, Fonz. I'd rather be up against a bunch of soldiers than up against a wall. This time there is no escape. I'm warning you. Stay I don't know about you, but I'm standing back as far as I can. You are helpless against the power of my magic. We'll just see about that. Yikes! Oh, moon craters! You won't get any argument from me on that one, Cuppers. Now it's my turn. Fingers, don't fail me now. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic calamities, I goofed up again. You can say that again. <laughs> you don't have a chance against me, little one. Maybe not, but she can't duck. Thanks, Fonzie. You saved me. No time for that now, Cuppers. We gotta do something quick, or she'll turn us all into hood ornaments. It's too late for you now. Ah! I'll get you for this. Hey, maybe some other time, you nastiness. Right now, we got a time machine to catch. Come on, you two. Yeah! Get a rubber for me, Randy! Come on. I will not be defeated. I cannot be defeated. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, once we figure out how to thaw out Lumina and the guys. Randy! Oh, oh, no. All right, looks like we got another problem to take care of first. If I cannot stop you, my Colossus can. Yikes! She may have a point there, Fonzie. Oh, come on, give me a break, cool. I gotta come up with a plan, huh? And quick. I'll take care of this, Fonzie. <laughs> Cupcake, this does not double my pleasure. Cosmic calamities! All right, from now on, leave the heroics to me, okay? Now, come on, you oversized bucket of bolts. Mandy, wait for me! Hey, come on, catch me if you can. <laughs> but take your time about it, all right? Hey, welcome aboard, Cool. Stay close. We got a date with that cliff over there. Right, Huh? All right. This is like playing keep away with a Mack truck. Get her set out again, Huh? Randy! Hey, just calm yourself, Cool. Follow my lead. Right, Randy! <laughs> Big guy, don't forget to write. <laughs> Mr. Cool, what are you doing hanging around down there? I don't know, Ronzi. Come here. Thanks, Ron. Creeping Cosmo spots. That was close. I'll zap us out of here before anything else happens. A good idea, couple. It's a little late, but a very good idea. Yikes! You have done well, Fonzie. With you at my side, we could have the world at our feet. Why, you second-rate sorceress, I'll... I'll... Cool it, Cupcake. I'll handle this. Sorry, your evilness. The only thing I want at my feet is motorcycle boots. Or perhaps a nice pair of cowboy boots. Then I will rule Atlantis alone, and you will join the rest of the statues in my sculpture garden. Ramsey! Uh oh! <laughs> now nothing will stand in my way. Nothing but this 25th century force field! Oh, <laughs> craters. Nice try, cuppers. Last try would be more like it. Oh, no! I've saved the best for last. No! And the effects of her magic. Which, from the look of things, was all that held this island together. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Huh? Drop <laughs> Harold's time warps, Fonzie. We've got to do something about them. Maybe I can zap them out of it. Cool it, Cuppers. Umbra's magic is wearing off already. Hey, Rich, we're back to our old selves. Why do I have this funny sinking feeling? Because we are, Ralph. We are! Quick, everybody, back to the dock. <laughs> Thank you, friends, for everything. Now we can all head back to Greece. Hey, always glad to be of service to a person of the female persuasion. I'll look you up the next time we're in the neighborhood. We're in the neighborhood. Hey, in this tin can, you never know. Tin can? I'll have you know this is the best time machine Plutons can buy. <laughs> On the other hand... <laughs>
Hey, yours truly finds here. Incredible. That's the only word to describe what's happening to me and the Happy Days Gang today. So you stick around. You get my drift. We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine, and a future chick named a Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine, and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Hey, Bob, why does it feel like we're going in circles? Because we are going in circles, Rich. I feel like a strawberry shake in a blender. Oh! Whoa! Make that a strawberry shake to go. Woman driver. That's woman pilot. And if anybody thinks they could do better. Me, and me, and the rich one. we landed, it sure didn't look like Milwaukee. Not unless they tore down the city and put up a park while we weren't looking. Sorry, guys, but we missed again. This is the year 1625. And according to my time band, we've landed at Fountainebleau Palace in France. I am real! <laughs> Landed in the fountain at the Fountain Blow Palace. It's gonna flood the ship. Flood the ship. Dry up there, Mal. Hey, not if the finds has anything to say about this. And I do. That takes care of us, Fonz. But what about her? Girls! Musketeers! Help! Never fear, Cunningham. French ladies in distress are my specialty. Oh, boy, Fonz! Wait for us! That's funny. Sounded like you said us. Whoa! Thieves! Brigands! Help! Somebody save me! Oh, no. We have you now, Your Highness. Come with us and be quick about it. You want quick? I'll give you quick. A quick rescue, that is. Oh, monsieur, you have saved me. Just sit tight, my lovely little accent. You can watch the show from up there. Reaping liftoffs, Mr. Cool. We've got to help Fonzie. <laughs> oh, monk craters. So, stranger, you dare to face the three of us? Whoa! Well, that makes two of them. And counting. Hey! So long, guys. Hey, don't forget to write. No! Watch your step there, your loveliness. There you go. Merci, my friend. Hey, I may be your friend, but my name is Fancy. And these are my friends. Richie, Ralph Mouth, and Mr. Cool. Enchanté, gentlemen. Aren't you forgetting someone, Fonzie? You're right. This is Cupcake. Pleased to meet you. Her abilities speak for themselves. I am Veronique, Queen of France. A real queen? Rich, she's royalty. But alas, I am in no position to reward you, my friends. 
The kingdom is in turmoil, and I am in terrible danger. Stick with us, your royal niece. Terrible danger, that's our middle name. Those foreigners have ruined a perfectly good chance for us to capture the queen. On the contrary, milady. They will fit into my plans for taking over the throne perfectly. Especially that one called Bunzi. He could even be a match for the three musketeers. If you can take care of the others, I can handle Funzi. Handle him gently, my lady. He is vital to my plan. And as for the others, they will not be going anywhere for a while. <laughs> Uh-oh, Font. It looks like we've got company. Moon craters, more henchmen. Hurry, they have the queen surrounded. Unhandle, you knaves. Hey, watch who you're calling a knave there, fancy pants. You must learn to address the three musketeers with respect. The musketeers? Which one's in that? Hey, will you back off there, Lord Fauntleroy? Somehow I get the idea we're all on the same side. This is true, Fonzie. The musketeers are my personal guards. We are honored, mademoiselle. Great galaxy. <laughs> Charmed, I'm sure. Since the king's mysterious disappearance, the musketeers have been my only protection. Except for the royal ring. It is the symbol of my right to rule until the king is found. Otherwise, the country will fall into the hands of the evil Count de Ville. Well, since you guys have everything under control, we'll just get back in our time machine and... The time machine! It's gone! Oh no! We're trapped in 17th century France! This is awful! There's not a malt shop around for centuries. Take it easy, Ralph. We're just going to relax and look on the bright side. What bright side? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Perhaps I can be of some assistance, my queen. <gasps> Count de Ville, how did you get into the palace? I have my method. Your methods wouldn't include breaking and entering, would they, Coupe de Ville? I see your hand in this mischief, Count de Ville. I assure you, my queen, I have no more to do with the missing vehicle than with the king's unfortunate disappearance. In any case, your carriage cannot be far away. My musketeers will search the palace grounds. In the meantime, perhaps this Funzi would like to see the sides, namely, my lady. <laughs> It's no use, Cupcake. He's gone. No one can catch that coach now. No one who isn't equipped with my special powers. Wow, Cupcake. Nice work. That's nothing. Watch this. Wait for us at the palace, Your Highness. We'll find the Fonz. I think he spoke too soon, Rich. Whoa! All right, blonde person. Just who are you and where do you think you're taking me? You may call me the lady. I don't care whose lady you are. Nobody that acts like that touches my leather. I wish to tell you I find you irresistible. Oh, yeah? Well, I wish to tell you the same thing. But unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> ah. All right, come on, Mr. Cool. I'm talking a long walk back to the palace. Help! Help! We're on an express flight to the moon. Will you quit being so silly, Ralph? All we have to do is pull this lever.
the bright side, Ralph. At least there's someone here to meet us. Welcome to the Castle de Ville, foreigners. If you will follow me, I'll show you to your set. You can't lock us up in here. I demand to speak to the American consul. <laughs> Foolish foreigners. You will not interfere with the consul's plans any further. <laughs> Wait a minute. What would the Fonz do in a situation like this? That's easy. He just snapped his fingers like this and... Oh, well, never mind. Yo, your royalness. How come these musketeers here are pulling guard duty? Fonzie, you escaped Milady's clutches. Hey, nothing to it, your royalness. The problem was escaping her carriage. Yeah, marriage! <laughs> huh? I do not trust my lady or Count de Ville, so I must hide the royal ring where no one can find it. If I lose the ring, I will lose the throne of France as well. Hey, it's your ring, your queen, Louise, but uh, I got a bad feeling about this. The royal ring will be safe enough. Queen Veronique, I accuse you of high treason. <gasps> treason? You and the foreigner, Funzi, have conspired to steal the royal ring. Unless you can prove me wrong, I shall be forced to arrest you and take over the throne myself. Cool it, your nastiness. Nobody talks to her royalness like that while the Funzi is around. Funzi, please. I will prove our innocence simply by showing Count de Ville the royal ring. <gasps> the ring, it's gone. All right, something funny's going on here, your beautifulness. And you don't have to be an honor roll student to figure out who's behind it. Be careful what you say, Fudensee. Why don't you just go brush your teeth? You are outnumbered here. You forget about the three musketeers, monsieur. And you can forget about them as well, my ex-queen. <laughs> Maybe that takes care of the musketeers. But now you gotta deal with the fun. And you, monsieur, will have to deal with this. <laughs> 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 I gotta hand it to the count, he's a slippery customer. There's gotta be a way out of this dungeon. There is, Rich. The logical thing to do is to beg for mercy. Take it easy, Ralph. As long as Fonzie's around, there's always hope. Hope isn't with us, Fred. It's just me, Cool, and Veronique. That tunnel must connect the palace with Count Deville's castle. So that's how El Creepo keeps showing up at your place, uninvited. A brilliant deduction, my dear Fonzie, which you and the Queen can take with you into this bottomless pit. Whoa! Don't worry, Fonzie. I'll get us back together again. Coppers, this is not my idea of a happy reunion. You, you can, can say, say that again. again. This is not my idea of a happy reunion. Very funny, Ralph. But cheer up. I mean, at least we'll be the first people in history to find out how deep bottomless really is. <gasps> Maybe my 25th century magic can save us. Oh, no! Cool it, Tuffy. Shoo! All right. Looks more like a job for some fun. It's really magic. <laughs> Screwdriver reversed the machinery. Ain't hey, nothing to it, Ray. The hard part is teaching it to come back when I win. Galloping gravitation, Fonzie. We're gaining speed. But not for long. All right, look smart, cool. We got to get Veroni back to her palace. And find the royal ring before it falls into the wrong hands. I am sure it is already in the wrong hands, my friends. The hands of Count Deville. All right, Richie, do me a favor. You and Ralph take a look around here for that missing king, all right? Right, Fonz. That, that 
way. Oh, let's face it, Ralph. We'll never be able to find the king. We're lost. Lost? Lost? All right, all right, don't panic, Rich. We're okay as long as I've got my Captain Moonbeam secret decoder ring with built-in compass. And it says... <laughs> panic! We gotta put it back together, Rich. I... 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 Looking for something, handsome stranger. I, uh, 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 that, that, that is how... Have you seen an imprisoned king around here anywhere? Oui, monsieur. He is just beyond that door. Thanks. See you around the castle, huh? Ralph, you can't listen to her. She's the one who snatched Fonzie and locked us up in the dungeon. Come on, Ridge. He can't be all bad. Besides, I've got this built-in sense of direction. Your built-in sense of direction directs us into trouble every time. I only have one thing to say, Rich, and that's... Well, that looks like the front door up ahead, and not a moment too soon. Soon we will be safely back in my palace. Perhaps not as soon as you think, my former queen. <gasps> God, the view! I must insist that you accept the hospitality of my castle permanently. <laughs> All right, don't count your coops before they hatch your arrogance. It's okay, Fonzie. I'll wrap this up right now. Fonzie, <coughs> Yeah, she wrapped things up all right, Mr. Cool, but I didn't think she was talking about us. Merci, mademoiselle. You have saved me the trouble of dealing with Funzi myself. I'm warning you. Take one more step and I'll sap. Go ahead, mon petit one. I dare you. <laughs> All right, you asked for it. It will take more than your circus sticks to stand between me and the French throne. <laughs> Is this what you mean when you say moon craters? Uh-huh. Moon craters! All right, cool cupcake and Veronique are in trouble. We got to get out of these metal overcoats. Now that's more like it, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, put yourselves together, you two. We gotta rescue the girls from that no account count. Come on. Fonzie, look. The count is leaving with Queen Veronique and Cupcake. It looks like it's up to us to rescue him, huh, guys? Oh, boy, Fonz. Well, doesn't all this rescuing sound more like three musketeers work? I mean, shouldn't we be doing something safe for guys? You know, looking for the time machine, stuff like that. Let me talk to your man in mouth, huh, Ralph? This is not a time for words. Especially not words like that. Right, Fonz. It's time for action. Gosh, Fonz. Yeah, there's no telling what that creepy count has done with the Queen's real guards. So we got to be the three musketeers. <coughs> Fonzie. Right, Mr. Cool, how could I? Yeah, of course. Make that the three musketeers plus one. <laughs> Yo, Ralph! I'm coming, Fonz! I'm coming! You have reached the end of your journey, ladies, in more ways than one. Ooh, if my fingers had their way, they'd give you such a zap! Your zapping days are over, my little witch. Oh, they will be, as soon as we arrange a little accident for you and your royal friends. Did you say friends? Yes, Cupcake. The king is my guest here as well. Soon France will need a new king and queen. Veronique! My husband, I was so worried about you. Leaping leptons! I think you better stop worrying about us. You know, it's not too late, Fonz. We can still retire from the hero biz before anything permanent happens to us. Negative thoughts never help, Malf. This calls for cool heads and a Fonz really plan. Come here. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. 
And guard! Min! We have visitors! Special delivery for Camp Deville's henchmen! Yeah, I'll take that lad. Sorry, you gotta sign for it first. Why, you pippin' sweet. Oh, well, maybe in your case I can make an exception. What magic is this? Nice work, Ralph. Your smoke bomb sure got things started. And the fines is gonna finish him. Ah, we have been trained! Don't you guys ever learn? Hey, nice going, Mr. Cool. I couldn't have done better myself. I think we can take it from here, Fonz. Okay, Red, I'm counting on you. Right now, I've got to see about Cupcake and Veroni. You will pay for this. There is no more time for idle scratch, your former highness. Only goodbyes. <laughs> you better forget about saying goodbye, your evilness, and start saying your prayers. Bambi! Bambi! We are undone, my lord. Quickly, the door. It is too late. The musketeers have arrived. Oui, oui. The musketeers, they've escaped. Oh, no. It seems, Mr. Funzi, that I must challenge you to a duel. And I don't think we're talking to carburetors, either. Neptune's moon, Funzi. Help! Calm yourself, Cupcake. It'll be a snap. I guess it's just you and me now, your nastiness. Don't worry, Fonzie. I'll give you a hand. A hand might have been a little more helpful there, Cupcake. Bah! No one will confront as long as I have the higher ring. You know, Count, I was thinking the same thing. So... Whoa! <laughs> the missing ring. Exact the mundo, your royalness. Now what do you say we get back to the palace and find the missing time machine? It's got to be around here somewhere, Fonz. I mean, the time machine wouldn't just leave without us. Would it? Would it? Lou on your freckles there, Ralph, will you? We'll find it. You will never find your missing vehicle. Unless you kiss me, you fool. Don't do it, Fonzie. She's just trying to get you under her power. Cool it, cuppers. I'll take my chance. Now, about that time machine. Secret panel under the fountain. <sighs> Secret panels are getting to be a way of life around here. Toe tap came through again. Whoa! All right, the time machine is back. Whoa! So it must be dead. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Cole. I'll get you untangled. Old France is grateful for what you have done. What can we do to reward you? Yikes! Yeah, well, like uh, maybe something to remember you by, you know. Do you suppose you could find us a change of clothes? Or a bag of oats? I'm starving!
Hey, yours truly finds here. Incredible. That's the only word to describe what's happening to me and the Happy Days Gang today. So you stick around. You get my drift. We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine, and a future chick named a Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine, and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Hey, Bob, why does it feel like we're going in circles? Because we are going in circles, Rich. I feel like a strawberry shake in a blender. Oh! Whoa! Make that a strawberry shake to go. Woman driver. That's woman pilot. And if anybody thinks they could do better. Me, and the rich the city and put up a park while we weren't looking. Sorry, guys, but we missed again. This is the year 1625. And according to my time band, we've landed at Fountainebleau Palace in France. at the Fountain Blow Palace. It's gonna flood the ship! Flood the ship? Dry up there, Mal. Hey, not if the Fonz has anything to say about this. And I do. That takes care of us, Fonz. But what about her? Girls! Musketeers! Help! Never fear, Cunningham. French ladies in distress are my specialty. Oh, boy, Fonz! Wait for us! That's funny. It sounded like you said us. Whoa! Thieves! Brigands! Help! Somebody save me! Oh, no. We have you now, Your Highness. Come with us and be quick about it. You want quick? I'll give you quick. A quick rescue, that is. Oh, monsieur, you have saved me. Just sit tight, my lovely little accent. You can watch the show from up there. Reaping liftoffs, Mr. Cool. We've got to help Fonzie. <laughs> oh, monk craters. So, Stranger, you dare to face the three of us? Well, that makes two of them. And counting. Hey! So long, guys. Hey, don't forget to write. Ooh. Watch your step there, your loveliness. There you go. Merci, my friend. Hey, I may be your friend, but my name is Fancy. And these are my friends, Richie, Ralph Mouth, and Mr. Cool. Enchanté, gentlemen. Aren't you forgetting someone, Fancy? You're right. This is Cupcake. Pleased to meet you. Her abilities speak for themselves. I am Veronique, Queen of France. A real queen? Rich, she's royalty. But alas, I am in no position to reward you, my friends. 
The kingdom is in turmoil, and I am in terrible danger. Stick with us, your royal in this terrible danger. That's our middle name. Those foreigners have ruined a perfectly good chance for us to capture the queen. On the contrary, milady. They will fit into my plans for taking over the throne perfectly. Especially that one called Bunzi. He could even be a match for the three musketeers. If you can take care of the others, I can handle Fernsey. Handle him gently, my lady. He is vital to my plan. And as for the others, they will not be going anywhere for a while. <laughs> Uh-oh, Font. It looks like we've got company. Moon craters, more henchmen. Hurry, they have the queen surrounded. Unhandle, you knaves. Hey, watch who you're calling a knave there, fancy pants. You must learn to address the three musketeers with respect. The musketeers? Which one's in that? Hey, will you back off there, Lord Fauntleroy? Somehow I get the idea we're all on the same side. This is true, Fonzie. The musketeers are my personal guards. We are honored, mademoiselle. Great galaxy. <laughs> Charmed, I'm sure. Since the king's mysterious disappearance, the musketeers have been my only protection. Except for the royal ring. It is the symbol of my right to rule until the king is found. Otherwise, the country will fall into the hands of the evil Count de Ville. Well, since you guys have everything under control, we'll just get back in our time machine and... The time machine! It's gone! Oh no! We're trapped in 17th century France! This is awful! There's not a malt shop around for centuries. Take it easy, Ralph. We're just going to relax and look on the bright side. What bright side? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Perhaps I can be of some assistance, my queen. <gasps> Count de Ville, how did you get into the palace? I have my method. Your methods wouldn't include breaking and entering, would they, Coupe de Ville? I see your hand in this mischief, Count de Ville. I assure you, my queen, I have no more to do with the missing vehicle than with the king's unfortunate disappearance. In any case, your carriage cannot be far away. My musketeers will search the palace grounds. In the meantime, perhaps this Funzi would like to see the sides, namely, my lady. <laughs> It's no use, Cupcake. He's gone. No one can catch that coach now. No one who isn't equipped with my special powers. Wow, Cupcake. Nice work. That's nothing. Watch this. Wait for us at the palace, Your Highness. We'll find the Fonz. I think he spoke too soon, Rich. Whoa! All right, blonde person. Just who are you and where do you think you're taking me? You may call me the lady. I don't care whose lady you are. Nobody that acts like that touches my leather. I wish to tell you I find you irresistible. Oh, yeah? Well, I wish to tell you the same thing. But unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> ah. All right, come on, Mr. Cool. I'm talking a long walk back to the palace. Help! Help! We're on an express flight to the moon. Will you quit being so silly, Ralph? All we have to do is pull this lever. Look 
on the bright side, Ralph. At least there's someone here to meet us. Welcome to the Castle de Ville, foreigners. If you will follow me, I'll show you to your set. You can't lock us up in here. I demand to speak to the American consul. <laughs> Foolish foreigners. You will not interfere with the consul's plans any further. <laughs> Wait a minute. What would the Fonz do in a situation like this? That's easy. He just snapped his fingers like this and... Oh, well, never mind. Yo, your royalness. How come these musketeers here are pulling guard duty? Fonzie, you escaped Milady's clutches. Hey, nothing to it, your royalness. The problem was escaping her carriage. Yeah, marriage! <laughs> I do not trust my lady or Count de Ville, so I must hide the royal ring where no one can find it. If I lose the ring, I will lose the throne of France as well. Hey, it's your ring, your queen, Louise, but uh, I got a bad feeling about this. The royal ring will be safe enough. Queen Veronique, I accuse you of high treason. <gasps> treason? You and the foreigner, Funzi, have conspired to steal the royal ring. Unless you can prove me wrong, I shall be forced to arrest you and take over the throne myself. Cool it, your nastiness. Nobody talks to her royalness like that while the Funzi is around. Funzi, please. I will prove our innocence simply by showing Count de Ville the royal ring. <gasps> the ring, it's gone. All right, something funny's going on here, your beautifulness. And you don't have to be an honor roll student to figure out who's behind it. Be careful what you say, Fudensee. Why don't you just go brush your teeth? You are outnumbered here. You forget about the three musketeers, monsieur. And you can forget about them as well, my ex-queen. <laughs> Maybe that takes care of the musketeers, but now you gotta deal with the fun. And you, monsieur, will have to deal with this. <laughs> 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 I gotta hand it to the count, he's a slippery customer. There's gotta be a way out of this dungeon. There is, Rich. The logical thing to do is to beg for mercy. Take it easy, Ralph. As long as Fonzie's around, there's always hope. Hope isn't with us, Fred. It's just me, Cool, and Veronique. That tunnel must connect the palace with Count Deville's castle. So that's how El Creepo keeps showing up at your place, uninvited. A brilliant deduction, my dear Fonzie, which you and the Queen can take with you into this bottomless pit. Whoa! Don't worry, Fonzie. I'll get us back together again. Cuppers, this is not my idea of a happy reunion. You can, you can say, say that again. again. This is not my idea of a happy reunion. Very funny, Ralph. But cheer up. I mean, at least we'll be the first people in history to find out how deep bottomless really is. <gasps> Maybe my 25th century magic can save us. Oh, no! Cool it, Tuffy. Shoo! All right. Looks more like a job for some funs are really magic. <laughs> Screwdriver reversed the machinery. Ain't hey, nothing to it, Red. The hard part is teaching it to come back when I win. Galloping gravitation, Fonzie. We're gaining speed. But not for long. All right, look smart, cool. We got to get Veroni back to her palace. And find the royal ring before it falls into the wrong hands. I am sure it is already in the wrong hands, my friends. The hands of Count Deville. All right, Richie, do me a favor. You and Ralph take a look around here for that missing king, all right? Right, Fonz. Hmm. 
That, that way. way. Oh, let's face it, Ralph. We'll never be able to find the king. We're lost. Lost? Lost? All right, all right, don't panic, Rich. We're okay as long as I've got my Captain Moonbeam secret decoder ring with built-in compass. And it says... <laughs> panic! We gotta put it back together, Rich. I... 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 Looking for something, handsome stranger. I, uh, 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 that, that, that is how... Have you seen an imprisoned king around here anywhere? Oui, monsieur. He is just beyond that door. Thanks. See you around the castle, huh? Ralph, you can't listen to her. She's the one who snatched Fonzie and locked us up in the dungeon. Come on, Ridge. He can't be all bad. Besides, I've got this built-in sense of direction. Your built-in sense of direction directs us into trouble every time. I only have one thing to say, Rich, and that's... Well, that looks like the front door up ahead, and not a moment too soon. Soon we will be safely back in my palace. Perhaps not as soon as you think, my former queen. <gasps> God, the view! I must insist that you accept the hospitality of my castle permanently. <laughs> All right, don't count your coops before they hatch your arrogance. It's okay, Fonzie. I'll wrap this up right now. Fonzie, <coughs> Yeah, she wrapped things up all right, Mr. Cool, but I didn't think she was talking about us. Merci, mademoiselle. You have saved me the trouble of dealing with Funzi myself. I'm warning you. Take one more step and I'll sap. Go ahead, mon petit one. I dare you. <laughs> All right, you asked for it. It will take more than your circus sticks to stand between me and the French throne. <laughs> Is this what you mean when you say moon craters? Uh-huh. Moon craters! All right, cool cupcake and Veronique are in trouble. We got to get out of these metal overcoats. Now that's more like it, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, put yourselves together, you two. We gotta rescue the girls from that no account count. Come on. Fonzie, look. The count is leaving with Queen Veronique and Cupcake. It looks like it's up to us to rescue him, huh, guys? Oh, boy, Fonz. Well, doesn't all this rescuing sound more like three musketeers work? I mean, shouldn't we be doing something safe for guys? You know, looking for the time machine, stuff like that. Let me talk to your man in mouth, huh, Ralph? This is not a time for words. Especially not words like that. Right, Fonz. It's time for action. Gosh, Fonz. Yeah, there's no telling what that creepy count has done with the Queen's real guards. So we got to be the three musketeers. <coughs> Fonzie. Right, Mr. Cool, how could I? Yeah, of course. Make that the three musketeers plus one. <laughs> Yo, Ralph! I'm coming, Fonz! I'm coming! You have reached the end of your journey, ladies, in more ways than one. Ooh, if my fingers had their way, they'd give you such a zap! Your zapping days are over, my little witch. Oh, they will be, as soon as we arrange a little accident for you and your royal friends. Did you say friends? Yes, Cupcake. The king is my guest here as well. Soon France will need a new king and queen. Veronique! My husband, I was so worried about you. Leaping leptons! I think you better stop worrying about us. You know, it's not too late, Fonz. We can still retire from the hero biz before anything permanent happens to us. Negative thoughts never help, Malf. This calls for cool heads and a Fonz really plan. Come here. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. 
And guard! Min! We have visitors! cows! Special delivery for Camp Deville's henchmen! Yeah, I'll take that lad. Sorry, you gotta sign for it first. Why, you pippin' sweet. Oh, well, maybe in your case I can make an exception. What magic is this? Nice work, Ralph. Your smoke bomb sure got things started. And the fines is gonna finish him. Ah, we have been trained! Don't you guys ever learn? Hey, nice going, Mr. Cool. I couldn't have done better myself. I think we can take it from here, Fonz. Okay, Red, I'm counting on you. Right now, I've got to see about Cupcake and Veroni. You will pay for this. There is no more time for idle scratch, your former highness. Only goodbyes. <laughs> you better forget about saying goodbye, your evilness, and start saying your prayers. Bambi! Bambi! We are undone, my lord. Quickly, the door. It is too late. The musketeers have arrived. Oui, oui. The musketeers, they've escaped. Oh, no. It seems, Mr. Funzi, that I must challenge you to a duel. And I don't think we're talking to carburetors, either. Neptune's moon, Funzi. Help! Calm yourself, Cupcake. It'll be a snap. I guess it's just you and me now, your nastiness. Don't worry, Fonzie. I'll give you a hand. A hand might have been a little more helpful there, Cupcake. Ah! No one will confront as long as I have the higher ring. You know, Count, I was thinking the same thing. So... Whoa! <laughs> the missing ring. Exact the mundo, your royalness. Now what do you say we get back to the palace and find the missing time machine? It's got to be around here somewhere, Fonz. I mean, the time machine wouldn't just leave without us. Would it? Would it? Lou on your freckles there, Ralph, will you? We'll find it. You will never find your missing vehicle. Unless you kiss me, you fool. Don't do it, Fonzie. She's just trying to get you under her power. Cool it, cuppers. I'll take my chance. Now, about that time machine. Secret panel under the fountain. <sighs> Secret panels are getting to be a way of life around here. Toe tap came through again. Whoa! All right, the time machine is back. Whoa! So it must be dead. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Cole. I'll get you untangled. Old France is grateful for what you have done. What can we do to reward you? Yikes! Yeah, well, like uh, maybe something to remember you by, you know. Do you suppose you could find us a change of clothes? Or a bag of oats? I'm starving! Listen up and be cool. 
This is the Fonz talking to you. There's some high adventure coming your way, Pronto Mundo, on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang, so stay tuned, eh? We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool and the Good Group. One flaky time machine and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! <laughs> Return with Bonds and the Happy Days Gang. I don't believe it. No pops, no sputters, no short circuits. It's running like new. Better than new, Ralph. Better than new. All it needed was a little TLC. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, hey, cool. What do you say we pack up our things for Milwaukee? Milwaukee? You mean it, Fonz? Hey. All right, 1957, here we come. There's only one thing that worries me. What is the problem there, Cup? Well, we're headed straight for 1957 Milwaukee, all right. But to get there, we have to go through a big storm in the Bermuda Triangle. Ooh. Bermuda Triangle? <laughs> Another one, Lancelot. Another ship has fallen into the Bermuda time storm. Yes, Dr. Solo. Which means more riches for me and doom for them. <laughs> now let's just see where this odd-looking plane lands. Blast! It's fallen out of range of my sensors. We'll search the southwest sector first, but they can't escape us. There's no way off this island. That just blows an A1 tune-up, you know? Who cares, as long as we're back in 1957. Don't count your cheeseburgers before they're grilled, Ralph. This doesn't look like Milwaukee or 1957. Submarines, Viking ships, Spanish galleons, a biplane, and a rocket. Terrible time warps. Yeah. Things have been dropping in here for centuries. I'm not sure I like the looks of this thing. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Perilous Plutons, look! <laughs> you know, my eyes see, but I do not believe. Hey! Hey! Put me down! Hey, you, you big ape, put Ralph down! Yeah! Quit looking around! Help! Somebody do something! <laughs> Right, that does it. You got the Fonz good and mad now, big guy. You know that? Stand back, Fonzie, or I'll give that big ape a zap he'll never forget. She's done it again. Oh, graders. Are you sure you're on our side, Cuppers? <laughs> Mongo, put them down. Oh, who said that? Well, I'd listen to her if I were you. She's making a lot of sense. No! Don't let him get me again, Fonz. He thinks I'm a banana. Both of them, Mongo. Yeah! That's it, Mongo! Creeping Cosmos! Oh, now that's my kind of chick, you know. Hey, excuse him, what? Beautiful lady. Oh, uh, what is your name there? Come, Mongo. What a funny name that is. Well, look, we gotta find that girl. Just, uh, maybe she could tell us, like, you know, where we are. Well, I can tell you where we are as soon as I get the time machine working again. Hey, good idea, Cuppers. Now, you and the guys see what you can do with the time machine. 
Now, Cool and I will see what's going on elsewhere. Right, Randy, elsewhere. Hey. Keep following those tracks there, Cool. And ain't that big can't hide for long. Now, what do you suppose that is? It was a flying hubcap from a 53 pickup. If it fell into the jungle, it could take hours to find. But we will find it, Lancelot, and everything aboard will be mine. We'll move towards the beach. Ouch! Come down here to ground zero, I'll tell you. Mongo, down. It's all right. <laughs> my name is Eula. Hey, you ought to find really at your service. But my friends call me, you know, like the Fonz or Fonzie, whatever. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, yeah, and this is my very good pal, Mr. Cool. <laughs> I think Mongo likes your little friend. <laughs> Mongo rescued me when I was shipwrecked here in 1857. And he protects me from certain dangers. 1857? Come on. You sure don't look like a hundred years old. That's because in the Bermuda Triangle, time stands still. Oh, you mean like shifting into neutral, right? I could dig that. So, Cupcake, what do you think? Can you fix it? Well, given enough time... Yeah? And the right equipment. Yeah? No. You mean it's hopeless? It's hopeless, Rich! Oh, no, we're trapped here with no idea where we are or when we are. <laughs> Find the bright spot in this one, Rich, I dare you. Well, we still got each other, Ralph. It's not enough, Rich. I'll bet Fonzie could whip this machine back into shape in about a minute. Of course, you're right, Rich. He specializes in hopeless. Fonzie, where are you? Ralph, come back. You're never going to find him out there. But he couldn't have gone far. Fonz, help! We need you. Should we go after him? It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Come on. Fonzie! Fonz, where are you? Even worse, where am I? I'm lost. That's where I am. Wait, somebody's coming. With luck, it'll be a bus to Milwaukee. <laughs> Lancelot, capture the stranger! Well, that's my luck for you. After him, Lancelot, stop him. It will be done, Dr. Solo. Oh, Monty, Richie, Mongo, anybody! Ralph, Ralph, we really have to stick by the time machine. Richie, old pal, old friend, and Cupcake, you've got to save me. Save you from what? It's from who, Richie? And the answer is... From them! Bingo! Weeping laser beams! We're trapped! Okay, bucko. You better have one pretty good explanation for this. Certainly, my friend. As soon as you tell me where this time machine is that you spoke of. Don't tell him, Richie. I've got a bad feeling about this guy. And you're a great judge of character, Cupcake. But if it gets us out of here, I'll tell. The machine, if you look back at the other part of the... That was great, Cupcake. Thanks, but it was supposed to be a diving helmet. You will tell me where the time machine is, my friend, or you will never get off this island. <laughs> Now, this sure don't look like 1857. You're right, Fonzie. I shared this house with Dr. Solo, a scientist from 1820. Looks more like he's a collector for a museum. He was the first to be captured by the time storm. The treasures are from the ships abandoned here. Yeah, and what happened to all the people? Well, Dr. Solo tells me they've all been trapped back in the time storm, accidentally. Yeah? Tell me another one. I don't completely trust Dr. Solo, but I feel safe with Mongo to protect me. Yeah, and beautiful lady, what is this about a time storm? There. 
That's what's caused the strange time confusions in the area. You'd be wise to avoid it. Anyone caught in it is tossed into other times, other places. I know the feeling. You're wasting your breath, Dr. Solo. We'll never tell you where our time machine is. Then you'll be my prisoners forever. And on this island, forever is a very long time. <laughs> well, what if we give you a hint? Would you give us time off for a hint? Well... Dr. Solo, is that you? Uh, uh, yes, Eula. I'll be right there. Hey, cool. I think King Kong here has a crush on you. Must be like your animal magnetism. <laughs> Fonzie, this is Dr. Solo. The Eula has been telling me about you. Yeah, well, I'd just like to say that uh, it's all true, you know? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I hope you'll be able to join us for a while. Hey, I'd love to, Doc, you know, but I got my friends to think about. You're all welcome. We have plenty of room. Yeah, that's very nice, but they're back at the time machine. The end if you lead me to it, we'll pick them all up on my flying disc. Oh, now that's an offer I can't refuse. Yo, you, unpalm the pooch. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rosie. Whoa, for a guy from 1820, you sure know how to get around in style. <laughs> it's it all right. Hey, Cupcake, Ralph, Cunningham, anybody home? Wow, oh, wow! Yeah, I'm with you 100%, cool. Looks like a tornado hit it. I'd recognize Cupcake's work anywhere. <laughs> a wondrous crowd. Yeah, unfortunately, not in tip-top shape at the moment, though. Uh, with your permission, Yay! I could take the machine back to my lab, repair it there, and have it back before your friends return. Hey, now we're talking appreciation. But if you'll just show me the toolkit, I'll have this flying in no time. Oh. You'll find everything you need in my lab. Yeah, then we can come back and surprise Cupcake and the guys. That's good. All right, I like that. Hey, uh, don't you think we're getting a little too close to that time storm? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, and I think that's what worries me. The time storm has allowed me to steal the riches of the ages and dispose of those who get in my way. But the only way I can get off the island... ...is with our time machine, wouldn't you know it? Uh-oh! Exactly. Just me and my treasure! Whoa! Enjoy whatever time period you wind up in, Fonzie! <laughs> We're heading for that time storm, cool. Fonzie, how about we give us friends? What are we gonna do? I don't know, but we better think of something very fast. I'm talking pronto. Uh You know, for anybody else, this could be a disastrous situation, Cool, but lucky for you and humble for me that Fonz has a plan. A ray? Really, Fonzie? All right, grab my boot there, Cool. Gently, very gently. I just had them shine. Right, <laughs> All right, my jacket's the closest thing we've got to a hang glider. Yeah! Let's hope it's close enough. Hey, how about this action? you found. Huh? Oh, boy, a zoom zoom. Yeah, right. This zoom zoom is a sight for sore eyes. I gotta tell you, I wonder if she runs. Hey, I'm right now, Ronzi. Yeah. Sounds like it could use a little on the spot tuna. What are you doing, dog? Um, could I run, Ronzi? <laughs> Thanks, cool. Hey. Where'd you get our time machine? Your friend Fonzie donated it to a worthy cause, specifically me. Begin work on those mangled circuits, Lancelot. I'll be back in a moment. Yes, Dr. Solo. Rich, he's going to fix the time machine and steal it. At last, to be free of this island and to take my treasures with me. 
Dr. Solo, didn't Fonzie return with you? Uh, Fonzie? Uh, uh, no, my child. He found his friends and left in his time machine suddenly. Left? Without saying goodbye? I don't understand. Now leave me, Eula. I have work to attend to. They left, Mongo. Again. <laughs> All right, now let's see how she sounds. It's nice to know I haven't lost my touch. Right, Wendy. Let's make tracks. <laughs> Enough with the jokes, cool. We got friends to find, and I got a hunch. There it's solos. I just don't understand it. Yo, Eula! Fonzie! I was told you left. Not as fast as that creepo doctor would like to think. And where's Mr. Cool? Well, he and Mongo are uh, getting reacquainted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eula, I got a hunch Solo has my friends around here somewhere. I have seen no other strangers, Fonzie. <laughs> Lancelot, begin loading my treasures into the time machine. As you wish, Dr. Solo. tried to drop me and cool into another century through the time storm. I was right not to trust him. Oh! Oh! Help! Help! Fonzie! <clears throat> what is it, Mongo? Well, I think he's found something. May that chronoscope, you mangy mongrel! <laughs> <laughs> Stop them, Lancelot, I command you! Mongo, watch out! Last, I must get that time machine part back. Oh, here we glad to see you, Fonz. Likewise, Red. But you all gotta make it for the jungle pronto while I take care of Solo Solo. Yeah! Fonzie, look! I don't know how you escaped me before, Fonzie, but you won't do it again. Hurry, Cupcake! But I can help! Just one magical zap and... No, no, Ralph's right, Cupcake. Fonzie's got enough problems already. Round four, please. Thanks, big guy. See you around the jungle sometime, okay? I'm staying with you, Fonzie. You'll regret that, Eula. Well, Lancelot, you gotta be faster than that. Where did he go? Behind you, Tin Man. Now try and aim those blasters. Okay, Eula. Cool. Let's get while the getting is good. Randy! You can't escape me for long! Quickly, Fonzie. He'll fix Lancelot in no time. Lancelot, stop them! Yow! Hang tight there, troops. We can outrun that tin soldier. You like that dog, don't you, Mongo? Yeah. Well, they're stealing him from you. They don't want you to see him ever again. 
But you can stop them, Mongo. You can stop them. Looks like a storm's coming up, guys. Maybe you can hide us from Solo. Rich, come and stop. That's a time storm. It'll toss into the next century. I know a cave near here we can hide in. There's no sign of them, Lancelot. Let's just hope Mongo can find them. Dr. Solo has turned Mongo against us. Against us? It was bad enough when he was on our side. All right, everybody, just give me a chance to think. Mr. Cool. Huh? Thank you. Now, we got an enraged giant ape, a mad doctor, and a robot knight with laser powers. Yeah! A ray, a ray, a ray, a ray, a a ray, a a ray, a a a a Hey, you got any suggestions, Mouth? I mean, in an arm wrestling contest, the ape is going to win hands down. Mongo has found them! <laughs> Let's enjoy our victory from front row center. Get them, Mongo! Bring them all to me! Hey, look at that luck. He's on our side for a change. I think I can slip through that crack in the ceiling. You keep Mongo busy. You can count on us, Bonds. Sizzling sunspots. How are we supposed to keep Mongo interested? That's easy, Cupcake. Just make a noise like a banana. <laughs> Amazing. Even under pressure, the mouth mind is still sharp. That's right, Mongo. Get them! I might have known. Well, they picked on the wrong guy this time. We'll get them yet, Lancelot. Now, let's see. What do we have here? A little twist here, a little adjustment there. Yo, Solo! It's you, but, but... Yeah, I can dig it, fancy seeing you again, too. Pongo! <gasps> Here's your enemy! Grab him! <laughs> Easy there, Mongo. Don't do anything I might regret. Mongo, no! He's gonna get Fonzie! Mr. Cool, you're the only one who can save him. Me? Ah, ah. There goes a real hero. <laughs> I'm with you in spirit, Cool. Come on, Mr. Cool. He's counting on you. Right, right! Come on, I don't want to have to hurt you, pal. Hello, hello, monkey! Oh, now I am here. Now, Dr. Yo-Yo, where were we? Lancelot, vaporize the stranger! Didn't your mom ever teach you it's not nice to vaporize strangers? Lancelot! It's just you and me now there, creepo. Soon to be only me, Fonzie. Hey, watch that first step. It's a dilly. Yeah. I'm heading for the time storm. Help! Happy landings, pal, in whatever century you wind up in. Now this island really is a paradise. And we get our time machine back and find Milwaukee. Remember Milwaukee? And it's all because of the Fonz. Let's hear it for him, gang. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, as Richie always says, look on the bright side. You make a superior kite. Right, Wendy. A sail pup. <laughs> Whoa, this is the 
finds that you serve is here. Hey, don't miss the exciting action coming your way with me and the Happy Thanks gang. So stick around. We're real glad you're there. <laughs> We got it all together now, gang. The Bond. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine, and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine, and they're like traveling through time. They do not think where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. It's a relativity rod. Yo, rods, hot or otherwise, or a Fonzarelli speciality, lucky for all of you guys. <laughs> Just park this crate, Guppers, and I'll give it the once over. You got it, Fonzie. Hey, who's rocking the boat? Hey, cool. We gotta do something about that first step. You know, something like this. Sure. Where'd we land this time, Cupcake? Well, according to my time band, we're in 1864 Greenland. Greenland? You better have the color on that thing adjusted, Cupcake. Terrible time warps! We're on top of a volcano! And we're not alone. Fonz, there's a girl down there. Hey! Someone help! All right, Mr. Cool, quick. I need the electrical cable from the storeroom. Right. All right, hold on there, pretty lady. The Fonz is on the way. Just think of that as a special introductory offer. Hey! Whoa! Thank you for rescuing me. I am Anna Olsen. Arthur Fonz really at your service. Just one question. What's an adorable little lady like you doing on a volcano like this? I am searching for my father. He believes this volcano is the entrance to a lost civilization at the center of the Earth. I am in yeah, well, you know, fathers can be like that sometimes. He has been gone much too long. I am afraid something terrible might have happened to him. Hey, Fonz! Cupcake found the trouble. So we can spin off any time without any outside help. And get back to Milwaukee without any more detours. Sorry, Ralph, but there has been a slight change of plan. We're taking Anna here to the center of the Earth. You hear that, Rich? Ha, 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 the center of the Earth. What a sense of humor. I don't think he's joking, Ralph. Well, that must be why I'm not laughing. <laughs> oh, Ralph. <laughs> Rich, what's that? It is Gretel, my family's pet goose. She followed my father on his expedition. Hush. Hey, does Gretel always do to navigate, and this looks like a map. Why, it's half a father's map. You are mistaken, Anna. The map is mine. And I'll take it now, if you don't mind. Well, the Fonz does mind. I mean, does it belong to this little lady here, or what? Oh, be careful, Fonzie. Gustav Karst will stop at nothing to get what he wants. And I want that map. Sven, teach this meddling foreigner a lesson. Yeah, Karst. 
grip its pleasure. Okay, guys. But the lessons are on me, free of charge. And the joke's on you, Spingali. No one makes a fool of Gustav Kars. Well, that's not true. I just did. I'll handle this one, Fonzie. Uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. I don't believe it. Looks like she got two villains with one zap. I knew I could do it. Nice going there, cuppers. Yeah, where'd you send them? Alaska? We've been left on. I don't know. All right, no harm done. The important thing is... The important thing is that the time machine is gone forever. <laughs> the leather valve. The leather. Sorry, Fonz. I, I lost my head. It looks like we're going into that volcano like it or not. Well, I guess it's all downhill from here. Don't worry, Anna. I promise we'll find your father and we'll get to the bottom of this. I wish he wouldn't put it that way. Fonzie, look. It is my father's trail marker. He was here. And ahead of us. He must have memorized the map. All right, group. Let's motivate. Gustav! How, how did we get here? That's not important now. What matters is getting to that legendary treasure at the center of the Earth. First! But we need the part of the map that those kids have, so we can use ours. Only because you let Professor Olsen get away. But nobody's going to escape us this time. A well-placed rock slide will take care of those kids permanently. And then we shall have the whole map all to ourselves. <laughs> According to the map. Uh, don't, don't look now, everybody, but look! But who's gonna handle you? All right, everybody. Split. Never seen a moon crater before. Let's just hope they have a soft land. Stay calm, everybody. Calm. Calm. What's this? We're saved. Parachutes. We're sunk! Circus balloons! Sorry, Richie. I guess this just isn't my century. Whoa! Well, at least I still got the map. I'll do the pathfinding from now on. Hang in there, guys. We'll be down as soon as we can. Come on, gang. Follow the fun. They got away. We've got to get that map. But, but, Gustav, it was magic. I don't want to hear excuses. I want results. And we'll get them with a little surprise party in the petrified swamp. Follow me. <laughs> You can say that again. Stone leaves, petrified flowers, petrified Ralph. Ralph, what is it? It's... it's them. You won't get to read this time. Neptune's moons. Over here. We can hide in this hollow log. Any log in the storm, I always say. <laughs> Ralph, you want him to hear us? All right. Come out with that map, or else. Uh, Rich, or else doesn't look very inviting from up here. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. You look like reasonable men. Dump them into the lava pool. Well, fairly reasonable. Uh, w wait, uh, can't we talk this over? We can still give them the map, Rich. It's not too late. Wrong, Ralph. I see what you mean, Cupcake. It is too late! 
What a strange place. Yeah, it's like some weird old jungle. All right, Cupcake and the Trouble Twins ought to be around here someplace. Well, of course, another cupcake rescue. I'd recognize that style anywhere. You got to admit, Fonz, at least she's consistent. Which is more than I can say for this trip so far. Now, what's our next stop? Well, according to the map, we've got to find a bent tree that points to a cave. Uh, uh, come on, gang. The center of the Earth must be this way. We passed a bent tree on our way over here. So we did. Come, Sven. We've got to get there first. There is the mark, Gustav. Just as the map said. But not for long. Quickly, twist the tree so that it points to that cave, which will lead them to their doom. <laughs> <laughs> the bent tree is just up ahead, guys. All you have to do is follow it into the cave. It's a shortcut. Hey, sounds good, Ralph. Move it, everybody. Uh, Richard, I'll just wait out here, okay? If it's safe, call me. If not, don't bother. Ralph! <laughs> hey, Ralph said this is a shortcut, but this is the shortest cut I have ever seen. It doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, yes, it does. It leads down! Hello? Hello? Where'd everybody go? Uh, take it from me, Mal. You don't want to know. Fonzie! What am I gonna do? Hand over ah! the map, or deal with us. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Hey, Fonzie! Wait for me! That takes care of those pesky kids. Oh, good. And with the entire map, the treasure at the center of the Earth is as good as ours. <laughs> oh! Hi, everybody. Oh, I hope I'm still in All right, enough with the greetings. We got to get out of here before this place fills up with sand. Leave that to me. All we need is a big cork to plug up. That's not a cork cupcake. It's a corkscrew. Cosmic Comets. Sorry, everybody. I guess I goofed. Don't pop your ponytails there, coppers. This is gonna work out just fine. <gasps> Neptune's moons. Fonz, you're the greatest. Fonzie, hey. look. Gustav and Spin are ahead of us. And how do they know where the treasure is there, Malfi Ralphie? Uh, lucky guess, Fonz. Well, they won't be ahead of us for long. Cool. You run up some seaweed. Right, Roger. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Cunningham, Mal, you two collect some driftwood lard. Aye, aye, Fonz. The rest of us have some weaving to do. Weaving? Huh? Okay, Fonz. This is the last one. Nice work as always, Red. All set there, Mr. Cool? <laughs> Ready, Ronty! Riddle, sweetheart. Then let's go for it. <laughs> Gustav, it's those kids again! We're seeing them for the last time, Sven. If the map is right, these stones will stir up the surprise of a lifetime. <laughs> We're gaining on them, Fonz. The water is suddenly very rough. And my coward's intuition tells me we don't want to find out why. Ralph, when you're right, you're right. Back off there, historic horror. This is the Fonz talking, and I'm talking ugly. That's real good, Fonz, but I don't think it is listening. Fonzie, what did we get ourselves into? It's what we don't want to get ourselves into.
Pedro that concerns me right now, Red. Red, Rocky! Namely, that sea monster. Please don't eat me! I'm out of shape! You wouldn't like me! Eat them! Spoken like a true coward, Ralph. Thanks, Rich, but, you know, I've been under a lot of pressure. Sizzling sea monsters! What are we gonna do? Somebody help! All right, this is no time for panic. Cupcake, you're not gonna believe this, but we need some of your 25th century zapping. You want me to zap? Now is the time for panic. I can do it, Fonzie. Just name it. A supersonic laser, a rocket-powered torpedo launcher. Easy compass. Let's stick to basics. A couple of oars would be fine. Right? But Fonzie... Now, compass, now. <laughs> An outboard motor. I tried for oars. I really did. Hey, you did really fine. Here it comes again, Fonz. All right, let's churn water. That was great, Fonz. Yeah, well, it's all in a wrist. <laughs> hey, take it easy, cool. We're not out of this yet. Huh? Mm -hmm. Rocks? You mean rocks? Rocks! Hey, perfect the mundo. We'll steer right into them. Rock, Rocky! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Great steering, Fonzie! I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. Well, maybe just a peek. <laughs> Why did I do that? All right, hold on, everybody. This is gonna be a very tight fit. That was wonderful. You saved us all. And what are heroes for? Okay, group, let's spread out and look for one of the professor's markers. It's hopeless, Fonzie. That marker could be anywhere. Here, I want the rush road. Oh! Oh, there's the rush road! Hooray, you're mine! Ah, ah, ah. Have you found Father's marker? Uh-uh. Hey, it sounds like Gretel's found something. Well, let's check it out. The marker, there it is. Fonzie, that giant shell knows your name. Hey, what can I tell you, Rich? I get around. Hey, my pleasure, Mr. Cool. Now, let's see if we can pick up that trail. Yeah, look at that trail! Busca, how did they escape the sea monster? We've obviously underrated that Fonzie's ability, Sven. But with this map, we can still beat them to the treasure and hand them a couple of surprises along the way. <laughs> Fonzie, that tunnel. I remember those carvings from my father's map. They seem to indicate that the lost city is this way. How could anybody lose a whole city? Maybe they forgot to sew in name tags. Oh, here, Ralph. Ha, ha, ha. Critics. Everywhere critics. Hey, guys, wait up! Neptune's moon? Is that the lost city? It is. It has to be. Yeah, right. How many can there be down here? Wow, that's incredible. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. So don't look, Ralph. Hey, thanks, Rich. That's much better. All right, gang, center of the earth, dead ahead. Tell me he didn't say that. My father! My child! My goose! Have no fear, Professor. Help has arrived. You're in terrible danger. Sven and Gustav just tied me up and have gone to release the Temple Guardian. Temple Guardian? Hey, no disrespect, Prof, but I think I can handle one guard. Yeah, bring it boy. Put him up. Just how big is this Temple Guard? 
while we claim the treasure, my friends, you can deal with the Temple Guardian. Perilous Pelotons! You said it, Cupcake! If we don't run for it, our goose is cooked! Oops, sorry, Gretel. No offense. Hey, for once, I agree with Ralph. Okay, retreat. Run, Randy! Run! Perfect. Perfect. Now there's nothing for us to do but claim this fortune for ourselves. <laughs> and with no one to stop us. <laughs> what can we do? All right, just stay calm, cool, relax, because something will come to me. Something, please, something. Oh, no, Cup is great. This is great if we want to stick the big guy in a scrapbook. A racing cup! Or maybe... What are you gonna do, Fonz? Watch and see, Red. All right, hey, you big alum, nobody likes a bully. Yeah, that's the idea. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. It was great fun. The tape was my idea. <laughs> the volcano! We gotta get back to the surface and pronto. Jump in Jupiter! Even the creature is frightened! Bonzi! It's the time machine! And not a moment too soon! Run for it! Gustav! <laughs> 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 the volcano is erupting! What good are these treasures now? Oh! Bonzi, look! Sven and Gustav! Yeah, well, it's a cinch. We can't leave them down here. We can't? This is the worst situation we've ever been in. I mean, it's so bad, not even Richie could find a bright side. Well, hang on to your freckles there, Malp. We're gonna be going topside in just a sec. Please! No, 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 help! Here, Don't please. leave us here, please! please. Be careful, Fonzie! Oh, Barbara! Whoa! Oh. All right, next stop, the time machine. Fonz, you are a true hero. What can I say? Let's get out of here fast! Whoa, I think Mother Nature's already taken care of that mouth. All right, somebody point me to the nearest jail. I wish there were something more we could do to thank you for all you've done. Hey, appreciation is louder than a gift. Get my drip. Come on, Fonzie. I fixed the time machine and Milwaukee's waiting for us. Yo, cool. Are you coming or not? said you fixed this thing. I did, Richie. 1800, 1700, 1600. Oh, that's backwards. Hey, don't miss the exciting action coming your way with me and the Happy Thanks gang. So yes! stick around. We're real glad you're there.
We've got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine, and a future chick named a Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine, and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! Yeah! with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. The Princess Tuftoo's coronation parade. Tomorrow she will be 16 and by law become ruler of all Siam. Hush, hush, my pets. You know I will never allow that. As her stepmother, if Tuftu should mysteriously disappear, the throne will be mine. Everything is in readiness, Shazal. Just as you commanded. Excellent, Batlam. And Princess Tuftu? She will be captured tonight and never heard from again. <laughs> Thank you, my people, for this beautiful celebration. Suffering Saturn! Don't tell us we missed 1957 again, Cupcake. Well, we're within a century or two. That's good enough for me. Pull over and I'll, I'll walk the rest of the way. I can get us closer. I know I can. Uh-oh. Yay! Whoops! I thought I could. Hey, when we get back to Milwaukee, Cuppers, I'll give you a few tips on parking. Jumping gyroscope? I guess I really did it this time, Fonzie. Yeah, and as usual, it's up to the Fonz to undo it. Yeah. Hey, the old Fonz really toe-tapped. Comes through again. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Cool. Yeah, well, next time, you know, watch where you're falling, Cunningham, huh? <laughs> What's going on out there? It's a battle! You landed us in the middle of a battle! With no idea which side to surrender to! All right, easy, Ralphie. Don't frazzle your freckles. Cool and me have the situation well in hand. Well, what do you know, Cool? We've got a party going on here. Somebody must have told him the Fonz was in town. Did you say a party, Fonz? A party? But I need time to get ready. My squirting flower. My electric nose. Leaping light years! This is the first happy landing we've had! According to my time band, we're in Siam in 1853. Great! I'll introduce the Joy Buzzer to Siam. I'll go down in history. You did that last year, Ralph. From a C to a C minus. I'll need something special to wear. <laughs> What's wrong with my magic? Oh, no, it's as good as ever, Cupcake. Look. Or as bad as ever. This could ruin my reputation. What about me? Oh, you're beautiful when you're angry, Rich. <laughs> That's more like it. You're telling us. All right, come on, guys. Let's go where the action is. Princess, your stepmother is most anxious to speak with you. Shazal waits for the great fountain. Well, thank you, Batlam. I will go at once. We await your bidding, Batlam. After the princess top two. And make sure you take very good care of her. <laughs> You want to come with us? Let me go. I am the Princess Tuptu. 
Oh, not for long, my dear. Not for long. Stepmother. You silly child. Did you think I would give up the crown so easily? With you out of the way, I will be queen. I don't believe it. Help! Someone help me! Don't just stand there. Bring her back to me at once. Someone, please, help! Who oh, can anyone hear me? Someone, help! Leave these leptons. Did you hear that? You would, Compass. <laughs> I didn't hear anything except my stomach growling. That's not your stomach, Ralph. Yeah. You're standing on Mr. Cool's foot. Oh, so sorry, Cool. Yeah, well, don't be long there, Cupcake. Help me, please! Cosmic Comets, I'm sure I heard something that time. There she is! There's the princess! Help her! A princess? Where? You mean me? Hey, 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 you're making a mistake. You cannot outrun us! We have you now. Not if my fingers have anything to say about it. And if my fingers had anything to say, it would probably be... Moon Craters. If Batlam's men have done their work, the country is as good as mine. <laughs> Somebody, please! Top two! I cannot trust Batlam to do anything. I'll have to deal with top two myself. For you. Please, friends, I beg you to help me. I am in grave danger. What's he talking about? There is no escaping, Shazal. Quick, Cuppers, into the king-size cookie jar. A girl came this way. Where did she go? Sorry, your haughtiness, but that's classified information. You refuse the great Shazal. Well, that was real easy. I just did. Yeah, just yeah. yeah. <sighs> Gods, seize the strangers. Oh, I get it. I get it. Reinforcement. Look out, Fonzie. They're big. Hey, relax, Red. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Bonds, watch it, there's another one. One of these villains gonna learn. You win this time, stranger. Oh, no, 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 uh, my name is Fonzie. But take my word for it. We'll meet again, and next time you won't be so lucky. Hey, luck's got nothing to do with it. It's knowing the moves. It's all right, couples. The coast is clear. Thank you, brave friends. I will never forget your help. Why is she talking so funny, Fonz? Are you all right, couples? I do not know this couples of whom you speak. I am the Princess Tuptu. Princess Tuptu! <laughs> hey, cool it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think she's joking. No? Huh? Yeah. I think what we got here is a case of double trouble. If your friend looks that much like me, I fear Shazal's men may have captured her by mistake. She could be a captive in the palace at this very moment. Red Ralphie, Red, you take the Princess back to the time machine, she'll be safe there. Mr. Cool and I are going to stir some things up at the old palace. You can count on us, Fonz. You're just going to love the time machine, princess. You know, royalty was my first career choice. 
What's the pay like anyway, huh? Wow. I will be the only ruler of Siam. I've told you before. I'll tell you again. I'm not the princess. There's been a mistake. A mistake? The great Shazal makes no mistakes. You're not tough to. Where is she? Well, that's for us to know and you to find out. <laughs> you again? Grab them, Butlum! As you wish, Shazal. We better move to the higher ground, huh? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> The dog. Stop the Fonzie. Hey, cool. We're talking rescue here, and you're goofing off. Will you get over here? All right, Fonzie. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. But um, they're escaping. Ah, Fonzie, how do we get past these iron bars? Easy, Cuppers. It'll be a snap. I should have known. All right, everybody. Now follow the Fonz. Dogs! Dogs! And this princess is the, the what you might call it. What does it do? <laughs> it moves the the thing of a jig. Very scientific, Ralph. You know so much, Ralph. That's right, Your Highness. I practically run this little baby single-handed. Hey! Oh, these are our retractable seats, and that's one of our angrier passengers. Wow! All right, keep moving. This game is called Beat the Guards Back to the Time Machine. Stop them, Fonzazal! Wow, it's Fonzie, and he's found Cupcake. We've got to open the hatch. All right, all right, leave this to the time machine expert, okay? Wow, no! That's the takeoff control! Yeah, I'll give you three guesses whose butterfingers were on a control. Trapped like rats. What do we do now, Fonzie? The time machine's gone, and we can't jump. Talk about your cliffhangers. This time, there will be no escape. We now continue with Fonz and the Happy Days game. So, oh, Fonzie, I have you cornered. You'll never get away now. Hey, where there's a Fonz, there's a way. Oh, I'm in the coup, Fonzie! There's too many of them, Fonzie! Let me handle... <laughs> oh, Fonzie! Oh, what a pretty present. And it's just what I wanted. Sorry, Fonzie. I guess I got us boxed in. Yeah, I'd say this about wraps things up for all three of us. I don't understand. What happened? Ralph pushed the wrong button and tossed us back into the time void. I'll set us down right here. Maybe we haven't gone too far. I hope you're right, Ralph. I do not think this is Siam. I think she's right! Are you sure, Rich? Well... That's a good idea, Rich. Go out and check just to be sure. <sighs> no luck, huh? So, the princess is lost forever. Captured by a strange flying machine. Never to return. <laughs> 
And the kingdom is yours, your eminence. It will be, as soon as I rid myself of these annoying pests. I gotta warn you, Shazzy. You're getting on my nerves. <laughs> well, maybe a little company would calm you. Requests, Fonzie. Oh, yeah. Take a hike. My thoughts exactly, Mr. Fonzarelli. Come, Bartolom. Fonzie, the walk is the rough walk. What are we going to do? Well, that's a very good question, Aunt Coop. And I hope I come up with a very good answer. Yeah. Have you found Siam yet, Ralph? I'm looking, I'm looking. You know, maybe that's my problem. Maybe if I don't look, the old mouth luck will take over. I don't like the sound of this. But I love the sound of that! It's rock and roll! And that's Arnold! It's Milwaukee! We made it! We're home! We're alive! Milwaukee? Please, what is a Milwaukee? It's cheeseburgers and drive-in movies and cheerleaders! Wow. Pizza, rock and roll. Rich, Rich, what are you doing? We can't stay. We've got to find Fonzie. But it's 1957. It's Milwaukee. We found it this time. We can find it again. Oh, no. C couldn't we at least have ordered a milkshake to go? Loose weight shoe. Hot rods. A next spoon and cello. Richie. Hooray for us. Yum. Hey, easy, cool. They think you're a dog biscuit. We're talking bad news here. We haven't got time for this call. Is this somebody's idea of a rescue? I let us right to you, Fuzz! <laughs> Did you know there are alligators down there? Yeah, and unless you want a real close look, Ralph, I advise you to let go of the leather. Oh, oh, sorry, Fuzz. You must be Cupcake. And you must be Top Two. Limpid light years. It's like looking in a mirror. Okay, ladies, enough with the chit-chat. I gotta find a motor that runs this thing before we run out of floor. Right, Rosie. Hey, that's using your head, cool. Hey. All right, now let's see what we can do. Rosie! Hold on to your freckles there, Red. Just one more twist. Perfect mundo! Please, you're, you're embarrassing me. Right! Don't embarrass Randy! <laughs> now, let's make tracks while the making's good. They have escaped! She must have built-in radar or something. I want them, and I want them now! Quickly, follow me! This secret passage 
bridge connects with the river below. Hurry! All right, everybody, you heard the lady. Let's go inside. They came this way. I'm lost. Which way is the time machine? We could ask directions, but this guy's more confused than we are. <laughs> How do I think of him? Oh, give me a break. Looks like that wicked witch of the East has found us again. You'll stand between me and the throne no longer, Fonzie. This time there will be no escape for you. She's all gone to coming. Well, that's our cue to be going. Into this crazy canoe, everybody. Let's go. There we go. Stop them. They must not escape. After them. Get them. And we go any faster? Hey, I'd soup this thing up if I had a little more to work with. I'm feeling a lot better, Fonzie. Maybe I can whip us up an engine. A swamp buggy. She did it. Not bad, Cuppies. One out of 24 adventures ain't bad. Yeah, how about that? I'm back in zapping shape. But your zapping's working for Shazal's men, too. Look! Shazal! What magic? All I know is that I want the princess. And that Fonzie... Go! I guess I'll have to show these yo-yos what the Fonz can do behind a wheel. Hold tight, yeah! Woo-hoo-hoo! After them, master! Whoa! Whoa! Fonzie! Now we're heading right for them! Exactamundo! Turn! Turn! Way to go! But here they come again! Oh, no, we'll never get away from them. Hey, a little confidence, please, Ralphie. I got a plan. And that big rock plays a major part in it. Oh, no! But we'll crash for sure, Bonds. Ye of little faith, Red. Bottom! Guards! They're over here! Quickly! Who is that fancy dick? But, but, Lom! You heard me. <laughs> We are trapped! Incompetent. I'll deal with Ponzi myself. Oh, yeah? Well, it looks like you're a little short-handed to be making threats. You think so? We shall see. Bring them to me! I command you! It's a machine! Yeah! A machine! Yes. Yes, I'm impressed. Reach out and grab him! Hey, reach out and grab somebody else, will you? Hey, you really put your little foot in it this time, huh, stone face? I... I do not believe this! Hey, not so fast, your haughtiness! Ah! Well, Princess, it looks like Siam is all yours again. Yes. Thanks to you, it is all over. Except for a little unfinished business for Mr. Cool. Hey, Rosie! Don't spill it! Now, there's a puppy after my own heart. Right, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> you cutie. up and be cool. This is the Fonz talking to you. There's some high adventure coming your way, Pronto Mundo, on Fonz and the Happy Days gang, so stay tuned. Huh? Doop -a -doop -a -doop. 
We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool and the Good Group. One flaky time machine and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Even if you defeat me, Grimhild, our village will never give in to your demands. We'll find a way to get free of your evil magic. Ha! It will take more than a blacksmith's son to break the power that this magic bracelet gives me. And as for you, Eric... <gasps> what magic is this? Hi! Is this Milwaukee? Well, if it is, Ralph, it looks like a pretty rough neighborhood. Strangers, do you know what happens to someone who interrupts Grimhild in mid-magic? Hey, it couldn't be worse than what happens to someone who interrupts the Fonz on his way to Milwaukee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cuz, what happened to my time machine? Uh, not what, Cupcake? More like who? All right, Grimboat, or whoever you are, we're talking time machine here, not traveling sideshow. Now, how about you and your shaggy dogs putting it back the way it was? And I'm talking pronto. Yeah, fresh and fair, real fresh. No one commands Grimhild. Take him, my pets. Hey, you grimness, you ought to keep these uh, four-footed furry yeah. girls on a leash. Otherwise, they might hurt themselves. Amazing. Your tricks do not impress me, Fonzie. And as for you, Eric, I will deal with you soon enough. Come, my pets. Suffering sunspots? You must be very powerful to stand up to Grimhild's magic. I got my moment. But this place is too dangerous for such a fair maiden. Fair maiden? You mean me? Galloping goosebumps. Maybe 4th century Norway won't be so bad after all. My name is Eric. Pleased to meet you. I'm Cupcake. All oh. right, you two can of hearts and flowers. We got to get our time machine back into shape so we can vamoose out of here. Right, Fonz. Especially the vamoose part. Relax, Ralph. It doesn't look like we're going anywhere for a while. Not with the time machine in this condition. Nothing can break Grimhild's spells, except the power of the other bracelet. You mean there are two of those things? Hey! Isn't one enough? <laughs> Legend says they are a pair, each with its own special powers. Oh, Miss Wolfface there got a hold of one of them, huh? Yes, and our only hope to defeat her is to find its mate. Whoa! <laughs> A second bracelet might even restore your strange house. I think Bubbles are in touch. Oh, Fonzie, we've got to help him. All right, Cuppers, I get the picture. Eric, where's this other bracelet stashed? The legend says it's hidden behind the walls of water. I think that means up the fjord there, somewhere among the cliffs. Yeah, yeah, I could buy that. Yeah, me too. This is so exciting. The wind is with us. I'll lower the sail. You mean like this? Yeah, like this! <laughs> 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 Oops! <laughs> yeah, Ronzi! Yeah, right. Thanks for the hard hat, cool, but I think I'd clash with the leather. We're on our way.
With that second bracelet, I could be invincible. We'll follow them, my pet. Perhaps they can lead us to it, if they survive the voyage. <laughs> Comets! I'll bet that Grimhild is behind the storm. Whoa! Find the bright side in this situation, Rich. I dare you. Well, it could be raining. Sorry I mentioned it. Fonzie, we must do something or we'll smash on the rocks. Relax, Eric. I'll get things under control with my 25th century magic. That's one word for it. You're not only beautiful, you're a mighty sorceress, too. Mighty sorceress? You know, Eric, I think we're gonna get along just fine. I'll save us this time for sure. Oh, my God, Fonz, we're gonna crash! All right there, Cunningham, don't get your freckles in a bundle. Fonz has this situation under control. Are you all magicians? Sure. Take me, for instance. Put me in a boat and I uh, turn green. Other times he just turns yellow. <laughs> all right, this looks like the end of the line. Let's get this quest in gear. <laughs> I hope we find the walls of water before Grimhild finds us. All right, Eric, spill the plan. I think we'll find the bracelet in the old castle ruins at the top of the cliff. Although it could be hidden in the ice caves near the shore. If we split up, Fonz, we can check both places at the same time. I'll check out the ice caves. All right, Red. Eric and me will take the high ground. The ice cave! Uh, uh, good idea, Rich. I'm with you. Gee, Ralph, it was terrific the way you jumped in to help me look for the bracelet. Why not, Rich? After all, we're not gonna find anything down here. Huh? Hans and Eric will find the bracelet, and they'll have to deal with Grimhild. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Ralph. Look, Fonzie. The castle ruins. Ominous asteroids. This doesn't even look like a nice place to visit. But it would be just the place to find a powerful magic bracelet. Right, Eric's talking sense there. Brave up, cool, and warm up that sniffer. Right, Randy! <laughs> Yo, cool. Yeah. We're talking serious tracking here. is the only way out, my pets. Once Eric and his friends have the other bracelet, we will have them! <laughs> Come on, Ralph. These ice caves have got to count as walls of water. So the magical bracelet's got to be around here someplace. Sure, Rich. And we want to find it so the wolf lady will take a more personal interest in us. Hey, what's this? Funny place to put a door handle. Oh. Ralph, come on. I'll, I'll be there in a, in a minute, Rich. As soon as I get this thing loose. What happened to... Uh-oh. Hey, Ralph, are you coming or... What bracelet? All right, you two check that end of this dump. Or me and Cool will go over here. And we gotta find that bracelet and split before old Grim person shows up and spoils the party. It is too late for that, Fonzie. I am here, and you are all in my power. Take them, my pets. Oh. Hold it, you witness. Don't ask your furry friends there to do anything that they might live to regret. 
On the contrary, the regrets will be all yours. Ha 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 ha! Blink and lift us. We're trapped. There's no way out. All right, everyone, just be cool. There is always a way out. I sincerely hope. Me too. <laughs> hey, you see what I mean? You cannot escape me that easily, Fonzie. Come on, Rob. What have you got back there? That, that's for me to know and Grim Hill to find out. I, I mean... <laughs> Fonz! Cupcake! Eric! Oh, sorry, cool. Now, that's fun with me. Where did you guys come from? Hey, it's a long story, Ralph, but the short version is we got company. We're talking unwelcome company. So, you think to elude me in these ice caves? I'll go haunt a house. Yeah! <laughs> well, think again. I'm thinking you grim nose, and I think we'll split. All right, everybody, move out of here. Let's go. After them, my pets. <laughs> Master Rich, our mothers didn't raise us to be wolf burgers. <laughs> There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh. oh, my gosh! Light is all that's at the end of this tunnel. It's a dead end. It is for you. You've meddled in my affairs long enough, Eric. Everybody go! Eric, he's gone! And as for the rest of you... Ha, 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 ha,
Maybe it likes me. <laughs> Cosmic calamities! There's no time for that now! We've got to find Eric! Frank Cuppers, but Miss Popularity didn't leave no forwarding address. Good point, Fonz. Where could they have gone? I don't know, Rich. But, but I think the bracelet does. Eric said it would give its wearer strange powers. Come on, everybody! Follow the mouth! <clears throat> yeah, well, with Ralph wearing it, they'll be strange, all right. What are we gonna do, Fonz? Al, there's only one thing to do, Red, and that's follow mouth. But we better do it. Very, very carefully. Don't worry, everybody. I'll lead us to Eric. Look out! Ah! Whoa! Neptune's moons just lead us out of this creepy forest. You know, Cupcake, somehow I get the idea that Mr. Cool shares your feelings. Hello! <laughs> Relax, guys. If any trouble comes up, me and Fonz will handle it. The Fonz part doesn't bother me. It's the me and part that's got me worried. I don't know how you escaped the ice caves, but you are trespassing on my territory. Be warned. Oh, back off there, Miss Wolfred. The Fonz does all the warning around here. Can you dig it? What have you done with Eric? Don't worry. He's in safekeeping, my dear. Though I doubt he'll be safe much longer. <laughs> In the meantime, I've come for what is rightfully mine. The other bracelet. Oh, please, yes, take it. It'll look great on you. In this, I shall be mistress of the world. Uh, why, you... I didn't do it! Honest! You'll pay for that. All of you. This forest of thorns will keep you company. Very close company. <laughs> Cosmic calamities. Don't worry, gang. Yeah, Ralph will handle it. Hey, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Whoa! Did, did somebody get the number of that truck? Take it easy there, Ralph. Being a hero takes practice. I should know. Yeah, we should know. <laughs> Rex! Where is he? Whoa! Creeping cosmos! The thorn tree just turned to dust! Pulling it out of the ground must have broken Grimhild's spell. I guess you are a hero, Ralph. Well, since you're a friend, Rich, you can have my autograph at a special discount price. Thanks a lot, Ralph. All right, look, we'll pass out the medals later, all right, guys? First, we gotta tackle Grimstuff's welcoming committee. Got any ideas, hot stuff? Uh, I, th I think I should take a break and let you do some heroing for a change. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence there, Ralph. Suffering Saturn. Be careful, Fonz. Relax, Red. I can handle these overgrown greyhounds faster than you can say, Ole Mundo! Yay, Rosie! Ah ah <coughs> me too! Me, 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 me! Yeah, well, all right, cool. Give it your best shot. But be very careful, pal. Nice going, Fonz. That's all in the quest's work. Now, how about Grimhild? And Eric? I, I think we're getting close. Whoa! Here we go again. Galloping Gravitrons! Is that where Grimhild's got Eric? It looks like her kind of hangout. Let's move in for a better look. You will never conquer my people, Grimhild, no matter how powerful you become. Defiant to the last, my little hero. How unfortunate that you won't be present to witness my ultimate triumph! 
cosmic calamities. Foxy, we've got to save Eric and fast! Save the fireworks for later, Compass, but Fonz has a plan. Right, Fonz. So does the mouth. Uh, um, uh, cease and desist. Well, what have we here? It's Ralph Mouth, hero at large. Let that Viking go and come out with your hands up. The other bracelet. Whatever you say, hero. You're taking this surrender really well. You are the one who will do the surrendering. Give me that bracelet. Come on, bracelet. Do your stuff. Uh-oh. Well, after all, it's just a piece of jewelry. Come on, Ralph. You've gone this far. Now stand your ground. Oh, get no, her, Ralph. Get her, Ralph. Come on, you go, Ralph. Ah. Uh, oh. On second thought, you can't have it. Then you have sealed your own doom. <laughs> Not as long as I've got my Ralph Mouth doom deflector. We shall see, little man. I guess that's the way the boulder crumbles. <laughs> Don't worry, Eric. I'll have you loose in a nanosecond. Flowers? Cupcake, your magic is truly strange and wonderful. Well, one out of two isn't bad. The bracelet! Now! I told you! I can't get it all! The bracelet! Somebody grab it quick! The bracelet is mine! Oh no! She's got the bracelet! Oh yes! Total power is mine at last! <laughs> Cupcake, you took the words right out of my mouth. No, to, to deal, deal with, with this, this meddling, meddling Ponzi. <laughs> Hold on to your horns there, Grim Stuff. We got a pretty hot sorceress of our own. We have? Who? Oh. That's our cupcake, always modest. Make me some magic at the lady cuppers. But Ponzi! Confidence, Cupcake. I got a plan working here, remember? Well, okay. Take this, you Stone Age sorceress! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Quadruple moon craters! <laughs> this, this is, is no, no sorceress. sorceress! Oh, yeah? I bet you can't do that. Of course, of course I, I can. can! Shrink up small like that? I doubt it. You, you fool! With, with these, these bracelets, bracelets I, I can, can do, do anything! <laughs> anything but keep your jewelry on, huh, little person? I have been tricked. Well, so much for the Wicked Witch of the North. You did it! She's the yeah. You did it, Fonzie! Hey, Fonzie! She's defeated! Cupcake, you will perfect the mundo. Eric. See if you can keep these things out of trouble, all right? Grimhild's power is broken, my village is free, and the spell on your strange house is broken, too. Well, what are you gonna do with those glow-in-the-dark bracelets? Their power was too dangerous, Fonzie. So I melted them down to make a present for my heroine. Leaping light years, Eric. You shouldn't have. It's just a little something to remember me by. All the magic's gone out of it. Well, maybe most of the magic, anyway. <laughs> <laughs>
hands at your service here. Hey, don't miss the exciting action coming your way with me and the Happy Dakes gang. So stick around. We're real glad you're there. We got it all together now, gang. The Boss. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine, and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine, and they're like traveling through time. My, my! They do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! Lights and leptons! The temporal transducer is out of alignment again! How about that, Rich? Pup Pink actually knows what's wrong with the time machine for a change. Right, Ralph, but can she fix it? Sure I can. If somebody will help me open this thing. Me, I'm a better rich Thanks, Mr. Cool. <laughs> Mr. Cool, are you all right? Sure he is, or he will be after an expertly placed Fonzarelli tote bag. Marvelous meteors, Fonzie. You fix everything. Cooler with the praise there, Compass. I embarrass you, you know. <laughs> hey, what do we got here? A 25th century mirror? Temporal transistors. Your toe tap must have activated the interior monitor. Well, whatever it is, it looks like the Fonz could use a haircut. Hey, yo, guy. You snapped, Fonz? Okay, volunteers to give the Fonz a trim front and center. You mean a haircut? Well, that's real noble of you to volunteer there, Cunningham. Huh? But, but Fonz, if I mess up your hair, you'll mess up my face. Relax, Red. <laughs> yeah, Rich, you'll pick it up in no time. <laughs> that's right, Ralphie, because he's going to practice on you. Huh? Yeah, uh... He is? Yeah, well, I'm on the Uh, uh, well, uh, I guess he is. Uh, oh, I, I, I can't do it, Fonz. The, the, the chair isn't high enough. Oh, no problem, Ricky. Mr. Cool, no, that's the ejection ray lever. Whoa! Huh? They've been transporterized. And according to the time readout, they've landed in 57. Hey, congrats, Cuppers. You finally found 1957. Uh, sorry, Fonzie. Not 1957, just plain 57. D.C. D.C. B.C. That could mean big catastrophe for Richie and Ralph. We gotta set this hunk of junk down and find them. Right, Fonzie. They're somewhere in the neighborhood of the ancient Rome. Rich, what happened to the time machine? Even more important, what's gonna happen to us? King Dallas and his people are defending the walls of their city. It will be a tough fight, General Maximus. My army will crush them, Centurion. And once we capture the city, Princess Claudia will be forced to marry me, and her father's kingdom will be mine. The troops await your order, Maximus. Even the new recruits. I don't know about you, Rich, but the only order I'm waiting for is a hamburger and fries. Legions, I command you, storm the city and capture the princess. in a walled city. A walled city? Help! Someone help me, please! 
Hey, even better, we're within swashbuckling range of a damsel in distress. I might have known. Hang on to your pigtails there, beautiful lady. Help is on the way. Lovely lady, I'll protect you like you've never seen. All right, you two, you're dealing with the Fonz now. Fonz! Thank goodness! Mouth! Cunningham! It's all right, your loveliness, they're with me. Or they will be once they explain why they're dressed up in tin suits, chasing defenseless chicks. It wasn't our idea, Fonz. Honest. Yeah, it was theirs. It's just Claudia belongs to me. Stand aside. Hey, what are you, nuts? So the Fonz don't stand aside for nobody. You shall see about that. Teach this barbarian a lesson. With pleasure, Maximus. Hey, stand back while I teach these guys. Who's the teacher? I'd better give Fonzie a hand with those brutes. Oh, no! <laughs> Very decorative couples. The only thing missing is the red carpet. Enough of these distractions. Take care of this impudent stranger. Friends, Romans, countrymen, get lost. You won't stop Julius Maximus so easily. No, it'll even be easier. Comments will do you no good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, what about my idle drapes? Don't pay for this, I swear it. I'll get the princess if I have to take this town apart brick by brick. Then you better get going, Maxie, and the Fonz is going to give you a snappy send off. You saved my daughter. I am forever in your debt. This is my father, King Gallus. Maximus will stop at nothing to gain control of father's lands. Oh, yeah? Well, he's going to stop at me. Arthur Fonz really at your serve. And these are my friends here, Richie and Ralph. Without their metal long, John. Cupcake. And that wonderful little pup over there is Mr. Koo. <coughs> I am grateful to you all. Ask anything, and it shall be yours. How about three first-class tickets to Milwaukee? Ralph. OK, OK. I'll settle for coach. Come. We shall have food and drink and celebration. Hey, music to my ears. Are you enjoying the banquet, Cupcake? Not half as much as some people I know. <laughs> Is this something to celebrate about or not, huh, Mr. Cool? Right, Ronnie. Whoopee! Ah, oh, bark, bark! Boy, that Fonz is something. He finds girls wherever we stop. I think it's the other way around, Ralph. They find him. Well, maybe if we order some food, they'll find us too. Food! Bring food for the heroes! Oh, boy, Rich. Any second now, we'll be surrounded by beautiful chicks. Food for the heroes. Uh, Rich, maybe you better order the second course. Princess Claudia will be mine if I have to reduce that city to rubble. I see the weapon ready. At your command, Maximus. Excellent. My revenge will be terrible. Especially for that leather-jacketed barbarian called Fonzie. Prepare the battering ram! Maximus and his army have returned. Either that, or King Kong's in the neighborhood. Whoa! We will batter through the wall eventually, Maximus. Excellent. 
soon the city and Princess Claudia will be mine. The Romans are breaking through our walls. My city is doomed. Don't worry, everybody. I know how to handle that oversized door knocker. Everybody, follow the bonds. Right. And fast. Quickly, my people. This way. The stairs lead to the catacombs where we can hide. After the men, Claudia and the strangers must not escape. At your command, Maximus. After the princess. Come on, you two. They're right behind us. Nice work, Cup. It's all you gotta do is put your mind to it. Her mind is okay, Fonz, but her fingers get us into trouble every time. Fonz, what's a subway train doing here? Hey, let's not stick around to find out. <laughs> Everybody, head for the nearest exit. After them, men. Well, I guess we know what happened to the soldiers. Cosmic Comets. Sorry, guys. Sometimes, Cupcake, sorry isn't enough. I'll never use my magic again. Cross my 25th century heart. There they are. We've got them now. He's right. It's a dead end. We're trapped. I never thought I'd say this, Cupcake. But please use your magic. Uh-uh, Ralph. Never again. You're cornered now, barbarians. Well, maybe just one more little zap. They disappeared. It is magic. You did it, Cupcake. You got us away from those soldiers. Ah! Oh, do, do you suppose that trick works with lions, too? Look, Fonzie. There's light up ahead. Easy there, your loveliness. Last time that happened, it was a subway train. Me and Cool will check it out first. Yeah! We'll bring it out, Fonzie! Looks like it's all clear there, Claudia. Yikes! All clear for me, Fonzie, but dark for you. These catacombs are full of surprises. Yeah! Who has the last laugh, Maxi Taxi? And I sure hope it's us, pal. All right. <laughs> As you can now see, Princess, nothing stands between me and control of your country except our wedding. I will never marry you. Once we get to Rome, you will do exactly as I tell you. It's for that barbarian Fonzie. He'll be treading water for as long as he lives. We gotta get out of here, Mr. Cool. Right, Fonzie. Because this water ain't doing nothing good for my leather. Come on. Okay, Pooch. Everybody, out of the pool. Ready, Fonzie. Nice navigating there. Aye, <laughs> But we'd better get a move on. There's a beautiful girl to rescue and three friends to find. In a situation like this, there's something better than magic. What's that, Richie? Running like crazy! Come on, feet. Don't just stand there. Run! <laughs> nice kitty. I can't look. 
Oh, please don't eat me. I don't want to know what it feels like to be an Arnold's hamburger. <laughs> you want me to, to pull the thorn out? Sorry, I don't make house calls. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, here it goes. After all I've done for you, this is the thanks I get? Ralph, there you are. Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. Ralph Mouth isn't afraid of man or beast. One look at me and that big pussycat ran off with its tail between its legs. Right, right Ralph. Ralph. This looks like the end of the line. <laughs> But maybe we can turn it into our way out of this underground swimming hole. How? Come on, little buddy, just follow the fines. Hey, me first, how far they please me? All right, cool, you first. <laughs> yay! Yay! Just watch your step, puppy. <laughs> Will you cut out the comedy, cool? We got a rescue work in here. Right. <laughs> and from the look of things, it's going to be a long distance rescue. Let me go! Your resistance is useless, Princess. You will be married as soon as we reach Rome, and your father's kingdom will be as good as mine. <laughs> look! Maximus is leaving town with Claudia. He can't get away with that. It's un American. We've got to stop him. Hold on, Rich. Maybe we'd better leave the rescuing to Fonzie. He might resent us moving in on his turf. Ralph, it's all right. I've got a plan. And all it needs to succeed is a little cupcake magic. Lifting lift ups? My magic? Rich, I thought you said it would be all right. I won't let you down, Richie, with just one zap of my 25th century magic. I'll rescue that princess from that Roman ruffian. <laughs> How did I get up here with you, kids? Whoa! Seize these barbarians and lock them in a cage. And while you're at it, you could hang an out-of-order sign on her. Oh, my aim was a little off. What do you want from me? Perfection? Uh, I'd settle for revenge. This ought to hold you until we get to Rome. Oh, no! Please don't lock me in here. I don't travel well. See, here's a note from my mommy. Tell that to the lions at the Coliseum. That's where you're going. Looks like old Maxi Mess has grabbed everybody but us, cool. We gotta get this rescue on a roll. Right, Randy! <laughs> Yo, let's have some wheels over here on a double. Hey, look at this. A stripped-down, one-horsepower convertible perfecto mundo. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, cool. You just got yourself a pointed navigator. So how about finding us a map? A map? Okay, Randy. Hey, looks like you came back with the giant economy <laughs> side. Yikes! Hey, I asked for a map, not a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Next stop, Rome. All right, let's go. <laughs> Centurion, prepare the wedding feast and the games. My bride awaits. I will never be your bride. Would you rather see your friends thrown to the lions? He's bluffing, Claudia. Don't listen to him. <laughs> ah! Listen to him, Claudia. I don't want to spend the rest of my life as a between-meal snack. I... I will do as you say. Excellent. Take the prisoners to our most comfortable cell. And then see they get better acquainted with the lions. <laughs> Somebody, get me room service. When I asked for a room with a view, I didn't think it would be a view of iron bars. Don't worry, Ralph. I'll fix those bars right now. Sure, Cupcake. But when are you gonna fix your fingers? Sorry, guys. 
I guess I'm just not at my best in this century. Relax, guys. Just leave everything to the mouth. My Captain Daylight combination secret passage opener and flashlight will have us out of here in no time. Wasn't that terrific? Nice work, Ralph. Now let's find Princess Claudia. Just follow the mouth. Hey, sounds like a party. And we're not invited, so come on. But, Rich, crashing parties is one of my favorite sports. Ralph. Uh, uh, right, Rich. This isn't uh, quite the kind of party I had in mind. <gasps> my friends. You're just in time for our wedding entertainment, barbarians. Entertainment? Gee, Rich, maybe this won't be so bad after all. Release the lion! It's not gonna be bad, Ralph. It's gonna be horrible. Why, it's old thorn in the paw. Relax, guys. Just leave this to macho mouth. But, Ralph! My powers over animals is amazing, even to myself. Trust me, Rich. I trust you, Ralph. I, I just don't trust him. Rich, he's a pussycat. Make this look good, remember? You owe me one. See? Nothing to it! <laughs> oh, hi! Uh-oh. If you're there, then who's here? That answers my first question. My second question is, where's Baldi? Stand tall, gang. The Fonz is arrived. Bad timing, Mr. Cool. <laughs> Real bad timing. Easy there, Red. I'll take it from here. <laughs> All right, you overgrown alley cat. Now you're facing the fine. And now you're facing life imprisonment. Yo, Cool. Let's get on with the rescue. <laughs> Now, try to stay out of trouble till I get back. Keep the motor running, pal. I won't be long. Oh, I hoped you'd come for me. I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd swing by. Come back with my bride-to-be! Sorry, Max. See, the lady's got other plans. Ready my war chariot. <laughs> ah! Witness special equipment. That Fonzie is doomed. Fonzie, Maximus is gaining on us. Uh-oh. Old Bluster Breath won't be gaining anything from the Fonz except the driving lesson. Giddy up there, horsey. After them, faster! Let's see old minibus follow this act. Whoa, no! No leather-jacketed barbarian can outdrive Maximus. Whoa! All right, Fonzie. Shooting stars. Yeah. I guess you could say Maximus is all washed up. <laughs> right, Fon. In more ways than one. <laughs> Hey, 
listen up and be cool. This is the Fonz talking to you. Here's some high adventure coming your way, Pronto Mundo, on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang, so stay tuned, man. Eh? We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool and the Good Group. One flaky time machine and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. I've heard that before. Oh, but this time it's 1957 Milwaukee for sure. And I've heard that before. I'll just set us down gently. Uh-oh. Yeah, we've all heard that before. Not enough people take this kind of pride in their labors. I did it, Grubsley. I took care of it just like you told me to. Ah, scurvy mutton, my loyal associate. Good work. Yup. Pauline will never be able to pay off that mortgage now. <laughs> uh, is that good? For me, it is. With her out of the way, this property is now mine. <laughs> That's the biggest bird I ever did see, Grimsley. You fool, that's no bird, it's a, uh, a thing. And since it's on my property, it's my thing. Uh, I've got a feeling that isn't Milwaukee out there. Or 1957. Cup, why don't you just punch up that time band of yours and at least clue us in, you know? Sure, right, Fonzie. Uh, it looks like Ralph's right. We're in Canada's North Woods in 1898. Oh, no! Well, at least we're on the right continent for a change. Oh, Bonds, we're, we're moving. Yeah, yeah, I'm right with you, Cunningham, and I'm going to find out why. Oh, it's me, me, Randy, me. Yeah, all right, cool. It's all yours. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks, Randy. Hey, looks like you're getting the hang of it, pal, huh? Cool, wait. We're moving here, remember? Oh, uh... <laughs> Who are you, and what are you doing in my thing? First of all, this thing is ours. <laughs> Second of all, the name is Arthur Fonzarelli Fonzi or the Fonz. And that one with me means the Robert Jacob means Pooh. All right, now. Who oh, are you? Grimsley Gladewater III and my associate, Scurvy Mutton. I'm Scurvy. Yeah, I had my suspicion. Your machine landed on my property, which makes it my machine. His machine? Oh, not when my 25th century powers get through with him. Not that. Not your magic. Oh, no. The cool. Yikes! Oh, Grimsley, look what's coming. <laughs> Nothing my tax collector pose can't handle. You've done it again, Cuppers. Congrats. Well, oh, I'll stop it, Grimsley. That's all right, Scurvy. It's heading toward town anyway. Cupcake, have you got anything to say for yourself? Except moon craters. No, that about sums it up. Yeah, cool. I heard that, too. And I know a damsel in distress when I hear one. But, Fonz, our time machine is running away from home. Damsel's first, Ralph. Time machine's later. Come on. Right, Rosie. You heard the Fonz. There's a girl in trouble. 
And I'll bet she's young and pretty and blonde. Hey, do you think so? Wait for me, Fonz. I'm right behind you. My magic worked better. I'd give them such a zap. <laughs> Moon craters. Oh, my gosh, Fonz. There's a girl out there in a barrel. Help! And she needs help. And look what she's heading for. A waterfall. Help! Anything else you feel obliged to point out there, Cunningham, or can we get this rescue on the road? No, I think that's about everything. You can go ahead now, Fonz. Thank you very much. That's okay, Fonz. I can help Fonzie. Watch! A garden hose? Sure, that's all the lady needs, Cup, is more water. Sizzling sunspots. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe I can use this thing after all. Lovely voice, help is on the way. I'm in the tomb, tomb. <laughs> quickly, the waterfall. I specialize in quickly, also fast, too sweet, and frontum mundo. How perceptive of you. I was right, blonde. Uh -oh. yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Something just fell out of the sky. Oh, yeah, that's just Mr. Cool. He'll do anything to compete with Ralph for laugh. <laughs> Uh, aren't you gonna introduce us, Fawn? Me? Yeah, oh, sure, right. This is my very good friend, Richie. Ralph, Cupcake. Fonzie, Fonzie! Oh, and of course, Mr. Cool, the greatest pup in the world. <laughs> and this, for your looking and listening pleasure, is, uh, is, uh... Pauline. Pauline, true love. Yeah. And I don't know what I would have done without you. Well, I, I hear that a lot. Say, uh... What's a nice girl like you doing in a barrel like that? Oh, that's easy to explain. I just happen to have my scrapbook with me. Move in closer, and I'll tell you the whole story. This is getting embarrassing. It begins with Grimsley Gladewater. The third. The third. And his evil associate, Scurvy Mutton. The first. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully the last. <laughs> Thanks a lot. They're the ones who put me in the barrel to go over the fall. All because I wouldn't marry Grimsley. So now he's foreclosed on my house and left me penniless. <laughs> well, if that creepo swamp water thinks he's going to get away with this, he's underestimating the fun. Now, Cunningham, you and Cuppers take Pauline somewhere, she'll be safe. Oh, the Mounties have always been nice to me. Maybe they'd let us stay at their fort. Hey, yeah, that's worth a try. Meanwhile, me and Cool will drift into town and have a talk with this uh, Bilgewater character. Rosie, uh, uh, I mean, the Bugwatchie Dickles have ever been there the Bowie! Oh, yeah, you gotta forgive him. He's got a weakness for blondes and <laughs> brunettes <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> redheads. All right. Stay here? Why, of course you can, Pauline. Our fort is your fort. Why, thank you, Captain. If you two young men will just sign here. What's this for? Well, it's probably like checking at a hotel, Rich. There you go, my man. Now, if you'll just show us to our rooms. Uniforms? Wear them with pride, men. I don't think we checked in, Ralph. I think we signed up. We're Mounties. For the next 20 years. My heroes! Cupcake, do something! I'll write every day, Ralph! Moon craters. I think we found the place, Cool. How much do those orphans owe us, Scurvy? Uh, 40 cents, Grimsley. I don't care if it's four cents. A debt is a debt. Throw them into the street. And their mothers, too. Oh, my stinky man! I agree, Cool. I can't believe this. Let's see what kind of rat we're dealing with. Well, what do we got here? 
You know, for a guy that big, you've got an awfully short memory, pal. Who are you? Whoa! I'm gonna remember that! Yeah, and don't you forget it. <laughs> this way, cool, we got business to discuss. So, Fonzie, we meet again. Well, that's right there, crimpy swamp water. The third. I suspect you've come about your machine. And the property of Pauline True Love. You got it? Hey! That's exactly right. I've got it. And I'm going to keep it. Please note. And that's what I call very fine print here. It says unless Pauline pays off the mortgage, her land and everything on it is mine. <laughs> So everything is nice and legal. And unless you can come up with the $50... I get the picture. OK, you! Whoa! Hey, good work, puppy. Next time, pick on a pup your own size. Come on, cool. Let's see how Pauline's doing at the fort. The fort, eh? I can't take a chance on losing that property. You take care of Fonzie and that dog. I have business at the fort. Oh, you can count on me, Grizzly. Come on, Ralph, march. We're supposed to be guarding this fort. I am guarding it, Rich. Only I'm guarding it a section at a time. Yeah? Well, that section's been secure for the last hour. I believe in being thorough, Rich. <laughs> now, let me see. Where would I find Pauline? <laughs> be careful, Pauline. You never know where Grimsley Gladewater might be. <laughs> Well, at least now we know where he is. <laughs> Ralph, it's Grimsley, and he's got Pauline. Quick, call the Mounties. Ralph, we are the Mounties. I guess I'll have to handle this myself. Take this, Grimsley Gladewater. Hurry, Ralph. What's this? Perilous Plutons. I did it again. Uh, at least these clown suits fit better than our Mountie uniforms. Ralph. That is not a bright side. I can't believe this. I'm all turned around here, cool. Which way's the fort from the sawmill? Hmm. I don't know, Randy. Randy, Randy, Randy! Don't poke the leather, cool. Oh, oh it's scurvy mutton as I live and breathe. Not for long, Fonzie. <laughs> Whoa! Look now, puppy, but I think we're about to turn into wood paneling. No use fainting like that, Pauline. It won't save you. Not if the train from Moose Jaw Creek is on schedule. Yes! Yes! <laughs> it's nice to know there are still some things you can count on. <laughs> I'm so bad. Shame on me. Oh, my gosh. That's Pauline down there on the tracks. That's her, all right. What a knockout. Ralph! Richie! Look! It's a train! Yeah, that'd be my guess. We gotta stop it and save Pauline. <laughs> Not a scurvy has anything to say about it. <laughs> this three will take care of them. Go on! Hey, what can we do? with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Oh, my gosh. This is terrible. That train is going to spell bad news for that ingenue unless we stop it. Oh, craters! First, Rich, I think we got to stop that train. If it's this bad for us, I hope Fonzie's OK. You know, Puppy, I thought we'd run into some real villains before, but this Glade Water and Scurvy are about as low as you can go. Oh, no! Hey, don't worry. The Fonz always has a rescue at his fingertips. It's about time we turn things around. Okay, cool. Abandon Lodge. Are you okay, pal? Oh. Uh oh. 
You crazy doggy, what a sense of humor. Yeah, I had a million of them. What are we gonna do? It's up to me. And I'm up to the challenge. You did it. You stopped the tree in midair. Come on, guys. I don't know how long my magic will hold it. Not long enough, Cupcake. What can I say? Goodbye might be nice. The train! We're too late! Terrible time warps! Who can save Pauline True Love now? Well, oh, that's an entrance cue if I ever heard one. Fonzie! Yeah, the situation looks bad, but not hopeless. We just need a volunteer to get Pauline. Oh, me, 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 me. And I elect Arthur Fonzarelli. Hey. Well, at least he won fair and square. I, oh, I don't know how to thank you. Are you open to suggestions? Your thanks are thanks enough there, Pauline. So that's why Grimsley Gladewater wants Pauline's property so badly. There's a new railroad line going right through here. A new railroad? Yeah, and your property's gonna be worth a fortune. We gotta find a way to pay off that mortgage. Now, where are we gonna get 50 bucks? Buzz, look! There was another poster under that one. Annual dog sled race. $50 to the winner. Dog sled race? Don't you need winter for that? Oh, winter comes quickly up here. You ain't whistling Dixie. Yes, I'm the head of the race committee. But how does that concern you? We want to enter, you know what I mean? But you need a dog team, and you can't afford it. I just happen to have the best dog team in the business. All wrapped up in one fabulous pooch. Yeah, bow up, Mr. Cool. Hey! Yikes! Yeah. <laughs> here, here. Take it, please. Ah. You're in the race, number 13. Good luck. <laughs> Doesn't look good, does it, Ponce? Yeah, well, he who laughs, 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 Rich. Huh? huh? Well, something like that. Come on, will you? I can't take a chance on that Fonzie character winning the race. Well, you want me to break his sled, Grimsley? No, you don't. I want you to enter the race, too, and win. <laughs> me win? Oh, Grimsley, I never won nothing before in my life. But this time, I'm the judge. Gee, Fon, this is really kind of exciting. Hey, just keep your freckles crossed there, Red. This sled ain't no motorbike. Here's a kiss. Boy, look. You show them, Fonzie. Girls, 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 you know. They remind me to enter dog sled races more often. <laughs> Well, maybe we should have entered, too. Gentlemen, take your places for the race. Places, please. Okay, Mr. Cool. Mush you, puppy. Well, 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 look who's here. Dropout, well, you still can, Fonzie. The Fonz don't approve of dropout. Yeah, that's Mr. Cool. <laughs> On your marks, get set. What is this? He didn't say go yet. Hey, bucko, that's not fair. We demand a new start. Sorry, chumps, but I think this start is your finish. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, we'll just see about that. Yo, cool. Go cool. Yeah, rush for it, rush for it, rush for it. Go, oh, go, oh, go, you oh, can do oh, it. Oh, come on. Now for part two of my master plan. Oh, this is going to be good. Again, Ralph. Well, at least he's got good taste. There's only one chance. Richie! I know, Ralph. I know. I don't know what's wrong with my fingers. 
Yes, they're all thumbs, that's what. I wish I'd said that, Rich. You will, Ralph. You will. That's it, cool. We're getting on a mow those cute little feet of yours. So, he thinks he can catch up, does he? Well, I know a shortcut. He'll never follow me onto the river. That way, Cooley's taking a shortcut across the river. Cool, watch this. Hey. Sound too good, huh? Uh -huh. Get out of this one, Fonzie! That'll be easy, Scurvy! I'll just follow you. Oh no! We're both trapped! Those are the brakes. But Grimsley Glade Water. The third, Pauline, the third. But without the horse, we're trapped up here. Correction, my dear. Without the horse, you're trapped. Down there! Someone help me! Help! No one can help you now, Pauline. True love and this deed to your property is all mine. Help! Help! Pauline, put on the brakes! Wagons like that don't have brakes, Rich. What do they have? Accidents. Help! Where's Fonzie? Somebody help me! Grimsley, I'm trapped! Oh, I'll run you around, Rodney! All right, Mr. Cool, brave up. Okay, Mr. Rodney. Somebody help! You know, if there's anything I can't stand, it's a whining villain. Must be around here somewhere. Yeah, that looks like a Fonzarelli wrap up, all right. There he is! Fonzie! You've got to save Pauline! What again? Help! Looks like it's up to us, pal. Hold tight. Yeah! Mr. Cool! Now, Pauline, we gotta do something about these situations you keep getting into. It just ain't healthy, you know? You saved me and won the race. You're a hero. That's my Randy. Hey, what can I say? You're right. Yeah, that's what I can say. Hey, you're right. Okay, you, you, you. Why, thank you. That's the nicest thing anyone said to me in some time. You buzzed your last saw, bucko. Oh, yeah? Who says so? The fun says so, Dishwater. He's right, Dishwater. He says so. I think you are bluffing. And I think you're all wet, Rainwater. <laughs> all right, fun. How about that, Rich? A Grimsley sickle. I believe $50 was the balance on that account, right? And here you go, little lady. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Curses wild again. Great galaxy, this all worked out terrific. Pauline gets her property back, she'll sell it for a fortune. And we can get the time machine and go home to 1957 Milwaukee. So there you are, men. Oh, uh, hi, Captain. We can go home all right, Ralph in about 20 years. That's okay, guys. It looks like Fonzie will be busy until then anyway. Oh, come on, now cut it out, will you, please? Wait, wait, stop. This is really too much. Hey, Robbie! Baba Mimi!
finds at your service here. Hey, don't miss the exciting action coming your way with me and the Happy Thanks Gang. So stick around. We're real glad you're there. We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine, and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine, and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not think where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. We might as well face it, Rich. We're never gonna see Milwaukee again as long as we live. Not see Milwaukee again? That's ridiculous, Ralph. Just look how smoothly everything's going now. Richie's right, Ralph. Cheer up. Everything's great. Maybe now, but just wait. <laughs> Cosmic calamities! See what I mean? What's going on out here? Randy, I tell you, it's going to be one crisis after another for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Do something. Can't a guy catch a little shut eye without the three of you finding new trouble to get into? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool enough with the waterworks. Cake. Might as well accept it, Rich. We're living in a disaster movie. Just be careful which buttons you're pushing and pulling there, Cuppers. It's okay, Fonzie. This has to be the right one. Cuppers, something tells me that isn't the right one. Oh, me too. I'm immune to panic. Nothing could surprise me now. And it gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner of the 1913 Around the World Race will receive this solid gold bumming cup. Oh, my gosh. Fonzie, where are we? I don't know, Red, but I do know the Fonz don't like it. Uh-oh, teensy-weensy. Terrible time warps. Now I remember why I wasn't supposed to pull that lever. Yeah? Why? Well, isn't it obvious, Rich? We're not even knee-high to a spark plug. Uh, Rich, remember how I wasn't gonna panic anymore? Yes, Ralph? I lied! <laughs> Easy on a panic there, Ralph. You are rocking the boat. Yay! Yay! Don't worry, everybody. I can zap us back to size. First things first. The time machine's my only chance to get back to Milwaukee as a 38 regular. Ralph, get back here on a double. I'll get him, Fonzie. Oh, no! Somebody get this off me! Let go of that loving cup. It's mine. I mean, it will be mine. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please! Release it, you hear? Hey, make it let go of me. Maybe I can help. <laughs> Well, that's better. No one gets their hands on this trophy unless they win the race. And the winners will be Simon Chance. And Purity Goodacre. Hit it, Purity. Oh, whatever you say, Simon. <laughs> wait, wait! I didn't say go yet. Well, well, go! But our time machine's still in that trophy. Leaping liftoffs? What are we going to do? What else? We're going to win the race. Hey. Did you take care of the other cars like we planned, my dear? Exactly like we planned, Simon. <laughs> okay, we found 
found this old car nearby, Fawn. But it looks like the other contestants weren't so lucky. Villainous Venus! I bet Simon and Purity had something to do with this. Oh, nasty, nasty! I bet they had everything to do with this. But the sooner we get around the world, the sooner we get back our time machine. I don't believe we're doing this, Fawn. I think I'm taking all this really well. Don't you, Rich? Oh, the open road. But why are we driving so slowly, Simon? Because we are now the only ones in the race. <laughs> why rock? <laughs> hey, Simon. Simon Chance, I meant to tell you. You ain't got a chance. <laughs> Get that big a chance, Chance? Yeah, <laughs> good one. I had hoped I wouldn't have to use this so soon, but... Whoa! Whoa! Bow wow wow! Hey, buckos! What's the idea? Isn't that against the rules? In this race, Cuppers, I got a feeling there are no rules. In that case, it isn't illegal to use my 25th century magic! Cupcake, no! If they can use rocket power, we can use rocket power! No! Cupcake! Party controls! Controls? Oh, well, I can't think of everything, Fonzie. Aha! The Mississippi! And this is the only bridge for hundreds and hundreds of miles! Correction, Simon. This was the only bridge. <laughs> good, Purity, good. They can't follow us now. Did you see that? Simon just destroyed the bridge. Maybe we'll land on the far side. Whoa! <laughs> and maybe we'll land in the middle of the river. Oh, no, I can't drown. What do you think, guys? Y'all want me to zap us out of here? No! no. Just thought I'd ask. Fonzie, Cupcake, what's that? Let me guess. It's a whale that's gonna swallow us. A whale with a whistle? It's a riverboat. All right, gang, hold tight. We're booking passage. Right behind you, Fonzie. We're saved. Hey! Jump, Mr. Cool. Okay, let's go. Oh, he's okay. Check it out. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, cool. Will you get out of here, please? This ain't no place for puppies. <laughs> <Not wrong. laughs> All right, gang, we got to do some heavy thinking here. Right, Fonz, because we're going north when we want to go west. If it's west you want, <laughs> west you got. Oh, my gosh. She's changed the course of the entire Mississippi River. And she didn't screw up. I don't screw up all the time, Ralph. Just some of the time. Good work there, Cuppies. And when I'm finished tuning this engine, we'll be out west before we know it. Maybe I should write a book about all this. 25th century disasters and how to avoid her. Thanks, Ralph. Now that's more like it. Right, <laughs> Yeah. Well, it looks like a riverboat. We never had a riverboat in town before. We never had a river in town before. Yo, hey, toothless wonder. You know what we can find a car to use? I mean, just till we get back from around the world? It's another one of them. We'll bring it back in good condition. We promise. Yeah, that may be, son, maybe. But some feller and his gal just bought up every car we got. Tore them all apart. <laughs> Can't figure them city folk sometimes. Cosmic calamities! Simon and Purity! They did it so we can't follow! And we just missed them. You could do something with the pieces, though, couldn't you, Fonz? Hey, Randy, put them up against a pocket! All right, tell you what. Me and Cool will do what we can. 
and we'll stock up on provisions. You guys got a soda shop in town? Our uh, soda shop is just down that way. Thanks, partners. Oh, they sure did a job on every car they could find. Yeah, boy, what a mess! All right, let's get to work. Hey, look, Wongi! Not bad, puppy, but I think we need something a little bigger, don't you? Yeah, right, Wongi. Ta-da! Close, close, but no dog biscuit. Oh, yeah! Boy, a nice cold soda will sure taste good right now. Right, Rich. But these guys might be tough customers. Better let me handle them. Yay! Whoa! Rich! <laughs> uh, three strawberry sodas, please. And, uh, hold the straws. Oh, Ralph. All right, what's going on here? I guess they were out of strawberry. <laughs> Boy, this chopper is terrific, Fon. That's just a little something of me and Cool whipped up, right there, Cool. Right, Fonzie. Yeah, right. <laughs> now maybe we can get around the world in peace and quiet. Simon, they found a motorcycle. Lost. Well, this time I'm taking no chances. Oh, Simon, I love it when you're villainous like this. No! <laughs> then catch this action, Purity. You'll be crazy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Crackling comets, Fonzie. We're gonna be crushed. Yikes! Oh, my gosh, Fonz. What do we do? I don't know, Rich. You're all taking this too seriously, I tell you. We're about to be flattened by a thousand-ton boulder, and you're saying we're taking this too seriously? Well, maybe just a little too seriously. I mean, I mean... Oh, uh, no! I mean... Ah! We now continue with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Ten to one, Simon and Purity are behind that fold. I'd rather be behind it than under it. Do something. E, and I know just what to do. Namely, divide and conquer. Fonzie, we're losing Richie and Ralph. Exact the mundo, Cuppers. Whoa! Help! What happened to old no panic Ralph? Sorry, Rich, but I guess panic is the real me. Hey, the compliments are fine, Cuppers, but easy on the leather, all right? Yeah, easy, easy. <laughs> all right, let's see. We have to turn right at the Pacific Ocean. All right, that ocean's got to be around here somewhere. You sure you're on the right track, Cunningham? Trust me, Fonz. The ocean's the narrowest up here in the Arctic. And my skin is the bluest. I'm freezing. Yeah. <laughs> Sizzling sunspots. I can take care of that. Cupcake. Easy, Rich. I don't care what she zaps up, as long as it's warm. <laughs> I was wrong. Get me out of here. Oops. Oops. Doesn't quite cover it there, Cupcake. Whoa! Whoa! Look out below! All right, you guys, stop goofing off and let's find a way over the ocean. Perhaps we can be of assistance, Ponzi. Show him, Simon. With pleasure, my dear. I sense villainy at work here. You're warm, Ponzi. Very warm. <laughs> <laughs> Ponzi, we're floating out to sea. I got eyes, Cunningham. I know Jeopardy when I see it. And I know Jeopardy when I hear it. It's a polar bear. You know, if we were at the South Pole, we wouldn't be in this spot. Polar bears are only found in the Northern Hemisphere. Good, Rich. Very, very good. I had no idea. Will you stop with the wildlife lessons? This is a bad situation we got going here. That's the last we'll see of them, Purity. Next stop, China.
so long, suckers! Oh, yeah? Good comeback, Fonz. Thanks, Vic. But guys, don't you think we should uh, do something about this polar bear? I think this falls in my department. <laughs> How about that for a zap? There's just one thing wrong, Cupcake. Polar bears can swim in these icy waters. We can. Hmm. Oh. I'll just give it another zap. Shivering Saturn, it is cold. We'll think of something. Ramsey. Good thinking, Fonz. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. How do I do it? Hey, from the Fonz, that's how. All right, now, I don't want any more trouble, couples. You and the guys stay here while Cool and I get the train tickets west, all right? You got it, Fonzie, whatever you say. Come on, Cool. <laughs> it's them again, but how? I don't know, Purity, but I do know how to make sure that this stop will be their last. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous photons. Isn't Shanghai beautiful? Ralph, look. A rickshaw. Hello, boys. How would you like a tour of the city? It's Purity Goodacre. She's beautiful up close. You want close? I'll give you close. Hey, hey, wait. <laughs> Cupcake, get Fonzie. It's good to see you boys for the last time. Rich, he's taking the stairs. Oh, we're going to do much worse than that. Watch. They're flooding the room. Okay, buckos, that does it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. That's exactly what we have in mind. <laughs> 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 I want a lifeguard, my mommy, my rubber ducky. Now that's just silly, Ralph. Uh, yeah, you're right, Rich. Mom couldn't help at a time like this. She's a lousy swimmer. I can explain, Fonzie. Really, I can. I'm pretty sure I don't want to know, Cupcake. Yeah, me either. Let's just get out of here pronto. And this is the way to Cookie Crumble. Hey. Simon and Purity just stole Richie and Ralph. We've got to find them. I can't turn my back for a minute. Yo, cool. Yeah. Get that nose in gear and track down a trouble twin. This nose? That's it. <laughs> oh, he... <laughs> tweet, tweet, chirp, chirp. This is going to be a long trip. Right. <laughs> We're goddess rich. Anchors on the sea of life. If only we knew the Chinese word for help. It's Zhou Ming. How do you know that? It's the one word I know in every language. Zhou Ming! Zhou Ming! Yeah, that sounds like Ralph and Richie, all right. And that's the rickshaw purity was in. You think you're very clever, don't you? What have you done with our friends? <laughs> I never divulge trade secrets. See you in New York if you ever get there. <laughs> Choming! Choming! Come on, come on. Choming! Choming! This is no time to be ordering Chinese food, guys. Buns! I'm at the cool. Don't forget me. Thanks, Cool. You're a lifesaver. Oh. All right, come on now. This train will take us to Paris, and then we gotta find a way back to New York. Looks like we're on the home stretch, Fonz. We're on the home stretch, Purity. It won't be long now. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling time warps Paris, and the Eiffel Tower isn't this terrific? 
Dad, it'd be more terrific if I could figure out which way New York is from here. Hey, Ronzi! Bull, our time machine's at stake here. Right, Ronzi! Bonds, look at this. It's a note from Simon Chance. Meet us atop Eiffel Tower to discuss giving up. Gee, that's great. They're gonna give up. I think they mean us giving up, Ralph. Oh, then that's not so great, is it? Yeah, that's what they think. Follow the fonts. I see them up there now. It's about time we got this settled face to face. This could be a trap, you know, Fonz. No offense, Red, but I think I can handle Simon and purity. Creepy Cosmos, those aren't the villains. They're only dummies. This is my favorite plan yet, Purity. This switch will drop that elevator so fast, they won't know what hit them. <laughs> <laughs> no! Where are the control? Worse. Ralph's out of control. What do you say to a little fresh air, my dear? <laughs> New York. Here we come! Yay! Looks like this one's all yours, Cuppers. Just remember, we only got one chance. That's all we need, Fonzie! <laughs> ah, shoo! Hooray! She did it! Oh, I guess I work best under pressure. Oh, oh, ah! Uh, Cupcake? Yes, Richie? Have you noticed that we don't seem to be stopping? Oh, food craters, I think you're right. Either we're rising or Paris is falling. Not to worry, Cuppers. I think you've just arranged a one-way flight across the Atlantic. Isn't this peaceful? Just the blue of the sky, the blue of the sea. The green of the round. Sorry, guys. I just don't travel well. We might have come to the end of our travels. Oh, leaping lift off. My magic's wearing off. So long, New York. And hello, sharks. Look. It doesn't look good, does it? Yay! Yay! We're safe. Ah! Where are you headed? New York. And we'd appreciate it if you could step on it. Uh, why don't you just take over while I catch a few wings? Hey, how about that? My own set of controls. We just might beat Simon and Purity yet. Yeah! Hang tight, pup. We got some flying to do. In a few short moments, Purity, my dear, <laughs> that gold trophy will be ours. Not to mention all the publicity, Simon. We'll be famous. Hey, make way for the winners! <gasps> Them again? I, I don't believe it! You better believe it, sister! You better! Take it! You haven't won this race yet, Fonzie! Simon! <laughs> but we've won it now! <laughs> Congratulations, you won! One? What did we win? We'll explain it all later. Yeah, but thanks for the lift. Hey, thanks, Judge, but all we really want is this. Here, catch, pal. Yeah! Hello, Randy. And with a little 25th century magic, we'll have a full-sized... Yikes! Huh? Bullfrog. You got a full-sized bullfrog, Cuppers. Hey, come back here, Coco. All right, you guys, follow that frog. I just hope this doesn't turn out to be another around the world hop. Come on,
listen up and be cool. This is the Fonz talking to you. There's some high adventure coming your way, Pronto Mundo, on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang, so stay tuned. Huh? We got it all together now, gang. The Fonz. His doggy name, Mr. Cool, and the Good Group. One flaky time machine, and a future chick named Cupcake. Oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine, and they're like traveling through time. My, my. They do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! We now return with Bonds and the Happy Days Gang. of strength. I warn you, Ginja. Oh, no, not again. Bridge, this is definitely not Milwaukee. Now, you're definitely right. Looks like trouble, big trouble. This looks like a job for the fine. Trembling time warps. Mr. Cool, be careful! Oh, no! <laughs> very loyal there, Cool. Not too bright under the circumstances, but very loyal. Be calm, stranger. I will save you. Hey! Hey, thanks for the lift there, lovely lady. Hey, usually it's the Fonz that does the rescuing, not the other way around. You came to my aid, friend. I am Shanti. Pleased to meet you. Arthur Fonz really at your beck and call. And these are my friends here, Richie and Ralph, Cupcake. And in case you haven't noticed, the acrobatic Mr. Koo. Hello. <laughs> I don't know how you and your strange machine came to be in my jungle. But I am on my way to Timbuktu. Timbuktu? Cosmic Comet! We've landed in Central Africa about the year 1100. Have you noticed she's always surprised when she checks that thing? I have received word that Kisho, my father, is missing. I must go to the city and search for him. Well, how about we go along with you and help you, you know, look for your pop there, lovely lady. This country is much too dangerous for strangers. I couldn't ask. But the Fonz could offer. Besides, I owe you one. Creeping Kronos! What kind of city could be way out here in the middle of the jungle? There it is, friends. Timbuktu! Stellar spectacles! When you said city, you meant city. Yeah, complete with a self-opening gate. <laughs> hey! Timbuktu is the capital of our whole civilization. Civilization? You hear that, Rich? We're saved! Mall shops, sock hops, television! I don't think it's that kind of civilization, Ralph. Come, the Sun Temple is this way. Hey, you heard the lady, cool. Right, right, right. Uh oh. Nice kitty. <laughs> <laughs> We must find Mabunta, the high priest of the Sun Temple. He is the one who sent me word that my father had disappeared. Remove this impudent creature from the Sun Temple. Uh-oh. Yeah. 
Cool! Hey, Shanti, I think Cool just found your man. Uh, Fonz, it looks like his guards just found us. Who are you strange-looking people? What are you doing in Timbuktu? Now, wait a minute. With an outfit like that, you better watch who you're calling strange. You're arrogant. And while you're at it, unhand the Fonz's pooch. Thanks, Wendy. Don't mention it, little buddy. Why, you? I'll handle this guy, Fonzie. Magic! You'll pay for this. It's all right, Mabunta. There was me. Very well, Shanti. I will hold you responsible for their behavior. As you say. But tell me, what has become of my father? That is not for me to know. But if you bring me the fabled chest of wonders from the hidden city, I will use its legendary powers to find your father. The hidden city has been lost in the jungle for generations. But if finding the chest of wonders will help locate my father, I will do it. I don't trust that guy, Fonz. Exactly, Mundo Red. So me and Cool will go treasure hunting with Shanti, while you and Cupcake and Ralph stay right here. Keep an eye on Mr. Wonderful over there. Oh, invisible asteroids! I never get to do anything! I wish that was true, Cupcake. So where is this hidden city there, Shanti? No one knows for certain. It was abandoned many years ago. You better warm up your sniffer, Cool. This is gonna be a tough job even for us. Yeah, Reggie, I'm gonna make you warm. Huh? What? Fonzie, yeah. <laughs> 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 one of the ancient markers. This statue points the way to the hidden city. Hey, congrats there, Cool. Looks like you found us a road sign. Hey. Oh. All right, group, all together now. Let's go for it. Beach the canoe here. Shanti and Fonzi had to come this way. Pick up their trail on the cliffs above and follow them to the hidden city. Rich, the guards are gone. Do you know what that means? It means we could sneak in and check the place ourselves if we only had a disguise. Leave that to me! Not again. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yes. Cupcake, a traveling fruit salad is not my idea of a disguise. Terrible time warps. I'll get it right this time, guys. Now that's more like it. All right, let's get going before Cupcake's fingers change their mind. <laughs> oh, somebody's coming. Is the prisoner secure? You mean Kisho? He's right where Mabunta wants him. Kisho? But Bunta must have him in here somewhere. Come on, we've got to get him out of here. We do? I've got a better idea, Rich. Let's get us out of here. Whoa! This looks like a good place to keep a prisoner. Relative angular velocity. Kisho? Plane of the ecliptic. Another interruption? What is it this time? Sir, we've come to rescue you. Can't you come back later? I'm not finished with my calculations yet. You heard him, Rich. We'll come back later. Much later. Like the next time we're passing through this century. Leaping logarithms. Those look like astronomical calculations. Of course. As Timbuktu's leading astronomer, I must know what is in store for the stars and planets. Well, I know what's in store for us. We don't get you out of here pretty quick. What talk is this? Well, we, 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 we can uh, explain everything. We were somewhere else at the time. And anyway, we were only following orders. Oh, moon craters! My mind is wearing out! And those are welcome. These are the strangers Mabuntu warned us about. They must not escape. The hidden city will be difficult to find, Fonzie. Even I have never traveled this part of the jungle before. Not to worry, Wildflower, the fabulous Mr. Cool is on the trail.
Hey, you got some sense of direction there, cool. I go around. But watch out for the booby traps. Yeah, <laughs> ruby traps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the hidden city was once the capital of Timbuktu's empire until it was destroyed when someone misused the chest of wonders. The chest did this? Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of horsepower for a little wood box. Yes. And legend says the traps that guard it are as dangerous as the chest is powerful. I see what you mean. Phew! Me too! You better get your nose in gear, cool. Try and spot these little surprises before they spot us. All right, Randy! Ruggie, 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 ruggie. You said it, Cool. This looks like a tight spot, all right. A really tight spot. Fonzie, the walls are closing in. We will be crushed. There is no escape. Don't fret, my jungle flower. The Fonz always opens the door for a lady. Hey, let's get a move on, pal. <laughs> so cool, everything all right in there? I hope so, Fonzie. He seems to have found the chest of wonders. Before we lock up the strangers, we had better search them. And what might this be? Oh, no. Oh, gee. Just, just whatever you do, please don't pull the string on that. You mean like this? Oh, grab him, grab him, get him! <laughs> Wait a minute, we forgot something. Right, Rich. Thanks for reminding me. We almost ran off without my petrified frog. Ralph, I meant Keisho. Oh. <coughs> my calculations. You can add them up later, after we get away from them. <coughs> uh, they are escaping. It is a dead end. Capture them for Mabuta. We're goners. This is all your fault. This will slow them down. You were supposed to slow them down, Cupcake. Not us. We have you now, strangers. say the chest of wonders should be in this room. Yeah, along with Mr. Cool. Hey, Mo! <laughs> but where is the chest? Without it, I, I may never find my father. Hey, don't go into overdrive there, Shanti. Something tells me the Fonzarelli toe tap will clear this mystery up in no time. And now, yes. we have found you. Seize them and bring me the chest. Well, what, what kind of way is that to say thank you? We were going to bring the chest of wonders to you at the temple. That may be, Shanti, but I am not taking any chances. Seize them. Hey, sorry, my bunion there, but nobody seizes the fine. Whoa! And no one will see Shanti either. 
Hey, very impressive, Shanti. Very impressive. Three down and... One to go. Hey, don't mention it cool now. About that chest of wonders. Too late, Fonzie. The chest is mine. Well, we'll just see about that, you're arrogant. <clears throat> what you will see, intruder, is the legendary power of the chest of wonders. <laughs> You fools! I arranged Kisho's disappearance so Shanti would lead me to the chest. And now that I have it, I no longer need you. Don't wave goodbye to us yet, Mr. M. I got a knuckle sandwich down here with your name on it. Tell that to them! <laughs> them? Wendy, look! Hey, keep your fur around, cool. We got nothing to fear but them. I guess I had this coming. My mother warned me never to get into a time machine with a stranger. Cheer up, Ralph. I'll take care of this. Right, Cupcake. But who's gonna take care of you? Whoa! My telescope. My lens. My gosh. Cupcake, do something. Uh, don't you think she's done enough already? Whoa! Oh, yes, we will. With Kisho's lens and a little help from the sun. This ought to do it. Good thinking, young man. A good scout is always prepared, sir. Right, Rich. But are you prepared for them? I'm never prepared for them. Then let's get out of here. I've never seen a temple built entirely of dead ends before. But try to look on the bright side, guys. At least this dead end has a window in it. I don't know, Rich. It may look like a bright side to you, but it looks like moon craters to me. Make way for Mabunta and the fabulous chest of wonders. With the power of this chest at my command, I shall rule all of Timbuktu. We are trapped between Mabunta and his priests. Not to mention a 40-foot drop! Don't worry, guys. My 25th century magic can handle this! Wow! A suspension bridge! Congratulations, Cupcake. You didn't mess up this time. Any worse than usual. Whoa! Summon the citizens of Timbuktu! I shall demonstrate the power of the Chest of Wonders on them. That doesn't sound good, does it? I I've got mixed feelings about this, Rich. Fear and terror! All right, let's hang tough here, gang. Maybe we can climb up this large, economy-sized statue and get out the way we fell in. Right, right, right. <laughs> looking good, cool, looking good. <laughs> Thanks, Ronzie. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. Ah! Well, there goes plan A. Any ideas, cool? Oh, me? <laughs> Fonzie, we must act quickly. The snakes pursue us. Just stay close and follow my lead. Follow me, me. Right, Fonzie. The arm is breaking. We're too heavy for it. Trust me, Shanti. The Fonz has a plan. Just one more step. Whoa! Whoa! We 
must be in the tunnels under the hidden city. You did well. You know, sometimes I amaze myself. All right, now let's run, not walk, to the nearest exit. We gotta find Mabuto before he does anything permanent with that magic box. Once you have seen the power of the Chest of Wonders, no one in Timbuktu will dare oppose me. Oh, yeah, we'll just see about that. Once I get my fingers loose, I'll zap like I never zapped before. I gotta admit, Cupcake, that would be an improvement. And now to open the lid. <coughs> Ground floor, everybody out. Fonzie, your abilities amaze me. Hey, a Fonz gotta do. What the Fonz gotta do? You know what I mean? Mabunta must be getting ready to use the chest of wonders. You must leave the hidden city at once. Yeah, not to mention very fair. <laughs> Yikes! Come on, Shanti. There goes the neighborhood. We must get back to Timbuktu. <clears throat> In a moment, you shall see the horrible fate that awaits anyone who disobeys Mabunta. Rich, I don't like horrible fates. They make me break out. You better watch your step, bucko. You're dealing with American citizens here. Not to mention Arthur Fonzarelli. Who is here to remind you not to open packages that do not belong to you? Yeah, not yours! <laughs> Guys, remove these intruders! Don't crowd, guys! Whoa! <laughs> There's room enough for everybody. Going up? Come now, friend. That is no way to treat a lady. Perfect the mundo, you beautiful lady. Hey! My guards may not be able to stop you, Fonzie, but the Chest of Wonders will. Hey, Mr. M, you want that open? You got it. Now, the powers of the chest belong to me. <laughs> oh, no! I think you've got that backwards laughing, boy. You belong to the powers of the chest. No! No! Stop! Put me... No! Ah, uh, nice work, Fonz, but that thing's still open. You get the picture, Shanty. It takes a woman to control the chest once it is open. helping me find my father, friends. Always a pleasure to assist a lady of the opposite gender. And for ridding us of the dangerous Mabunta. <laughs> and speaking of danger... <laughs> yeah, that's my pooch. He'll never be much of a swinger, though. Hey, don't miss the exciting action coming your way with me and the Happy Days gang. So stick around. We're real glad you're there.
chick named Cupcake. <laughs> oh, now the gang got zapped into that time machine, and they're like traveling through time. My, my. <laughs> they do not dig where that machine is going, but they sure hope to get back to 1957 Milwaukee. Can you dig it? Yeah! <laughs> We now return with Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Cosmic Comets, Fonzie, you fixed almost everything on my repair list. Hey, it was just quite an accomplishment even for the Fonz. Hey, Ralph, look at all those years spin by. I'm in the right direction for a change. Oh, look, we're going to pass through the year 1111. All the ones are about to line up. Sizzling sunspots, it's the only thing on my list that Fonzie hasn't fixed. And when the numbers do that, the time machine does that! Where are we this time, Fonz? Hey, congrats, cuppers. For once, it looks like this fugitive from a futuristic junkyard did not set us down in the middle of a war zone. According to my time band, this is London, England, in the year 1894. Help! Someone, please! Help! The coach! After the girl, McCracken! Don't let her get away! <laughs> oh! Hold on to your bonnet there, my little trumpet. The Fonz is on the way! Hey, Fonzie! Help me, 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 me! <laughs> now we are both in peril. Not to worry, my little Violet. Getting out of this jam will be a snap. Get me down from here! You'll pay for this, mate. Gosh, Fonz. Metaphysical mishaps. Are you all right? Hey, the Fonz is always all right. But how about you, my former lady in distress? Oh, I'm fine, thanks to you. Yeah, well, that's what they all say. <laughs> Come, McCracken. <laughs> oh, we must act swiftly if we're to silence the girl. Don't worry, Professor. I'll grab her. No, you fool. Thanks to your bungling, there are witnesses. I must devise another way. My name is Johanna Sweeney. Hey, what's with you and this museum piece I just sent to the scrap heap? I... Johanna, my daughter. Thank heavens I found you. I've been searching the streets for hours since you wandered away from home. But this man is not my father. You must excuse Joanna, sir. She is not well. Come, Joanna. Please, you must believe me. Of course the Fonz believes you, my little primrose. No dad worthy of the name would nearly run over his daughter, no matter what. Quite right, my friend. Especially when the father in question is none other than the arch-criminal Professor Moriarty. Oh, hey, Wally. <laughs> bah! My deception has failed. I will deal with Johanna while you dispose of this Fonz person. With pleasure, Professor. Au contraire, pal. Whoa! The pleasure's gonna be all mine. Sir, get me out of here! Stand back, everybody. I'll give that villain a zap he'll never forget. <laughs> It'll take more than parlor tricks to defeat me, Holmes. I'll be back. And when I return, the entire world will bear witness to my criminal genius. <laughs> he will indeed return, my friends. And with what diabolical scheme, who can say? I don't know. Well, you could say you're going to hand over to Fonz's pooch. Gladly, sir. <laughs> Mr. Cool, uh -huh. is that any way to show respect for the leather? No. Thanks for speaking up when you did. It was the least Sherlock Holmes could do. You mean the Sherlock Holmes? 
Mr. Holmes, I was on my way to see you when Professor Moriarty's coach began to pursue me. My real father has been missing since yesterday. When I took my father's lunch to him at work yesterday, he didn't recognize me. Then, when he failed to come home last night, I decided to consult you, Mr. Holmes. Hmm. A seemingly simple missing persons case. But where Moriarty is involved, nothing is as simple as it appears. Then you'll take the case. Hey, of course we'll take the case. Oh, boy, Fonz. You mean we're going to help Sherlock Holmes? Hey, how could we not? I could suggest a few ways. Then the game is afoot. We'll begin at your father's place of employment. All right, Red. You and Mal stick around here and keep an eye on a time machine. Hey, what about me? Oh, yeah, right. I keep an eye on Cupcake, too. Now, just where is it your dad works, my little English bro? At the Tower of London. The Crown Jewels of England. Yeah. Aren't they beautiful, Fonzie? Hey, not bad if you partial the diamonds, emeralds, rubies. But who's supposed to be looking out for this stuff? Yeah, who you got? <laughs> Woo! My father should be. He's sergeant of the Royal Guard. Go in there, darling. You've come to visit your old dad. He had brought friends, too. Father? Do you recognize me? What? Old Todd Sweeney not recognize his own daughter? Sir, I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is my uh, associate, uh, Mr. Fonzarelli. Pip Pip and uh, Cheery Woe. <laughs> Joanna engaged us to locate you. She need not go into such an effort, Mr. Holmes. Joanna brings me my lunch here every day. So how come you didn't recognize her yesterday there? And why didn't you come home last night? Yeah. Child, I was just pretending not to know you as a joke. And it's for last night. It was late to bed and early to rise. You were still asleep when I left for work. Thanks, <laughs> That certainly sounds logical. Well, I'm sorry for any trouble Joanna's put you to, gents. She's a good girl, but a bit fanciful at times. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to me rounds. It would appear, Joanna, that you are no longer in need of our services. I don't know how to explain this, Mr. Holmes, but somehow that man isn't my father. Not your father? Not your daddy? How can that be? Very simple, Mr. Holmes. Because Moriarty, the master of disguise, can fool even you. And by the time you realize my deception, I'll have already stolen the crown jewels of England. <laughs> We've got to do something about our clothes. Look at this. We stick out like three sore thumbs. Yeah. What do you think, Cupcake? Can you zap us up some period clothing? What am I saying? Sure thing, Richie. Here goes. Just remember, Rich, you asked for it. Cupcake? Oh, Moon Craters, I'll get it right this time for sure. There's only one thing to do in a situation like this, Ralph. And that's... Duck! <laughs> Cupcake, we're trying to be inconspicuous here. The automobile hasn't even been invented in 1894. Well, just think of it as being ahead of our time, Rich. And besides, now we can join Fonzie at the Tower of London and still keep an eye on the time machine. The good dad really isn't your dad, Joanna. Then who is this guy? Yeah, who? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I see Moriarty's hand in this. Not just my hand, Mr. Holmes. My criminal genius as well. Today will be the capstone of my entire career. Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha! Whoa! It's those meddling kids in some strange sort of horseless carriage. Temporal time spins! That was some wild ride. But my tower's intuition tells me it's not over yet. Look! It's Professor Moriarty. I must leave this area at once. 
What's your hurry there, Prof? We got a little unfinished business to settle. Yeah, I'm completed. Bob, I have no time for these petty distractions. Well, maybe you better make some time, because it looks like we got you surrounded. Looks can be deceiving, Fonte. Especially when Professor Moriarty is involved. <laughs> What's this? Why, it's a ticket for this evening's cross-channel boat to France. Oh, looks like Mr. Criminality's making plans to skip town tonight. And we will be waiting for him when he boards the vessel. Wait for me here, my friends. The sight of too many familiar faces might alert our quarry before our trap is sprung. Too bad old Holmes and Guards there wants to run a one-man show. That Moriarty character has more tricks up his sleeves than a riverboat gambler. And speaking of Moriarty... Galactic Boat Ups! It's them! If Sherlock Holmes is on the boat, how come the professor's off it? And heading in the other direction? It was a trick, my friends! A ruse to trap me aboard this vessel, leaving Moriarty free to pursue his evil scheme! I'm afraid the next boat back to England won't arrive until tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow may be too late. It looks like we got to figure out Moriarty's scheme and foil it ourselves. I got a feeling those crown jewels figure in this cape. All right, Red, you and Ralph and Cupcake scoop back to that Tower of London and check them out. Right, Bond. Warm up your sniffer, cool. <coughs> Follow that coach. <coughs> Here's the place where we does our dirty work, we do. Hey, I can see this is it there, Mr. Cool. All right, you two stay close. Oh, this place is sure creepy enough to be Moriarty's hideout. And these crates are addressed to him. Perhaps we will find my father, my real father, here. The only thing you'll find here, dearie, is a trap! Fonzie! <laughs> With Professor Moriarty's compliments, folks, he's sorry he can't attend your Bon Viard's party, but he's got a previous engagement with the Crown Jewels. <laughs> what does he mean, Bon Voyage party, Fonzie? <laughs> I think he means real bad news for a party of three, you know? Like, namely, us. We've got to hurry. If Fonzie's right, Professor Moriarty may attempt to steal the crown jewels at any moment. And if my coward's intuition is right, hey, we're already hey, too late. Cosmic calamities! We've got to help this guard! <laughs> oh! I must have had my fingers in reverse. <laughs> Cupcake, can't you ever leave bad enough alone? All right, I've got a bright side for you, Rich. If Moriarty's already stolen the crown jewels, there's nothing we can do except go home. Come on, Ralph. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Right, Rich. And I'm going. Straight back to the time machine. Whoa! Time warps! The crown jewels are gone! We're too late! Wrong, Rich. We're not late enough! It's him! So, Holmes and little band of amateur detectives, just in time for a last look at the crown jewels. Now, just a minute, bucko. Stealing's dishonest and illegal. And those are two of its better qualities. Now, if you'll excuse me. Stand back! I'll take care of that villain! You better do what she says, Rich. Otherwise, she might take care of us by mistake. Gyroscopic geraniums! I goofed up again! Thank you, my dear. I couldn't have done that without you. And now, farewell. <laughs> he's getting away with the crown jewels. Where do you think he's going this time? Home, McCracken. The night is young. And there's still plenty of work ahead. Yeah! Oh, craters! 
I, uh, I think that's an understatement, Cupcake. I arrest you in the name of Her Majesty for the theft of the crown jewels of England. I, I see what you mean, Rich. Triple moon craters! We are running out of time, Fonzie. And out of room. Found a rat trap. My patience meter is running on empty. Fonzie, you're amazing. E. <laughs> Will you please cut the clowning pool? We gotta get to the Tower of London before anything disastrous happens. <laughs> Unlikely as that is. This should hold you hooligans to the blokes from Scotland Yard come to take you away. Take us away! Aren't things bad enough right here? If... if we can only reach that key... Don't worry, guys. I'll get us out of here with just one zap of my 25th century magic. <laughs> Whips and leptons! Nothing happened! I wish that were true, Cupcake. Rich! Oh, I sure hope Finn is in in 1894. Where's Ozzy when you really need him? Right here, Mal. And as usual... I'm not a moment too soon. Crumbling comets! That was close. Thanks, Font. Listen, Moriarty stole the crown jewels, just like you figured. And when he escaped, the guards grabbed us? Well, let's see now. All we gotta do is clear you, stop Moriarty, find you and his father, and return the crown jewels. You can count on us, Font. And on my 25th century magic. Well, one out of two isn't bad. Come on, Joanna and Cool are waiting outside with our former time machine. We'll try to pick up Moriarty's trail at the warehouse. Creeping Cosmos, this place looks deserted. Which is more than I can say for the last time we were here. Right, Blondie! Whoa! Blondie! Easy there, puppy. This is not a knife for long distance swim. <laughs> yeah, Ron. Now, we better split up and search this dump for a clue to Moriarty's hideout. All right, now, who wants to take the second floor? Not me, Fonz. I'm scared of heights. And depths, and shadows, and revolving doors. Well, it's my strong sense of survival, Rich. Come on, Ralph. We'd better go along and protect Ralph from himself. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. I just love this English chick she catches on so quick. Come on, cool. Looks like you and I have been elected second story men. Professor J. Moriarty, London, England. Yeah, that's what we're looking for, all right. But there's no street address. How are we going to find his hideout? We'd better move fast. The professor wants his goods cleared out of here tonight. It's Moriarty's henchman. You know what that means? It means we'd better hide. Quick, in here. That last crate's got to be around here somewhere. Here it is. Give me a hand, mate. It's a mite heavier than I remember, but we can manage. That ought to hold it till we get to the professor. The professor? We're trapped in this box and they're taking us to Moriarty's hideout! Oh, and that's not all. I think this London fog is giving me a cold. Yeah, giddy up here, darling. Uh, oh, God! <laughs> Yo, Cunningham, Cupcake, front and center, Joanna, Ralph. Ralphie, Rick! Drop your nose to the ground there, cool. It looks like we got some heavy tracking ahead of us. Right, Ralphie. Ouch! Uh-oh, something tells me this is going to be a long night. It is unfortunate, McCracken, but the crown jewels must be sacrificed so that I may be revealed not only as the criminal genius of our time, but the scientific genius as well. Anything you say, Professor, this machine of destruction will soon bring all of England and even the world to its knees before me. <laughs> 
sleeping right here. He's using the crown jewels to build the world's first laser destruction ray. We gotta get out of here and warn someone. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. uh -oh. What was that? I don't know, Professor, but I think it came from over there. We shall soon see. Well, what have we here? Has the great Sherlock Holmes resorted to using spies? Well, actually, sir, we're from the welcome wagon. What Ralph means is, you're under citizen's arrest, bucko. Bah! Lock them up with Johanna's father! What Richie means is, stand back or I'll zap! Fingers, don't fail me now! <laughs> Take them away! Later, I will study the secret of the girl's strange powers. If she knew the secret, she'd have gotten it fixed a long time ago. Thanks, Ralph. Anytime, Cupcake. Now, to prove myself ruler of London. <laughs> and the world. The only thing you're going to be ruling is a jail cell creep. You have made your last threat, Fonzie. Wrong, your ruthlessness. Because I don't make idle threats. Hey, Rosie! I'm so me, 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 me. Let go of my invention, you ruffian. Oh, my pleasure, prof. Who turned out the lights? Don't shoot! We surrender, whoever you are! Now I've got you. Not if I take my marbles and go home. My machine of destruction, it's ruined! Hey, don't cry, Prof. You can always plant flowers in it. Someone will pay dearly for this. Well, let me give you a hand here with that hat, Mac. Perfect job there, Boots. <laughs> you did pretty well yourself, Fonz. How'd you find us? With logic and deduction like Sherlock Holmes? Oh, it is so elemental there, my dear Cunningham. We just followed Cupcake's trail markers, you know. Fonzie, Professor Moriarty is escaping. Oh, I love taking care of that crown jewel Napa. Please, Fonzie, allow me. Are you kidding? 25th century ladies first. I always say that. That villain's not going anywhere in my time machine. Mm. I deduced you managed the case perfectly well without me. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I wouldn't say perfectly. And neither would we. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.